Jeff the Drunk, go ahead. Howard. Hey, Jeff. I'm so mad. What's wrong? You won't help me out? See, this is, is a... I call Friday? This is you a already... retard who isn't happy. <laughs> yeah, right. You want to help me out with Artie? What? Yeah, I'm going to have the radio, dude. What are, what are these? I ain't be at the Howard. What are you what talking are you about? Saying? I'm, I'm going to have to right now. What did he say? Hello? Jeff? That was so phony, Jeff. Jeff? Talk to us. What did he say? I didn't hear what he, he said. He was going to end he it. He said he was going to end it. I didn't even understand that. Right. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to do that, make sure everybody understands you first. Don't you, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. Oh. I'm going to end it. I do. What, did you use a sound effect there? No, that was a real shotgun, dude. Oh, that was a shotgun? shotgun? Who'd you yeah. shoot? You fired off a shotgun? I yeah. shot a cat. I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> Bam! I'm going to kill myself. Bang! Oops, your mom is dead now. Yeah, right, I was going to say. <laughs> Probably shot through the floor right into the bedroom. Just going to end his life. Well, I'm outside, dude. He's got one on. How's he shooting a gun? I'm not sure if my buddy is. Oh, okay. <laughs> A little fun with their guns. Yeah. Hey, buddy, I need your help with something. There's a well, drunken... Why are you in a better mood today? <laughs> There's a drunken one-armed man <laughs> running around with shotguns. Hey, we live out there. It's all right. What? I already called my neighbor and told her that tomorrow morning after the school bus goes by, you might hear a loud boom. She said, oh, <laughs> so I won't get afraid. I said, right. Oh, All right, Jeff. Thank you. We're sorry, worried about Wendy's play. neighbors. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I'm on my way to a bowling tournament. All right, we're going to take a break. We'll be back right after these words. You little bitch. Hey, Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Yo. Good morning. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Good morning. Up and at him. We don't know how to answer that question. I'm, I'm four squat thrust deep already. I wonder if he got broken up when he heard the news about Snowflake. Uh, well. Snowflake? <laughs> yeah. Snowflake. <laughs> Snowflake <laughs> has a better life than Jeff the Drunk. That's How could he be sad? All the children of Spain are going to come say goodbye to me. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, children of Spain. Goodbye. <laughs> Welcome to an upper state New York. I got a good Jeff the Drunk story. Yeah. <laughs> Keeping with my, this is, might be my biggest loser story of all time. Go ahead. I, in a crowded bar after a gig in Albany, crowded bar, lost to Jeff the Drunk in the game of pool. How is that possible? He's got I one put, arm. I put up five hundred dollars. He put up ten. <laughs> oh my God. And I, so, so the, the gig was a wash. <laughs> I don't understand something. I, the so, guy has one arm. I, so listen, and his blood alcohol level, I'm going to say conservatively, was fifteen. And what was your? I was I was drunk, but it's but, a bar table. So listen, we're playing eight ball, right? Right. And this is, hurts even worse because I pride myself on being a, a good pool shooter. Mm -hmm. We're shooting pool. Jeff gets. See, a but eight ball's a sucker's game because well, if you can't get to the eight ball, you scratch. Well, here's what happens. So yeah. Jeff gets a couple, and very impressive with one arm, he gets a couple. How does he hold the pool cue? He he just balances it on we, the table. On or the something? on the table, yeah. He doesn't even use a bridge. It's really pretty amazing. <laughs> But, but I got to see. Did you tape it? No, we got. Right. I was going to say to the E crew, it's worth me and Jeff shooting pool okay. for the cameras. So he gets a couple in, then I start to shoot, and I got in a little bit of a roll. I get almost all my balls, and Jeff shoots again and misses. Then I get the rest of my balls, and I think I was stripes. He was solids. Uh -huh. So I go to shoot the eight in, and it banks. And it goes in the wrong pocket. Oh, you okay, so 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 Jeff the drunk just sees the eight ball go in. He doesn't. Whoa! He doesn't realize it went in the wrong pocket. So he comes over all dejected and goes, "Oh, you beat me, bitch!" <laughs> and I said, "No, I didn't, Jeff. I I lost. It went in the wrong. I had to tell him." Yeah. And then he went, "Yes, you suck." <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. So, but everybody in the bar was getting on me because I lost. <laughs> but you didn't lose. You see, that's why I hate eight ball. Right. You got more balls in than him. Right. Right. You know, you, so you, if you miss the eight ball, you lose. But, but I, still I mean, with lost. Jeff the drunk, shouldn't you be playing eight ball? <laughs> he shouldn't be getting anything in. That's yeah. true. Let me ask you something. Can he take that gimp arm of his and lay it down on the table no. and like just just use it as like a piece of wood? <laughs> it's completely useless. And I broke, I broke him up. Didn't get anything in, and he went first, and he got two in. He's impressive. Hey Jeff. Cool. Yep. 
You can't take your gimp arm and take it out of that sling no. and lay it on the table and use no. it as like a like a bridge? He can't do it. And then no. drag it around to each position? Yeah, like just flop it down on the table and use it? I can't do it, dude. That's what I would do if I was you. You were good, Jeff. Thank you, Artie. Does that arm have any sensation in it? No. Nothing. Thank you, buddy. It's just dead? Why don't you carve it into the shape of a like a pool bridge? <laughs> <laughs> then you'd be great. I will now play the four ball in the corner pocket. Does you, your hand move at all? No. So, hmm. like, can't you just flop it? Is it in the shape of a fist, your hand? Can you put it in a fist? What's that? Can you put the the gimpy hand in a, in no. a fist? No. No, you can't do it. What if you close it up with your other hand? Yeah. It won't stay? It's permanently open? Yeah. Is it stiff? Um, it's just dead. Couldn't you use one of the knuckles as a bridge? <laughs> no, I can't. He can't, he can't. I don't need a bridge. Wow. I can kick everybody's butt. Yeah. How do you steady your pool cue, though? I just, I have it. It's hit me. He hits it like a baseball bat. I was going to say, how does he steady anything? I mean, he's always a little rickety. <laughs> Did he fall down during the game? He, he almost fell a couple of times. Yeah, because he loses his balance. But so did I. Yeah. It was crowded. It was one of those crowded bar tables where you had to ask people to move. Oh, I and, hate that. So it was, it was, it was like difficult. Where were you for the week? In London. Wait. What? Oh, he thought I was asking oh, him where he God. was. We I just stayed home. Were. We know where you were. You're in Albany. <laughs> I was at my front porch in Albany. <laughs> but I, uh... No, yeah. Howard, I wanted to tell you that yeah. Jeff also was with a really hot chick. Get yeah. out. He was. Who was the girl, Jeff? Rachel. She's hot, man. She, hold, she held Jeff's beers. Yeah, for but you're not doing Get it. Get out of here. What's that all about? I don't know. She's my life girlfriend. She's a what? My life girlfriend. Yeah, Your Jeff. Lifeguard. Jeff has to walk around with a lifeguard because he'll drown at any time. <laughs> I'm drowning. <laughs> now we're on land, you idiot. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> Save me, I'm tripping. Where'd you meet her with your hand stamping job? Yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Excuse me, honey. I was noticing you from afar. And so there was nothing wrong with her. No, oh. she she beautiful girl, very nice. Hey, Jeff, the bar you guys went to in Albany. Yeah. Do you get your hand stamped when you go in there? <laughs> no. No? No. Duh. I'm wondering, like, if you could get that job. Yeah, that's right. a better job. Yeah, where else do they stamp hands? We, uh, sir, we'll need to see your resume. Do they stamp hands at the pool? <laughs> <laughs> I have many years of hand stamping experience. Yeah, uh, I bring my own ink pad. <laughs> Were you ever talking to someone at a pool and noticed their hand stamp? That's me, bitch. Howard? Yep. I, um... I only I didn't have a ten dollar bill. No kidding. I only have a twenty. Yes. So I said, Hey Artie, you want to go for a grant? He's like, No. No. So I owe you five. What do you want? A thousand from me? I hey, dude. Oh no. Artie gave you a donation. Saying, <laughs> Double or nothing is what you were saying. I was making a joke. Oh, I'm sorry, oh, Jeff. God. Oh, really? Yeah, you should be a professional comedian. <laughs> Jeff. Hey, I made a good joke. Yeah, well, at the end of my act, Jeff stumbled out on stage and told the joke. Oh, he did? What was the joke? Jeff, tell the joke. I, I, oh, it's not clean, is it? Oh. Uh, you know what? No, he can't tell a joke. Oh. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not tellable. End. Believe me, it's it's all right. <laughs> You're not missing much. All right. All right, Jeff, we got to go. Happy okay. Thanksgiving, Jeff. Yeah, yeah happy Thanksgiving. Jeff, good luck. you're a good man. Good luck to you and Rachel. Oh, well, yeah, well, we're not... We're not an item or nothing. Yeah, don't worry. We know. Just a friend of mine, dude. All right, man. You okay. should just give it to her with that gimpy hand of yours. <laughs> Smack that out. Yeah. All right, later. I, don't, I, I take my gimpy arm out of the sling and whack her in the ass. <laughs> Who's your daddy? Oof, missed. <laughs> Sorry, bitch. <laughs> All right, we'll be back right after these. You little bitch. All right, now i got to change subjects. I'm going to bring ten people in right now. Is it ten? Okay, ten people are going to walk in right now. They all want to win $20,000, courtesy of Stuck on You, the new comedy from the Farley Brothers. They have no idea what they'd have to do, but they're willing to hear it. I see women. I see three women. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven men. I see 11 people. No, I see 10 people. Seven and three is 10 last time I counted. Uh-oh. All right. These are 10 people. We got thousands of phone calls. Why these 10? 
I don't know. How were they so lucky? Random. More or less. Try to get some women down here. Try to get some men down here. But pretty much random. I assume everybody here wants 10, excuse me, $20,000. I guess that money would come in handy, wouldn't it? Yes. Let me talk to some people here. Let me, uh, let me start with the ladies over there. Hi, what's your name? My name is Maria Coratoon. All right, Maria. And uh, where are you from? From Bayville. Now, you heard there's $20,000. You're not sure what it is. You know you have to be free for the week. And you have, we have to have access to your home? And we have to have access to your home. I've made those arrangements, yeah. All right, but you don't know what you have to do for exactly. the $20,000. Well, none of you have to do this. Once I reveal to you what it is, you can decide. And then if there's anyone left standing after I reveal what it is, somehow, Robin, we're going to have to choose one person. I see. It's a very tall, beautiful woman with big breasts standing uh, next to Maria. Hi. What is your name? Shannon Edward. You have big, full breasts, don't you? Uh, yeah. Yes. Right. You seem wow. very proud of them, the way they're... <laughs> they're fine. Yes, very nice. Let's see them. <laughs> and uh, you're very tall as well. I like that. A little bit. You have no idea what we're going to do. No clue. But you're here to find out. Sure. Are you free for the week? Yes. You are. What do you do for a living? I work for a mortgage company, but I'm laid off right now, so it's perfect. Perfect. So you would have a week free. Right. All right. A mortgage company. What would you use the money for? $20,000 if you get it. Completely out of debt and then, you know, mm -hmm. take care of whatever else falls into the mix. Your name is Jenny? Yes, I am. Hi. Hi. Where are you from? I'm right here in Chelsea, New York. Right here in Chelsea. Yes. You want $20,000. Yes, I do. I probably don't deserve it, but I do need it. Why do you say you don't deserve it? Well, I mean, uh, I'm doing this be mainly because of my husband and my son. Uh, I want to give my husband the best Christmas because he ha he's a heart patient and he needs a heart transplant. So, Whoa. And also, You do deserve it. What are you talking about? You my, don't deserve uh, it. <laughs> my son, he's outgrowing his bed and his clothes. Yes. Yes. Good wow. Lord. Well, wait till you say she's undeserving. 20, you, you definitely deserve it, but $20,000, you know it's going to be something horrible that you'd have to do. It's easy to get it. I know, but that. he's such a great guy. And Did you try to figure out what you'd have to do for the $20,000 for the week? Well, since the promoter is like stuck on you, uh, I think somebody has to be stuck on me. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Maybe we should do that. Mm. No, <laughs> if we hadn't thought of that. <laughs> All right, let's meet the... Now, here's a guy. What's your name? James Ortsman. James, you big listener of the show? Big time. You want twenty grand? Oh, Yes. Where do you live? I live in Plainview on Long Island. All right. What would you do with the money? Oh, Hawaii, Bora mm -hmm. Bora. Mm -hmm. Drop the kids off for a week. Right. Just have a good time. Oh, I would live it up. All right. And who is this gentleman? For a party. My name's Richie. Richie? Yeah. How old a guy are you, Richie? I'm 22. All right. You got a job? Yes, I do. You can take a week off? Yes, I do. Yeah. You sound kind of like a black guy, but you're but white. Yeah. Are you a rapper? Yeah, a little bit, you know. Yeah. yeah. I smell a wigger. <laughs> What's up with that hat, by the Rich way? Rich the reject. What do you got underneath that hat that you're covering your head um, with? I actually wore it because I couldn't get a haircut with all this bad weather. Right. Oh, there you <laughs> go. <laughs> all right. My wig is kind of messed up right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, you want 20 grand. Sure do. All right. Well, let's find out what this is. Now, I see high pitch Eric back there. You're going to try and compete? How are you? Right. Why am I not surprised he's free? How are you me? doing? Hey, how you doing? All right, what's up, my brother? <laughs> you don't have a week free. I thought you have a job. I do have a job for Toyota. I want to thank my boss, Franz and Anthony, for having me come out here. All right, and you think you can partake in this uh, little experiment we're going to do? If, yeah, maybe. Hey, are they going to give you a week off, Eric? Oh, uh, yeah, well, maybe I'll bring just off. Uh, yeah. Maybe I'll bring maybe I'll bring the person to work if I have to. <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, let's meet the next guy. You're the man. Thank you. Yo, Howard, can I just tell you, his breath smells today, and his ear hair is just ridiculous. You got a lot of ear hair. He does. Wow. Wow. I, I do. Uh. All right, let's go to the next gentleman. Hi, what's your name? Hi, Howard. My name is Alex Santarelli. I'm from Hoboken, New Jersey. Unlike my good friend here who um, is going to Hawaii, I have eviction papers. I have a marshal showing up at my house tomorrow, and I'm trying to save not being thrown out of my apartment. You know, I'm in a desperate situation. You married guy? Perfectly, the, uh, the contest. And if you'd, I'd also like to show you something I did. Uh, Wendy. What is that? that a... It's, a, it's a picture on his back, Howard, Yes. of you giving... Oh, anal toe imus. That's right. Oh, look at that. That's oh, great. he just drew that. That's not a tattoo. That's not a tattoo, is it? No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't make it cool. All right. 
Now, let's go to the next guy here. What, what's your name? Billy. All right, Billy, tell us about yourself. What do you do? I'm a contractor from right. uh, Union, New Jersey. And you want the 20000 obviously, very Art. badly. But uh, you're willing to do anything? Yes. Okay. And what's this guy's name over here? Hey, Howard, how are you? Hey, who are you? I'm Johnny. Johnny, uh, you want $20,000. What do you do for a living? Me? I'm an expediter for Expo Design Center. And you got a week free for this? Yes. All right, so you'd I'm be able to do it. Anything. Anything. I'm, I'm your man. I want to win, I want to go to school, and I want to work for you, Howard. All right, there you go. And what about this guy right here? Frank. Tell me your story, Frank. Uh, what are you going to do with the money? I have some medical bills I have to pay. I have macular generation and... Uh, macular generation? What is that? Uh, it's an eye disease. An eye and disease? It's macular degeneration, right? Yeah, you should know the name of it. It's macular degeneration. <laughs> there you go. Right. And Frank's out of work. You're out of work? He's indeed out of work. So and I you're losing your sight. Can we catch that? Can we catch that from you, the macular DNA? Uh, maybe. Really? No. <laughs> not. no. Oh, that's cool. All right. Thanks for coming in. Well, there you go. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. To win the $20,000... What do they have to do? Because it is the movie stuck on you, because it is the movie stuck on you, you happen to be right. You will be stuck to someone now, how for an stuck? entire week. I mean, what do you mean stuck? Uh, handcuffed. Ooh. Handcuffed to a person for a week living in your house. With you every moment? You'd never get out of those handcuffs for the entire week? That's right. Jenny hit it on the head. Stuck on you, you would be... Now, let me introduce you now. So, wait a minute. What you're saying is if they go to the bathroom, right. if they take a shower... Anything. Oh. If we are not... Uh, if, if, if you have to go to the bathroom, if you have to take a shower, if you have to do anything... If you yeah, have that to person sleep, has to be with you. eat, that person's with you 24 hours. Let me introduce you now to the person that you will be stuck on, stuck on for an entire week. And here he comes. His name is Jeff the Drunk. Oh, oh look at him. He's looking at the tall girl with the big breast. <laughs> Jeff, take a seat over here. Hoping she'll take him home. <laughs> oh, my God. What a nightmare. Maria, I saw your face in utter disgust. You had to be freaking out when you saw Jeff the Drunk. We figured this out in the green room, but uh, we couldn't believe it. Yeah, you figured it out. out. You did. How did you figure it out? He was outside. <laughs> you can't keep him in. contained. I see. And there was, it was the sponsor also. So. I see. The stuff on you. You figured it out. Jeff, how are you? Fine. All right. I see you're drinking. Come on now. Yeah. Now, is he going to drink all week? He can do whatever he wants. I'm going to drink, smoke, <laughs> smoke, <laughs> smoke. Drink. Oh, I know the person no. cuffed him is going to be drinking. Oh, oh no. <laughs> he asked me if he could drink, and I said, you know what? That's between you and the person you're cuffed to. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff can be anything he you wants want to be. You don't want him going through the DTs. You might as well let him drink. But what happens if Jeff is out of alcohol and the other person doesn't want to go? Um, Nookies. Then they got to go with him. It's going to be who could drag who, right? Yeah, he can make you miserable, so you better just get him alcohol. Right. I don't now, think you're going to want him without it. Uh, Shannon, I saw uh, Jeff looking you over. Obviously, uh, you're a tall woman okay. with big breasts. Uh, would that freak you out to be handcuffed to him for a week? No. Oh, you're not cool. You think you could handle it? Yeah, as long as he was a bit of a gentleman. What? I can handle him. Let's go, baby. I can handle him. Wait a second. When you, when you have to take a shower, right, you're going to have to get, probably have to... Yeah, stand on the outside. Yeah, but outside, you're, you're going to be handcuffed. You're going to be handcuffed. Uh, well, no, I could still... Stick an arm out. We I get to it together, damn it. Oh. Pass, pass the loop really a bit. I can handle it. I got some soap, baby. <laughs> can I have my conditioner? Jenny, I you, got some you out. Jenny, you said you have to get this money. You have a certainly good reason. Could you really stand being away, being at home with him and exposing your children and, and your husband to this guy? I arranged for my child not to be home. <laughs> really? You had a feeling. Could you do it? Really? Yes, I, I'm going to do it, yeah. Is there, uh, Wow. Is and, anybody backing out? Does anyone want to back out after seeing what you'd have to do for the week? What? Yes, go ahead, Deborah. You noticed that Jeff's arm is in a sling. Yes. The arm that we would be handcuffed to is his you'll freaking be, arm? You'll be leg shackled. Oh. No, no, no. They'll be handcuffed. Handcuffed and leg shackled, right? Leg shackled only to, um, to take a shower. All right. Oh, so the arm. Or to go to the bathroom. And to go to the bathroom. And that's so only only because Jeff has one good arm. We're gonna leg shackle so he could use his one good arm to wipe. 
I was going to say, that which I arm are so you handcuffed to? You. You'll be leg shackled during my 8 a.m. spin class. <laughs> <laughs> which ar- You can't sh- shackle them to... Uh, which arm are you shackle them to? To the good one. To the good one. Yeah, you can't shackle them to the bad one. Right. So then they're going to have to use their arm to help him drink all That's day. That's right. Small. <laughs> oh. Nice. I can live with that. You can live with that? Yeah, I could deal with that. Definitely. Mm-hmm. I'll do anything, Howard. I, I think... I think I'm up to this. High pitch, you could do that? I have a question. What do you mean leg shackled? I mean uh, handcuffs around your ankles. Ankle cuffs. What don't you get about that? What don't you understand? <laughs> you dumb man. I thought you said somebody was going to be handcuffed. <sighs> handcuffed, or if you have to go to the bathroom or shower, you, ha- you get leg cuffed. Well, you're not going to have to shower. <laughs> mm-hmm. What don't you Howard? understand? How can you not follow that? Howard. Do you want to back out? No, not yet. Yo, Howard. Jeff hates you. Yes, Jeff. By the way, it was the cameraman who made the deuce in the bathroom. <laughs> Not me. I, I didn't say it was you. It was I, Isaac. I saw that. that it was Hanks. Yeah. <laughs> all right, listen. Thank you, Jeff. This is what you're going to have to listen to all week. <laughs> this is what you're going to be exposed to for $20,000 courtesy of Stuck on You. Now, how do we decide, Robin? I can't Gee, believe... Nobody's backing out. I don't think anybody realizes that... We're yes? Out. You're out, Maria? Uh, no, there are people more worthy that need the money for serious things, and I couldn't... You couldn't stomach being... I mean, I couldn't stomach being shackled to him and to know that there's somebody who needs it more. Screw you. you know, goodbye. You know. ah. <laughs> Thank you. No, I'm out. Bye-bye. Bye. I got it. I got it. Goodbye, bitch. Wow. Goodbye. I got it. Oh, I can't. Go to the freaking door. <laughs> Oh, uh, they don't have any idea how miserable. Yeah, that Jeff is a real pain in the bus. Nothing, don't baby. think that this is going to be any walk in the park. This is him on his best behavior. Yeah. Goodbye, bitch. <laughs> You're not even that loaded yet, are you? No, I'm not. All right. Howard. I like yeah. I, I just, to prove it. I just wanted to mention for your Halloween costume contest, I was the only one who showed up as Jeff the Drunk. I think I did a phenomenal Jeff the Drunk. You could ask your E-Crew. I drank 66 ounces of Steel Reserve malt liquor. And I, I'd, I'd spend the entire week drinking with this guy and just try my best to stomach having to watch this guy go to the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> wow. I still think uh, the best thing I've heard so far is, is the, the, eye, the guy with the eye disease and the woman with, with the, the heart diseased husband. With the heart diseased husband. Although I would love a hand coming up to the tall hot chick because you know he can't help himself. I would oh love to see God. that. That would be fun. I would love that immensely. He'd love it too much, though. Yeah. Immensely. She'd have him wrapped around her drink. Her yeah, he'd finger. try to be nice and try to get her. No, I wouldn't. The wigger guy looks like he could do some money, though. He, he, he looks like he might enjoy it too much, though. No, yeah. I actually. I, I, you might I be more annoying than Jeff. Yeah. I want I wanted to like tell you that part of it I, w- I want to give to uh, Dynamite Youth Center because they they helped me get off all, all the other drugs. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I don't know you left it. I'm Russian. All, all right, I just changed the contest. You got to be handcuffed to I him. I know where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all up for you. All for you. All right, and then the guy who's going to be evicted. That's kind of sad too. Yeah. We talked about uh, thinning the herd. We need to do that desperately because I need to separate myself from all these people. I'm going to. I'm not kidding. Uh, a marshal showing up. I've got days to be in my apartment. I'm a desperate individual. They could be thrown out in the middle I of the well, yeah. thing. What? It wasn't something that, you know, what's wrong with you that you would need the money. For. Well, I it do. I, I tell you what, I do need to. For a day. I do need to pull one person out of the pack. She said in the, um, in the green room she wouldn't spin the wheel of Benji. I will spin the wheel of Benji. That's how desperate I am. So she you would spin the wheel of Benji. That's desperate. That's desperate. Mm. Hey, I, would take the big I would take the big toe in a second for 20 grand. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow, but i got to think about that. Wow. <laughs> I got have no health insurance. I'm willing to do anything. The wheel. What was that? We have no health insurance. And, and my husband needs to see a doctor, and I need to... Get his wow. education. What are you guys giving the cut sign? That's sad. Because, you know, if this is a contest it's about who's got the guts to stick it out, and yeah. by tonight she's gone. Believe me, when he drops his pants and then drops a deuce, it's over. <laughs> I will endure that. Okay? He's not going to drop his pants to drop a deuce. That's right. Yeah. He'll have to change his diaper. Yeah, don't be silly. Yeah. <laughs> it's an unbelievable experiment in human endurance. So what are we going to do? Hold on. The other thing that is going to the mix is that he's going to smoke, what do you smoke, two packs, three packs a day? I'm sorry, glaucoma guy. What did you say? 
I, I discussed this with my sons, and I was really scared. After uh, dialing uh, with Benji, I was I was terrified. Right. And I said, you know, I, I don't want to lose my dignity. They said, Dad, you don't have any dignity. <laughs> right. so. so you're another guy who wants it. You'll this guy's dying to say too. something. What? Howard, Howard. I have a chance. Finally, I have a chance. Half of it will go to my nephew because my nephew needs a helmet because his head, when he came out, was really <laughs> deformed. That's what, This will help it. The head to get to the nephew's it. head is deformed and he needs a helmet. Yes, no, I'm not joking. I have, I'm not joking. <laughs> what, <laughs> if not, what if we go no, down no, to the no, sports no. authority? I'll buy a kid a helmet. Nice. No, I have proof. I have proof, and I'll bring pictures or anything. I'm helmets not, are 15 bucks. All right, what kind of helmets? But I'm willing. No, I'm a man of my word. Well, wait a, a minute. We word. did not say it was going to be a queen for That's a day. True, but you're going to have to make a decision, Rob, because I'm leaving it up to you. Well, you know what I would do? I would have them beat each other up. No, and, no. pick numbers out of a hat. All That's right. The only way to make it fair. That's fair. Numbers out of a hat. Yeah. Uh, why, why don't we vote? How can we can't do that? You want to have a vote? Yeah. yeah vote. We all vote. But then we're going to be strong. You know, we're going to vote for the people who have problems. Well, maybe, maybe not. I might yeah. vote for the hot chick just because I think it's funny. Oh, right, yeah. Yeah, if I was haircut to Jeff, yeah. oh, get out. they would have to deal with me for a week of me doing my comedy routine. Oh, I'll just I don't, be quiet. I don't, Nobody cares you're about You're not you. winning anyway. Yeah, Nobody's voting for you. Yes, Bob, go ahead. Yes, Bob, yeah, go ahead. I was uh, wondering if Jeff the Trunk dies during this, they have to drag him around. For yes. The yeah, even if he dies, he stays with If Jeff the dies during the promotion. They have you to have to. They have to, to stay with his rotting corpse. <laughs> I did. You killed me. The Howard Stern show kills me. <laughs> How's your mother going to get along without you for a week, Jeff? In fact, if we have to bury him, you get buried with him. That's the end of it. Yo, Howard, can I ask you something? Since I'm here, I don't know. Like, I I never thought I I would show up here. Um, I mean, I would show up. I never thought I would get picked. And I always want to ask you something. Do you need Rich the Reject? I mean, I could be the biggest reject. I, I think I could be helpful oh for you. <laughs> just to call it even, just to call it even, I'll be a gentleman. When I die or get in a car crash or something, I'll donate all my organs to all of them. Whoever needs it, they can take it. Just all to right. call it even. All right, Rich the Reject, thank Rich you. The, Rich the Reject. Rich the Reject. Well, mm, not wow. for nothing, How do you <laughs> argue with that? <laughs> Very tough These two guys would kill each other. <laughs> Well, I got to uh, Jeff. What? He'd give his liver to yeah. Jeff. Wow. All right, listen. Enough is enough. It's time do? as soon as I decide, as soon as we decide who I the person who is. For. Who do you vote for? The tall girl. He could care less about that. Oh, uh, Jeff. Gorgeous. You know, in 3 days you'd be like her slave. <laughs> she would I'm knitting you I'd another hook you, log, honey. <laughs> I'd make you my bitch. Yeah, Jeff, right. Jeff's going to be on the wagon. He'll <laughs> shave. She's going to be pregnant be if uh, they get... <laughs> oh, that's right. She'd Jeff be pregnant in two her. days. Does everybody, does everybody really realize that sleeping together, bathing yeah. together, going to the bathroom together... It's going to be tough. It's yeah, going to be cool, baby. Wet my bed. Now, as long as he doesn't wet my bed. But oh, make promise. As long I'll as he, put towels down. He's going to wet your bed? I won't wet your Don't wet the bed. I, I swear to God. Right. I've planted my seed in you. <laughs> George, you're on the air. Stern, I need this on TV, full access, website, cable, whatever you can do. You know, I said to the E people they should just preempt all their programming for the week, full week, just follow this around. But I know they're like going to big brother. They're going to videotape everything, right? Twenty-four hours a day, Doug. You guys will have the what camera. Yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there. Yeah, that's right. Hey, how is that? This, oh, I, this is the greatest reality show ever. Yeah, it's going to be great. They're going to be handcuffed together, to, and Jeff the drunk is. You know, everybody's here acting like this is going to be a picnic and it's all fun. But wait till the, literally he's drunk off his ass. Let me tell you something. He's peeing on your bed. He's crapping his pants, and you're sitting next to him. I and, can't spend five minutes with Jeff. And Howard, we, oh, I can't either. Up, we have to bring I up something can't. else, too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I love you, sir. If Thank we you. cuff you right now, it's four days from now. So you come back Friday. If you guys give up on Thursday night, it's over. There's not a penny in it for yeah. you. you got to go all the way all through. The way. If you don't, all there's the no way. money. It's going to be great because we're going to cuff him, and in minutes he's going to have to go to the can. And right. we're just going to get to know it's what's going on. It's going to start on. right here. I have a, I have a crap in, in four days. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> get ready. Get ready. So I have two crap in <laughs> That's a four day old crap. Oh. <laughs>
Wow. Is that true? You haven't gone to the bathroom in four days? I swear to God. Wow. Why is that? I tried to eat all all I could yesterday. I was like, I gotta go, I gotta go. I ate, ate, ate. No luck. Mm. I was like, oh, well, I'll go tomorrow. <laughs> could you be clogged? Uh, yeah. Maybe. I can't wait to see that emergency room visit. Yes, Dominic. How about you handcuff someone to each hand? No, we just want uh, one person. He's only got one yeah, hand and a hot chick. That's why. That's why you're a lawyer, and we're, and we're on the radio. You dumbass. Robin, you're on the air. Howard, how are they going to get dressed and undressed? I'm just thinking about logistics. Here. I don't know. That's I don't know. It's up to them. You have to work it out between us. It's going to be a nightmare. Right Twenty there? G's. Figure it out. I guess you're going to have to help each other, huh? Yeah. Todd, go ahead. You're on the air. Howard, you got to give these guys a better contest besides picking a number out of the hat. Somebody's got to eat something out of his crack. Now, I'll, we're going to make a decision right now. You can't just really pick numbers, though. That's too simple. Each person gets a vote, and I'll tell you who the people are. Yeah, who's voting? Maybe. We can only choose one of you, so stop Maybe. acting like babies if you don't get picked. Maria's out of the running. You have resigned. You don't want to be handcuffed for a week. Maria. Maria is the only woman who really understands this contest. She knows how horrible this is going to be. If some of you men were really men. You back off right now. I wouldn't do it for a day. Call you would what? I wouldn't even do it for a day. You couldn't laugh. No, I couldn't. Because you know why? You're realistic. Yeah, you're smart. You you Thank realize you. what's going on here. Thank Do you, you know? Twenty yeah, grand is a lot of money. But you'd be handcuffed to Jeff. You'd be inches away from his face day and have, night. I would have to kill him. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to kill him. And rather than commit a homicide, right. you'd rather back out. And th these people really don't understand what Jeff is like at all. Does anyone else want to back out? You know, I got a question. Does anybody have to call home? Like this one guy said, oh, my wife's going to be so bummed out. I mean, I'll tell you what. I need to I've got $500. Right? Four of these to give away. That's I've correct. got $2,000 from League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, which, by the way, is out on uh, DVD. DVD, yes. I'll give four of you $500 to back out now because you know, you can, if you really know in your heart that you can't last. Because don't start it if you can't go it the whole week. Two, I could last. Do you I could think, last. Does anyone want $500 to get out of this? I could last. I believe that. Is everyone in? Yeah, you know what? I'm Make it two thousand dollars. That's five hundred. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bail because I got two daughters. Yeah. And I wouldn't put them within two feet of this guy. Two feet of that Screw smelly, you. nasty, skanky. Screw you, dude. I was waiting outside this morning before they let us in. Yeah. This dude was smoking a big fat spliv the size of my arm. Right. At five thirty in the morning. Yeah. So Screw I'm gonna give you five. And then dropped it and he couldn't pick it up. We had to go pick it up for him. Five hundred dollars. You're you. out. I'm gonna give Maria five hundred dollars because she backed out. Thank you. I got two daughters. I, 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 they'll be scarred. Just you are a realist, and I'll tell you why. Do you know what your daughters will experience being near this They'll guy? They'll be in rehab by nine. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Smart man. You took the five hundred rather than I, risk, you know what? risk your children's lives. I, I, I'd be walking around showing my pictures of my kids. Two I got people. Jessica, Amanda, and Jeff the drunk. Two I, people I, I are out. That. Two people are out. I'll give you Anybody one last out? chance. Open the door, Gary. I have a question. I just wanted to know, um, where did you guys find such a guy? Where did we find him? Where'd you find him? He called guy? us. I found that. Holy Jesus, man! I don't know. I I personally want to know if I can endure it. I I, I want to oh, I want to put like myself endurance. to the limit. You want to know? All right. I I want to do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, wait a second. No, no, I'm not backing down, Howard. All right. Because like I said, I have a nephew who needs help, and I've been through hell all my life. And you inspire me with that moving everything else. I okay. endure a lot of hell. All right. This is my. If I had to die the next day. And I'd be remembered for this, so be it. So be it, all right. Uh, <laughs> all right. I will. I will. Two people have taken the $500. I'm going to say goodbye to Nobody those two. Else. What is it, high pitch? Nobody else. I'm, I'm backing out. All right, because, three people. Because you got to give these other people a chance. Yes, all you right. get a win anyway. Yeah, that's it, Eric. So get the hell out. <laughs> I'm backing out. Smart. Thanks to yeah, League of him. Extraordinary Gentlemen. He's him. Why would, what does it matter if he backs out? <laughs> I'd rather be handcuffed to him than him. The three of you are out. I'm going to say goodbye to you now. So we've never done the Bye-bye, guys. Bye, everyone. $500 could have bought 10 helmets, but what do I know? I know. What is this with the I'm buying my nephew a helmet, then I'm going to Cancun. <laughs> All right, Robin, we now have narrowed the playing field down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven people.
All right, that's a little better. A little easier to choose. Dr. Gonzo, go ahead. Hey, now. Hey, now. I was just wondering, does Jeff actually sleep for eight hours at night, or does he have to get up every three hours for a drink? Do what do you, you do? Do you actually suck? No, answer the question. Do you sleep through the night? Do you sleep night? through the night? Yeah, of course. You don't get up in the middle of the night to... Pee? Sometimes. Have you ever peed your bed when you get really drunk? Never. Be honest. Never. Do you snore? Swear to God. Jeff, I peed my bed drunk. <laughs> Never. <laughs> and you've been... Swear to God. All right. <laughs> About as drunk as Jeff. Usually get... Ever defecate your bed? Never. Never. Oh, oh. Whoa. whoa, you did it here. I swear to God. What was that stuff in your underpants? From a boil? How's your boil? You want to see it, bitch? No. <laughs> do you sleep in the nude? Um. Now I do. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in my birthday suit. What? Jeff, have you ever been inside? College? What? what? Have you ever been inside? He's talking about jail, Jeff. No. College for a few years. He's <laughs> out. <laughs> that dude's out. Greenhaven. I've, I've been there. You, what I were you in work. college for? Was no that problem. a state school? What were you in, what were you in jail for? I was in school. Um, what were you in jail for? I violated order of protection. I hit somebody with a brick in the face. <laughs> You're kidding. Wow. Uh, wow. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> you said that's 24 hours security. I, right? I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I went to military school. I've been through the jail. I've been through the rehabs upstate. I want this challenge. I want him to be my friend. I want to know this guy. He looks like a good guy. I want what to was, hit him with a brick. What were you? Yeah. What were you in college for? Uh, breaking and entering. Breaking and entering. Wow. I was a young man at that. Nice. Point. Changed your ways. Well, it's time to decide. Wow. Two and women left. left? There's left? two women left. I'll tell you exactly who's left. You got... Let me see who you got here. You got Shannon, the hot chick with the big boobies. <laughs> Bro for her. You once want... posed nude for an internet website. It wasn't really for an internet website. It was for a photographer that I was friends with, and it wound up on the internet right. before I really knew what the internet was. All right. She's, she's what we call the hot chick. Right. That could be a very interesting pairing, her and Jeff. Yes. I mean, I don't know that she could take it. Then you got Jenny Diaz, who told us a horrible story. She needs to pay off debt. And help her husband get to a doctor. She's married with a child. She's 29 years old. Her husband needs to go to the doctor, and her son doesn't even have a proper bed to sleep in. That tugs at my heartstrings. It does. You have to vote for that. And will your husband be at home while the, you and Jeff are tied together? I'm sorry. Tell will me. your husband be at home? Um, yes. Yeah. So it'll be her, her husband, and Jeff in the bed. <laughs> yeah, will, you, will your husband sleep in the bed? take care of so many people. <laughs> I know. Hey, then buddy. you got Richie. I'll make this interesting. Richie's would... been to college? Uh, I don't know. Not yet. Not yet. I got my GED. I'm kind of working on it. You know that. what I mean by college. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. How, long, how, how, how much time did you do in uh, college? Uh, altogether, six months. Six months, all right. Yeah, I'm He's a little single. Peewee. He's 19 years old. From Staten Island. 19. Well, okay. he's 19. I yeah. asked everyone if they were 21. Are you 21? Yeah, I'm 21. Oh, oh wait a minute. Can we not have him? Disqualified. Are you disqualified? Bye. No. Are you 21? Yeah. I see your license. I was one. Yeah, I got a New York card. Right there. I don't, I don't even know what this is. What is that? For New, it's for New, New York State's benefits. Where's your birthday? Right here. See, it's his birthday. Look at that. Where's his driver's license? 81. Where's your driver's license? I lost it. I don't even have a car yet. I'm... Go ahead. It, it's real. It's a picture ID. It sort of looks like him. All right. It doesn't have his birthday on it. Huh? That's real. It's his brother, God damn it. You know, he... All right. Let's go to Alex. I'm not going to sit here, but this is the homework he should have done before. Yeah. I'm going to go to Alex. He's a waiter. You got no money to pay your rent, and you're about to be evicted. I'm ten thousand eight hundred dollars behind on my rent. Get I got job, the paperwork to prove it. I will make this interesting. I, I, you know, oh, don't worry. This. We're not afraid of it not being interesting. Yeah, Jeff's yeah No matter who you account. attach this guy to, it will become interesting. But just this is a week-long endurance test, and I'm just afraid that all these people are fronting, and I, 
I would hope you give us somehow. The, you said you were going to thin the herd. I we did. You were going to challenge us to do things. Um, I no, understand you have more questions to the show. But That's right. If you guys, if you just understand, I'm a big fan. There's some guys that didn't even know who High Pitch Eric was in the green room. So you got some people here that just somehow heard about a contest. I've been a diehard fan for years. I love you All guys. All right, Alex. I, I got a retraction for you in the Times. You know, I work with Tom Jolly. I, I'm willing to defend you in any way. Please somehow recognize me and Thank understand you. that I'm in a desperate situation. Thank you, uh, Alex. Thank you. William? You're a contractor. You've been yeah. pretty quiet back there. You've been a real man. You haven't begged? No, nah, I'm not going to beg, but I mean, I'm I'm willing to do it. you got to pay off bills, too. Yeah. Pay off bills, and I'm going to try to start my own business soon. All right, so you could really use the money. Yeah, desperately. I'll make it interesting. I'm not going to stay home with them. I'm going to take them out, take them to my friend's houses, <laughs> take them to the bar, to go-go we bar, watch them make fun of all the dancers. We found number two. Uh... <laughs> John, uh, John... You are an installation supervisor. Yeah, but I'm going to be out of work in my February. They're going to throw me out. All right, so you need the money, back. too. Everyone here needs the money. And, yeah. Frank, you said you're unemployed, and i got to tell you something. You have to pay off medical bills. By I have to. You know what? I already tapped my uh, IRA. Uh, I am so far in debt, Howard. Uh, and you're married with two kids, so. Yes, I am. All right. And you, you don't mind that. taking Jeff home to your kids. I would kick my grandmother for a field goal to get this. All right. And All right. my wife did assure me. You know, everybody was so freaked out. Friday, we thought it was going to be Wheel of Benji. I thought it was. I called up Will to tell him I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't get a hard on all weekend right. after that display. But this is, is a horrible thing to think that this one person would be in my house with my kids and my beautiful young wife. Screw you, you oh, out the hell, oh, you oh, drunk oh, bastard, you. Uh-oh. Ah, that's uh, interesting. It might but be interesting My to wife see said she could wet family. nurse a drunk for 20 years. Soft, soft <laughs> helmets. All right, here we go. Enough Hold of on. this. I gotta, so this guy's out. Oh, is he 19? Yeah. Even, right. He shows us one ID, shows another ID, but we've got to... All right. Sorry, I, I want to do this. How, I, I've been... Goodbye. I know, but you're not old enough. Oh man, can this you lose me 500 bucks? Please don't make me love how game. Oh, game, bitch. Oh, I, I got this. You, know you got 500 Howard, bucks. You got the last 500. All right. Goodbye. All right. I'm get sorry. out of here. League of, of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Now, let's get back to so Stuck on You. So we got six now. That's right. Stuck on You is the promotion. They're providing $20,000 in this promotion. And now we're down to one, two, three, four, five, six people. Pick the hot chick. Jeff wants us to pick the hot chick. Who's Please. voting? You're voting, I'm voting, Casey I'm Armstrong's voting. voting, Gary's voting, Fred is voting. Jeff the Drunk. Shush. And Artie is voting. No and Benji. No Benji. No oh, oh, Jeff, you oh. no <laughs> Jeff the Drunk, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you don't get a vote, I'm sorry. Sugar. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Jeff. Let's sure. find out who you're going to be shackled to for an entire week in the Stuck on You promotion. Okay. Baba right, is Bowie. everybody voting? Yeah. Baba Bowie. I, I know what I want to do. I, I've, th I've been thinking about it. I got it set. All right. Who do you want? You know what? I was going to go with the hot chick, but Jeff would just enjoy that too much. Jenny, who's got the hard luck story. she got a husband. I love that whole dynamic that they all got to live together, so I'm picking Jenny. All right. Sure, that is you. one vote for Jenny. Thank you. And don't bitch and whine like a girl if you don't get picked. You know who I'm talking to. I'm voting for you, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Baby. All right, Casey, go and vote. All right, um, you know I was gonna go with this guy here, but the, uh, which, when you say this guy here, I mean yeah, uh, the glaucoma guy. Yeah, I was gonna go with him. It might help if we put name tags on people next yeah. time. But go ahead. But, you yeah. know, I'm thinking along the lines of the show. I'm gonna go with Jenny because she's not gonna stand for his crap, and she'll be done in one day. <laughs> you don't think Jenny can even go the distance? She's not gonna last today. But I'm gonna go with you. This guy's gonna have a conniption. Go ahead, say what you want to say. I don't want to say anything. It's just, you know, whatever. I, I'm not going to whine. You said not to whine. All right. All right. That's just real matter. But you're dying to whine. I'm, I'm going to be out on the street. It's it's cold and... Um, I don't want you out on the street. But, yeah, but you know what? It's You can't pay a bill. I mean, she got a sick guy. She can't help that. As Casey said, um, I got a whole host of reasons. I, I focused on that one. But as, as Casey said, it's going to be over tonight. No matter who you attach this guy to, ultimately it's going to be the best if you see four days of gut-wrenching, you know... Hell. Dynamic between two individuals. I mean, it's it's going to be interesting. So don't have it end in the night. I don't think it'll be over in the night. I think she's got to save her she family. She I think she'll do what she's got to do. The, the, beel of, uh, the, beel, the wheel of Benji. Where, where's her guts? Where's her resolve to win something? 
How do you know she has no resolve? spinning the wheel. I'll do everything on the wheel. This is how desperate I am. I have no choice, you understand? Anyway, whatever. You have your votes. I, I, I hate to beg. I hate to be I have my hand out begging like this, but I don't want to be out on the street, man. You know, this paperwork is very real. And you're going to have a marshal knocking on my door. I think that's funny. You have some big prick with, with a mustache, and I'd say, get out. No, <laughs> sir. A mustache? I'm going to be living uh, two blocks of Marty at the yeah, wire. Up, must yeah. 125. Was a guy snidely whip last year? Like, Why a mustache? Well, you just picture marshals with a mustache, big guy, you know, get out of here. Whatever. All right. But, uh, look, he's I think the guy in the end can tell you what a marshal looks like. <laughs> All right, let's go to Robin Quivers, who always seems to know what to do. You know what? I'm going with Mr. Macular Degeneration. Wow. Thanks, Robin. I think the whole family dynamic would be funny with Jeff. <laughs> it would be a show. He's got a nice young wife, he's got some young kids, and so he'll have Jeff there. Artie, go ahead. You know what? Uh, I think both of the chicks will be out in a day. I agree with Alex, and I, I don't want to see that. I want to see someone dig their their feet in and do this i love my boy from my hometown union i love you right, man right. but i gotta go i gotta go with alex i think alex will do this no matter what all right all right i think all right. he'll all right. i think he'll stay with it how all i right. like to say jeff he was standing next to me for 10 seconds outside he came up i was dying from the smoke i mean he was smoking cigarettes he was smoking weed i'm not going to stop this guy from doing anything but i cannot stand smoke this guy's going to be a mess. I got to do what I'm going to do, and I trust me. I All right, let's go to Fred Norris. Fred, who do you pick? Jenny has two votes. The blind guy has one vote, and Alex has one vote. Jenny has two votes. Yes. I'll vote for her. Gary and KC. Go ahead, Fred. My, my choice is every step of the way. She's been wincing from the time you announced the contest to the time you announced who it was going to be. Shannon. Beauty Shannon, and the, the hot chick. Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and and the beast you thank you. I could handle them. Interesting I angle. So. Have, I've had no, worse boyfriends. You have I think. no idea. <laughs> <laughs> you have no he's idea. Gonna, he's gonna break her like a rodeo pony. <laughs> you like? To I had see. an ex-boyfriend pee on an alarm clock while I was yeah, sleeping. Yeah, but you can so smell him. From, you can smell him from forty paces. <laughs> the I smell alone is insane. Smell alone is gonna kill I'm you. I'm not a typical chick. All right, let's go. Who's she left? Had a stroke. You I are. Think, I think it's you, buddy. I think it's you. Yeah. Jenny has two votes. Blind guy, I, I feel for this guy. I don't like to hear anybody losing their vision. He's got one. Thank you, Howard. Alex, I, I Alex feel for. One. I do feel for Alex. And Shannon has one. Uh, I Shannon feel for one. Shannon. Uh -huh. I can't go with Shannon because I think Jeff the Drunk will enjoy her too much. Right. I'm, I'm eliminating her. That's a good point. <laughs> It makes no point to vote for any of the guys who only have uh, who have zero votes because he wouldn't win anyway. Right. Right. The best we could, if I vote for Alex or the blind guy, they're tied with Jenny. And then you could have a runoff. And then we could have a runoff. Oh my God! Don't do that. I like the blind guy a lot, and I like Alex a lot. So who are you going with? <laughs> All my I might have Benji vote. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not so easy when it comes down to it, right? You're going to be homeless in two months anyway. It makes you feel better. You're going to be homeless. You. This guy's going to be homeless in two months anyway. Or even if he wins the 20 grand. Or even if he week. wins the 20 Where are you going to film it? These two guys. If he's evicted, where is he going? Where are you filming it? Well, that's funny. Where are they going? Where are they going? Right here. No, no, no. no. Yeah. Ten days to vacate. This, it's... No, no, no. <laughs> That'd right. be funny if they wound up on the street. Yeah, it's better, they, it's better if they throw them out. <laughs> How much do I owe? The three people left in my mind are. I'm not going with the hot chick because I'd like to be handcuffed to her. Let's face it, who wouldn't? Why should Jeff have so much fun? Yeah. Screw you, Jeff. Howard. Yeah. Can I just say one thing? But anyway, you're out. I know, I know, but I just want to say it's an honor to meet you anyway. Oh, thank thank you. you, guys. Thank you. I know I'm I sorry, have a vote, but vote for you. Sorry, I couldn't vote for you. You got it two together. God damn it! I don't All know right, who to go with. Robin, I hate your generation and Alex. And Jenny, and Jenny would be great because not only does she need the money, but she's a woman, and women are going to just be grossed but out by I you. I think you can pick one of the guys, and then we'll all have to vote between the two yeah. of them. I can't even pick between these two guys. They both are, are, are tugging up. Who do you think is a better guy? You know, I love both of them. I already gave my vote to Mr. Mac, hmm. and uh, that's the way I'd go. Mr. Mac, forgive me. I'm going to vote for Alex and force oh. a runoff. I'm going to vote. I'm sorry. I'm going to force a runoff between Alex and Jenny. Drama king. 
Even though I'm leaning toward Jenny. Well, now everybody has to vote again. Sorry, Mr. Mac. Mr. Mac? Macular Mac degeneration. That's fine. That's fine. Nah, I see now the guy's pissed. I hate it. I hate choosing. I hate choosing. I said, screw you, Howard. You know, pick one person. Hot chick is gone. Once again, she feels she's a victim of her good looks. Oh, yeah. I know. They've been, she's been such a victim. Have a good day. It's down to Jenny wow. and I'll Alex. Eat that. Damn. Yeah. All right, Thanks Robin. A lot, guys. What's a better television Listen show? To him, carry on already. This is what's going to make it great. What's a better television show? Jeff, the drunk, living with Jenny and her family, or living alone with Alex? Well, it's not Jenny and her family. It's just Jenny and her husband because her son has been sent away. Right. And I think that'll be the better show. I, I, the more, the merrier. I think so. <laughs> You're voting for Jenny. Yeah. I'm All right, Jenny's got one vote. Casey, who do you vote for? I tell you what, this guy's got a lot of problems, a lot of balls, but. But the thing, well, hold on, let me vote. But the thing is, she looks disgusted by Jeff, and I think that's going to be fun. That's a good point. Go ahead, Gary. Stick it with Jenny. All right, that's three votes. Fred? I'm afraid that Jeff's going to give her husband a heart attack, but i got to go with Jenny. All right. All right. That's four. Party. Uh, I'm, I'm staying with my boy, Alex. Alex has one. But, it's you know, fait accompli yeah, already. Uh, already. I'm sorry, I mean, it's, it's Jenny who's it's going to be deal. shackled. Yeah. It's a done deal. What Even, if she gives up? Can I assume... No. You know, I didn't bring in personal no. issues. Listen, I got listen. medical issues. Alex, I have someone at home, too, that, Alex, that's currently under medical care. I mean, no, Alex, no. Alex, right, accept right. it like a man. I'm sorry. You, you, were, you gotta came. Go move. You got to go home and move. Oh. Sorry. Alex, come on. We, you no, you but, knew. But, but, but what are you going to do? Why it just, it's a, it just hold happens. On a second. Why is it that, that we can't just. What is she willing to do? Will she take off all her clothes now? She, she doesn't have to. But it's, it's we, just we show said, the resolve of the show, the show that goes to the bathroom. That's when I'm going to take my. I will off. make this show interesting. Trust me. The vote has been taken. Individual. All right, all right. The tribe has spoken. We don't want yeah. somebody performing for the camera right. either. It's not. All right. You are the I don't want to seem like, like a false part. It's just tough. Goodbye. I, I, I thought this was going to be a challenge. You know. You are a good contestant. There's no doubt it would be interesting seeing you chain to Jeff the drunk. You're the second best contestant. Yeah. But You're Jenny has a little bit I better story. I didn't know who else is in my apartment. I just didn't you know. You didn't. That we and that's why I was voting there, for you know? Jenny. Jenny, right. it's going to be Jeff goes right. to Jenny's home and lives. And in all fairness, she did her thing up early. She talked about her family early. By the time we got to you, you should have let it all hang out if you got something that you needed but, to but say. But I also thought there was going to be an opportunity because when he He's Alex, the herd. I Alex, it was be like, over, what are the challenges? Alex, like, stop! <laughs> like the tribe has spoken. That's it. When he's breaking up with a girl, you're trying to argue her into loving you. It's over. You're a good guy. Hey, I'm a, I'm a lifelong fan. So I'm going to change my opinion of you. I just Thank feel you. extremely disappointed. I feel faint and. I don't blame you. This is not good. Um, you know, I, I, if just, if I didn't even though. come close to it, I could have resolved myself to it. But, uh, I mean, as I said, I've got a girlfriend at home who now she's going to have to move back to, to Minnesota. She's going to have to suspend medical treatment. She's been on for a year and a half. I got a doctor's number. I'm not, can I, not can just. I, can I make a suggestion? Get a job. I, who says I'm not employed? Do you understand what it's like? But, I mean, she, she got people dying. Where, where, where? Well, uh, well, you could say, hey, get a job and pay for your medical bills. It's all a matter of, I didn't fall behind on my rent because I'm a deadbeat. Right. You know, I, I had medical true. expenses. I, I'm trying to well, we didn't know that. Three right. jobs. Well, you can know it now. I was trying with three jobs yeah, to pay off these things and cover my rent. I don't He's know. very you insensitive, know? I mean, Alex. Yeah. I'm just saying that you, you're dealing with a man in a desperate situation who's facing getting thrown out on his street. I don't even know where I'm going to put my stuff. I don't have the money to move. I, I left hey, it down no, to I the I feel bad for you. I do. Yeah, I'm saying you got a marshal showing up at my house. You have, yeah, I, I definitely going to be evicted. How do we get him to leave? I Alex, gotta, what can I, I, I say? Look, put the microphone. I'm going to plead my case right. to the very last moment. What do you want oh, me to say? But I understand. But um, you, somebody's got to win, and it just wasn't you. Know, that's how it went. Dude. It's not that we don't like it. It's somebody had to win. I can already guarantee you, this, this woman, I feel for her. You've got people. I remember this guy before with the blackjack. Uh, all of a sudden, someone called in, was willing to pay for the for the medicine. Right. Someone will help this. No one. No, <laughs> wow. Who's got the Italian last name? You can't throw me a bone here, Gary. <laughs> you scared the hell out of Jenny. <laughs> yeah. Her nerves are shot. <laughs> I'm like... Look what she won. <laughs> Actually, I think Alex is making a good point. She can't take a gong. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> she All got right, freaked Alex, out by a gong. When she quits... You're not if she, have quits, she quits, if she quits, right she quits. If she quits, she we quits. It's her twenty thousand to win or lose. Yo, Alex, any constellation, dude. I get those eviction notes all the time. You ignore them. They go away. Oh. <laughs> I go away. Yeah, that Notre Dame. Jenny, you have won the opportunity. Thank you so much. Twenty thousand dollars. Okay. You 
will watch Jeff go to the bathroom. You will watch Jeff shower. You will watch Jeff drink. Watch me too. No, That's right. Watch. Yeah, they have to do this together. I wish you luck, Alex. Thank you, Jeff. It's up to you now. <laughs> this woman is trying to win twenty thousand dollars. Do you care, Jeff? No. <laughs> no, I don't. He's got his own problems. What? Well, you know what? He would have cared too much if it had been the pretty girl. This was right. the right choice. Yeah. Look at him. He's all bummed oh, out now. The handcuffs. He don't want to get out of there. Jenny, the handcuffs are coming up. don't have bigger boobs. First of all, Jenny's very pretty, too. Where are they going to But she's got a husband, see? Yeah. Yeah. Who, who wants a chick with a husband? <laughs> she's not going to put out. Right. <laughs> Jeff, go over and get handcuffed now. <laughs> It's time. It's time. It's time, Jimmy. It's ground zero time. It Send the bitch over here, man. Here it's He's being difficult already. Here Come on. Starts. Go over there and stand there and take and, and get yourself shackled. I thought I was going to sing a song. You're not singing anything. This has gone on way too long. Who is he now? Wendy the retard? He's got to sing every time I he's here. I have a perfect song made out. <laughs> um, Jenny, you sure? Jenny, are you sure you want to go? You can quit right now and save yourself any kind of aggravation. Your hand is being held out. There's handcuffs cannot come off if you want the twenty thousand dollars. The only time they come off is when you're going to the bathroom, but you will still be leg shackled. No. Where do you get handcuffs? Okay, let's go. Wait, easy, Jeff. Don't yank her already. I give her ten minutes. <laughs> they gonna last a minute. <laughs> Jeff, you are not... Jeff, look at her. You're, hand you're handcuffed to a woman. Jeff, you're handcuffed to her. Hi. Okay. Are you okay, Jeff? I'm fine. What happens if he starts falling over? Right. He's going. Down with him. I have to get out of the bathroom. Bro. Do you really? I ain't lying. All right, take the microphone to the bathroom. <laughs> He's drinking a beer. You have to see it. Jenny, when he drinks that beer, your arm goes almost right into his head. I know. Nice. I didn't realize that. That's cool. If I'm lying, I'm dying. That's it. I mean, she's going to be hitting him in the face for a week. Jenny, yes. you're such a nice woman. It's going to be a long four days. Does he smell? He doesn't have body odor. He would. He smells of just alcohol. Right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's his scent. What if she falls in love with Jeff? Thank you. No. Well, that would be the bizarrest. It's gonna happen, baby. Jenny. You're pretty. Right? You're young. You're. Thank you. Not you. <laughs> Jenny. Yeah, he's I think I, you seem like yeah. such a nice woman. I don't wish this on you at all. I think, yes. I, I think you're in for a nightmare. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. It's just starting. I could not be shackled to this guy. He's a human being like all of us. No, he's not. That's where you're wrong. That's where you've made a mistake. I don't even know how they're going to get undressed because they both have these long sleeve shirts on now. I don't know either. They might just be in their they're clothes for four days. They have to cut off the clothes or wear them for the entire time. Bob, and I think you want to be hooked to me. That's true, Jeff. Yeah, she can't wait. Well, the promotion is called Stuck on You in honor of the new comedy from the Farley Brothers, you, baby. starring Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear. Good luck. Thank you. I guess you're going to have to go stop at the bathroom. We're going to take a break. I hope Stuck on You is as funny as this is. I can't wait to see the footage of their I have a song to sing. No offense okay. to the movie. Yeah. This is ten times funnier. I would think so. Howard. Yeah. I have a song to sing. Yeah. All right. Sing a little bit. Sing it. It's a Christmas song, Howard. I, I, CD1. All right. Here you go. Um, you hold it, please. <laughs> he's, giving, he's giving her the beer? Wait, what? <laughs> Are you ready to sing, Jeff? No, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're married to him. Please have snow in me. So don't. Imagine being a It's crazy. What is that, Jen? I 
the tree. You're having fun. Call me in two days. Yeah, we'll see you in five hours. Christmas Eve. <laughs> 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 What song is this? I'll be home. I'll oh. <laughs> be home. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> for Christmas. I love watching her handcuffs. I oh. only in my dreams. Oh, oh no, don't you disturbing that me singing. I'll be home. <laughs> Jenny, good luck to you. You are handcuffed to Jeff the Drunk. For you can count. Yes, you can. You can't love me. All right. And uh, thank you, there Jeff you the go. Drunk. Good luck. And there's your beer. I'm getting nothing for Christmas. I would like to finish the freaking song. Oh, come on. All right. Goodbye. Yeah, and we'll be Jeff. back right after these words. Very Find fun. out what it's like to bang Echo Johnson next. Who is Echo Johnson? Go to HowardStern.com. Take a look at her picture. It's our new feature. She's a Playboy Playmate. <laughs> Take a look at the hot chick, and then we'll meet the guy who bangs her. <laughs> look, he's going to the bathroom. He's yeah, going to the bathroom. She's immediately going to the bathroom with Jeff. I'm going to go watch. I'll see you later. Uh, you little bitch. OJ called me. He says she thinks this is a pretty cool story. <laughs> uh, Jeff the Drunk and Jenny. Yo. Hello. Where are you guys Hello. now? We're at home. You got home. Yes. He, he behaved pretty well in the cab. But that was like, he was like the same. Oh, I wish the big blue girl would have one. So what is it? Does he smell? Uh, no, not that, that much. It was okay. What was the worst part? Him going to the bathroom? Uh, yeah, we went to, he went to the bathroom. Um, he washed his hands. Yeah, that's because you were there. Yeah. <laughs> He's already acted up a little bit, Howard. He yeah. asked. I always was my hand. When they were giving him the rules and everything, he he asked um, if he was allowed to make a deposit on her. Uh, a deposit? Yeah. What is he crazy? Oh, dude. Oh, what if he? Hey, I was asking. <laughs> what? Just asking. I don't know if that's At something you asked. asked. He just... At least he asked. That's what he said. Yeah. At least I asked. So uh, so far so good. Yes. You think you'll yep. be able to handle this for four days? Yes, I can. She must yes. be in a coma. We were we were uh, uh, discussing what we we're going to have for dinner, and so he wants chicken. So we're going to go grocery shopping and uh, get some. All the hamburgers. Well, the twenty thousand dollar prize should you win it is courtesy of Stuck on You, the new comedy from the Farrelly Brothers. Um, which uh, I'll tell you what. What. I don't see how you're going to do it. He is the most annoying human being on the planet. Sometimes, you have. sometimes he comes down here. Uh huh. And like in, in 15 minutes, everybody's ready to hang themselves. I don't, uh, Ronnie can't even stand to see him coming. True, Ronnie. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! So we're, we're going to go in now because we're cold. All right. Okay. Okay. So, all right. Have fun. Okay. Bye. All right. Bye, Jeff. Thank you. Bye. They're at home. Ronnie won't oh. let me throw up on the coffee machine. <laughs> He's a real bastard. I just brought some weed in, dude. What else is in the news, she Robin? I know what she's in for. So a lot of people are wondering what's going on with Jeff the Drunk, Jeff Currow, and <laughs> yeah. the woman that he shackled to. Yeah. Jenny was her name, wasn't it? Jenny. She? Poor Jenny. Yeah, poor Jenny. Actually. I worried about her all night. Yeah. Well, I, I kept getting oh. notes about it, and... Uh, Jeff the Drunk, in honor of the movie Stuck on You, is handcuffed to a woman named Jenny. And we're giving $20,000 to Jenny if she can stay handcuffed to Jeff the Drunk. Till Friday. Till Friday. And it's only Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone, you know, sent me a note and said, well, you know, uh, so far, they went to Jenny's apartment. And Isaac was really pissed because I guess she gets some sort of public assistance or something, and she's got a better apartment than him. Oh, no. Wow, really? That's funny. Yeah, everyone was like, really pissed that she had she a really a nice... great apartment. Yeah, but the apartment's kind of sparse. Like, they don't have a table even. They have, like, a, they use a cardboard box for See, a dining room table. Making ends, uh, they're having trouble making ends. They're having trouble making ends meet. And uh, so the, the 
kid has been there, even though they thought the kid was going to be out of the house, oh, the kid's okay. been in the house, uh -huh. and calls Jeff the drunk Uncle Jeff. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. How old is this poor child? About five. Oh. The husband doesn't seem to mind that he's there. They're, they're into the 20 grand. Uh, the, Jenny's uh, philosophy seems to be to just sit there with Jeff, because a lot of times Jeff just falls asleep oh, really? spontaneously. You know, he's a drunk. Yeah. I'm a narcoleptic. Yeah, so she just sits there. She doesn't seem to mind to just sit there. Oh, better, she doesn't have anything to do. Better he be asleep than annoying her. Let's go, baby. <laughs> but when he falls asleep, does he is he sitting up or does he fall over? Because she's attached to him. Yeah, I guess he sits down. And then she's sitting on the couch. She just sits there. <laughs> she can't go anywhere. She can't go she anywhere. She doesn't want to disturb Jeff. She can't get a magazine to read. She just right. sits. And she seems content to just sit there. Well, oh, dear. God. And then uh, a couple of times she had to go to the bathroom. And so did he. And when she goes, he doesn't. He seems to be pretty respectful. He doesn't oh, well, give her good. as much space as he can. Uh, he oh. turns like he kind of turns himself. Uh huh. So he's been pretty nice about that. They haven't. She is she wearing the same outfit she left here in? Yeah, I think so. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't know the answers to everything, but maybe we'll check in with them later. I think she'll be wearing that outfit for the week. Yeah, but Jeff, he's got a shower. I mean, he must stink. Yeah, by now. Well, Jeff sweats just standing there. Yeah. Well, I know that. I know they're just trying to. She's just trying to hack her way through it. I think her her philosophy is just hang in there. Yeah. You know, just you know, least resistance. So they did go food shopping or something, though, so she could get Jeff something to eat, I thought. Yeah, they went food shopping, and <laughs> we'll find out more. I mean, because okay, I would love to know what the people in the grocery store thought of these two. <laughs> it's pretty funny, actually. <laughs> Johnny, can I get some more chili? <laughs> yeah, there was something in my notes about... I have to get my notes out. I don't know if I have them here. Let me print them out for you. There was a whole bunch of stuff going on. Yeah. And doesn't she have any child care duties while Jeff is at um, I don't know. We'll find out. All right. Well, I'll, I'm just giving you a little taste. Okay. We'll find out later in the show what's I'm going on with that. I'm fascinated by this whole thing. Yeah, I'll get my notes. If somebody prints them out for me, I, I would appreciate that. Uh, let's go to Bob. Bob, you're on the air. Let's move on to another topic. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Jeff the Drunk in the $20,000 contest stuck on you. We chose Jennifer yesterday. Seems like a kind of a Puerto Rican looking girl. Who, uh, we didn't establish. Yeah. She's either Filipino or Puerto Rican. Sometimes I can't tell. And she, uh, we chose her to be handcuffed to Jeff the Drunk. Now, the way I see it, they've been handcuffed 24 hours. Yes. Um, the E crew is with them. I've got a bunch of clips. Let me see what I got here. All right, here's um, Jeff the drunk. Like <laughs> this is great. I just I saw some of the tape and Je just leaving here. <laughs> Jeff had to pee, and her hand is handcuffed to him. Yeah. And then they had to get through those revolving doors downstairs. Oh, I forgot about that. That was a whole negotiation. Looks really uncomfortable. Then they get home and uh, like they're driving to to the house because they got to stay at her house. Yeah. And Jeff just like he sits there and he has like these coughing fits. And meanwhile, she's like, you should see the look on her face. I mean, it's unbelievable. Like, listen to this. Right. CD two. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound fine at all. This is really gross. Is he coughing? I mean, is he hocking up stuff as he coughs? Or is what do you think? You heard that. Ugh. And Jeff meets her kid because the husband's there and her five-year-old there. Here's Jeff meeting the kid. Right. Mommy has to be shackled. This YouTube Jeff. Say hello, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Max. Even something more. How you doing, buddy? Fine. See? Bye. Mommy is handcuffed to Jeff. Till Friday. Till Friday? Yes. Friday. Yes. Aww. Aww. Why, why are you... We have, to do, we have to do things together. 
together? It's all about the money, dude. <laughs> The kid's the smartest one there. The kid, the, listen to what the kid says. What are you doing? So I'm, I have to be uh, stuck to jump. Uh, isn't that fun? That and that and that and that. That isn't fun. That is crazy talk. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, it's crazy. You're right on, you five-year-old. <laughs> yeah. It's all about the money, dude. Jeff really relating well to the child. Yeah. Dude, buddy. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> so then Jeff has to go to the bathroom. You can imagine what that. He hasn't made a duty yet, but he's pee peed a couple of times. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> she's like. She's holding his hand and. You haven't gone to the bathroom once. I have to go to the bathroom. You haven't gone yet. I have to go. Well, what the hell? I, I do have to go. I'm just saying. <laughs> you haven't gone yet. Oh. And he's yelling at her that she hasn't gone to the bathroom. Right. And she's telling him, I'm, I have to go to the bathroom. He doesn't even listen to right. what she's saying. He has a, no idea that she's talking. So she sits down on the ball. She's going... It's, it's, it's they're handcuffed together. It looks really peculiar. <laughs> now she's going. He's just, he, Is that her breathing and stuff? <laughs> yeah, that's just, oh. no. He's just a constant presence. <laughs> Good news. What? Good news, Jenny. I got a crap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll be regular. Could you imagine that? Oh. And then, like, most of the time, Jeff is such a, you know, like an alcoholic that th th these people are, are poor. They don't have any furniture. So, like, he sits down on this folding chair, and he falls asleep, but she's handcuffed to him. She's, like, on the floor waiting for him to wake up. Uh, and sometimes it just goes on for hours, and she just sits there and waits. Yeah. It's horrible. How's she doing? Because I still want to know what the sleeping arrangement was. And then he, uh, I'll get them on the phone, but, and then he wakes up and he just starts talking. You know how he's he annoying. He talks right away. I saw it six months later. Uh-huh. I brought this girl to the to a, a wedding. Uh -huh. I was driving. Uh-huh. And um, we went to the wedding. I got a whole face. Imagine listening to this all night and all day. One drunk story after another. Yeah. I drove on. I dropped her off in Westerlo. Then I went out to the. Like, who cares? Yeah, these are great stories. Just shut up. Or uh -huh. picked up, picked up some girl. Damn. You know that's all a lie. Right, he's not picking. Hey, look, he's throwing one woman off, hmm. picking up another woman. Four days of having to go. Uh huh. <laughs> I was begging her. So I got my car accident. What was he doing? Banging her until was... he got in his car accident. Yeah. So I was banging her. <laughs> Ever came to the hospital to see me or nothing. So that's what uh, started you drinking? No, I was drinking before that. <laughs> so um, why didn't you start drinking anyway? I always drink. But huh? Would you know? Remember? My father was a bartender. I only drank my own life. Sometimes that's not an excuse. You know what? My my dad was an alcoholic, and I didn't turn on an alcoholic. My dad was an alcoholic. So was mom. And so was my dad's dad. And so was my dad's son. I know. <laughs> Oh, no, he's going to cough again. And he's sitting there, he's drinking, he's talking, he's smoking weed. And listen to that legacy. My dad's dad was an alcoholic, yeah. my dad was an alcoholic, and, then, and now my dad's son is an alcoholic. And he's smoking tons of weed. Really? I didn't even know how much weed he smoked. Yeah. There, he, there he goes. All the way, Got the biggest spliff going. <laughs> He 
took a hit. He's like, man, he's coughing his lung up. Oh, what a fixing. <laughs> Wouldn't you just, you know, like, I'm sitting here saying, she's so patient. <laughs> I'm strangling. Yeah, I know. <laughs> they ought to legalize it. Yeah. It's not bad for you, really. <laughs> really? It's not bad for you, really. What a testament to the effects of marijuana. My father's son was the son of a father. Hi, Jenny. Hi, how are you? Hi, Jeff. What's up? Well, now we're into a full 24 hours. Did you get much sleep last night, Jenny? Um, not that much. I've been tossing and turning. Uh, Jeff's hand kind of like uh, touched me a couple of times. Oh, no. <laughs> well, I imagine that's what happens when you're laying in the bed next to each other. Yeah. And I'm so, fully aware that it wasn't my husband. <laughs> so you just leap up every time Jeff touches you? Did you guys cuddle? Yes. Did you? In other words, how do you get comfortable sleeping together? I mean, like you have to. I just laid like I was dead, just in one <laughs> corner of the bed, and he took much of the space of the bed. Your strategy seems to be playing dead. Like I even noticed you just sit on the yes. you sit on the yes. floor when he sleeps. You you like it, there's not much you can do. No. No, but even no. what she's saying is like in the bed. Jeff took up most of the bed. She had one little spot. Yeah, well, Jeff... Bob, and can, can you give me some medical advice? I mean, like uh, for every cigarette that Jeff smokes, how much am I taking in? <laughs> oh so boy, you're in breakfast, trouble. Since <laughs> breakfast, you'll be dead in an hour. Which, Why... which is two hours. Now. Why am I getting an echo? Yeah, you like guys, eleven cigarettes. Are you guys on a, a radio phone or something weird? I'm getting some kind of weird echo. No, I'm on a cell phone. He's on the ground. Uh, House phone. Well, maybe that's maybe why. Maybe if they're too close with the phones. Maybe that's it. So So he's had 11 cigarettes since he had breakfast? Yes, that's his breakfast. Wow. I, I can't eat breakfast. <laughs> when I, we were brushing our teeth, you know, like he kind of coughed and I kind of almost oh. like gagged and lost it. <laughs> Jeff, what's with all the coughing? Why don't you get checked out sometime? It was because I was smoking weed. <clears throat> that's the only reason why I coughed. That that's really good for you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good for me. Like weed. Well, don't you have any respect for Jenny? She doesn't really like the smoke. Pop Nikki. Oh, I I, I kind of like figure that. Out. Are you guys gonna go out anywhere? Or are you gonna yes. just? Yes, we're gonna go. We're going out. bowling today. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Would it be okay if um? We put the foot shackles on. No, you got to stay yes, handcuffed. I can't throw the ball. Tough. You got to throw it together. Damn. Well, we ain't going ball tonight. Well, go to a bar. Go play pool. I thought he was. I ain't play pool. pool. How the hell do I get a two pool? We don't know how you do it when you. Have that I think it's free. yeah. I think it's funny that he, he just has to sit around that house all day. There's absolutely nothing to do in Jenny's house. I'm, I'm uh, afraid to go out with Jenny. <laughs> People might be staring at me. Hey, Jeff, why don't you go get laid? Go to a whorehouse. Let's get a massage. Yeah, take yeah. A Jenny on a one but of your Jeff, wild nights. He, he wanted me to do that for him. <laughs> I said, no. Get me a whore, Jenny. <laughs> if you did. I never said nothing of the kind. Uh, why are you lying about all these women you have? I'm not lying. <laughs> you didn't have any woman. Yeah, I did. Before your car accident? Yep. You had women. Well, yeah, like I said, I brought this one chick to a wedding. All right, all right, we don't want to hear we heard it. it. Yeah, we heard it. I got laid. How come all the women disappeared? Because the stinky hose. <laughs> Is your son in school today? No, um, he's being babysit by uh, my sister. Oh, good. Yeah. I keep that kid away from Jeff. I mean, did your, where did your husband sleep last night? Um, in... Baby's bedroom. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. Wow. What a, well, it's 24 hours in. Let me just ask you the key question. Do you think yes. you're going to be able to go to completion? Yes. You do? I am focused. I am focused. All right. All right we'll see. I want to go to completion. <laughs> are you getting a contact high off? Are you getting what? What would you say, Jeff? 
I said, shut up. <laughs> Are you getting a contact high off of Jeff's pot? Um, am I supposed to be like Billy Mellow or something? <laughs> <laughs> See? I think it's working, Howard. Are you drinking at all? Who, Jeff? No, you. Uh, I just had one beer. I'm a big drinker. I just mm. had one last night with a pizza. All right. You know, at the end of this, she could be a smoker. Uh, <laughs> yeah, <drink. laughs> yeah, you might turn into Jeff. All right, well, we'll check in with you kids uh, later on, and uh, thank you so much for the call. Later. $20,000 prize if Jenny can stick it out to Friday, courtesy of Stuck on You, the new comedy from the Farrelly Brothers, starring Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear in theaters December 12th. Really, the video is a scream. Oh. Of, this, uh, of this contest. I've never seen anything funny. When oh. is Jeff not funny? Oh, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, okay, look, here's the, uh, here's the rundown. I, I'm going to play you what happened in day two of the Jeff the Drunk and Jenny Stuck on You promotion yeah. for $20,000. And <laughs> Artie and I have seen the tape. And oh, you had a preview. Oh, my God. How funny is it? Uh, it's, it's, ab it's absolutely the funniest thing I think I've ever seen. I can't wait to play this for you, Robin. Yeah. Do you think she's going to last from looking at this tape? I don't know. I mean, she's, she's I a rock, she didn't do it last night. Yeah. If she, wait till you... All I'm going to tell you is, at one point, he's unconscious in the middle of the road oh. with cars coming on, and she's dragging him to the side of a curb. Oh, my that doesn't goodness. Scare and I, I mean, I, I can't even tell you the hell this woman is going through. But she, wow. hasn't, she hasn't changed expressions, Howard. You know, Doug said it's almost like she's the Siamese twin on her shoulder. She just goes where he goes. She wants the 20 grand so bad, but, man, she's I tell really you. She's motivated. Yeah, I, I will play you clips of the whole night. Of course, you'll see the whole thing on E when we air it, but. Oh, oh, I can't wait for the I, tape. I, I, I don't even know how. I don't even know if I could do this justice, but right, I will. You don't know how to start. Yeah. Then we have to listen to that Rush Limbaugh legal announcement that he made. Yes. <laughs> uh, ladies yes, and gentlemen, uh, after the Jeff the Drunk tapes, yeah. we'll get to my attorney's letter. <laughs> and I'm going to report one, one more thing. Yeah, the ten thousand uh, dollar giveaway. No, we have to talk about my conversation with Jackie. That's what I'm talking about. That's, oh. part, that's part of the ten thousand dollar giveaway discussion. Okay. What's going on? Uh, there's a lot going on. That's what I'm trying to say. Nobody's nobody's paying attention. To <laughs> Big show. <laughs> we'll be back right after these words. You little bitch. Okay, so uh, Stuck on You, the movie, the new comedy from the Farley Brothers, they gave us $20,000 to give away, and we were thinking that it would be funny to take Jeff Currow, Jeff the Drunk, and handcuff him for five straight days. Yeah, make somebody stay with Whoa. him for 24 hours a day, every day. And uh, it's it's almost impossible, because you think, well, that's not so difficult, but if you... When when they air this on E, you will see just how mind-numbing it is. Jeff is being Jeff. Yeah, it is unbelievable. And Jenny really needs the money. You know, she doesn't have any furniture in her apartment, whatever. I mean, Her it, husband has medical problems. <clears throat> all this. So, I mean, she's hanging in there like a trooper. But i got to tell you something. I have never seen anything more bizarre <laughs> than what has been going on. Now, let me tell you what happened. I told you yesterday what happened in the first 24 hours. But it's it's heating up. Here are my notes, and then I got some tape I can play you. At least you could hear the audio. I had to bleep this like crazy because this is real intense. I... All right, here we go. First of all, just a couple of notes. Jeff's been using the same ashtray since he got there. It's a large ashtray, which uh -huh. he filled up with the cigarette butts every few hours, so it's like this huge thing. And Jenny has an allergic reaction uh, to Nair going on. She's some Nair, like on her crotch, and she's having an allergic. So, so she's uncomfortable. Jeff's smoking. She doesn't like the smoke. He's smoking weed. He's drinking all the time. <laughs> all right. Um, so the, 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 the weird thing's going on. Jenny was reading to her son, Max, a bedtime story, uh -huh. and Jeff is completely passed out and wasted, like right next to the... Mm. What must this poor child be thinking? Uh, Jeff and Jenny took two sh took showers on day two. Jeff naked is a haunting sight. These are the notes I'm reading. The shower scene for both was not too tough, as when one of them was showering, the other just put one leg in the shower, and then they closed the curtain with a certain degree of privacy. Oh, so they went to the leg shackles for the, the shower. Jenny has no towels for Jeff, so he had to blow dry himself and use his dirty shirt to dry his face. Oh. Jeff sat bare-assed on her bed with 
his huge, discolored, swollen-looking ass as he got dressed. <laughs> Jenny and Jeff went food shopping for various groceries, and the process did not seem to bother either of them. After returning from the supermarket, Jeff had a hard time getting out of the cab, and his hat fell on the ground, and he seemed really upset. Okay, so I'm reading this, and I go, all right, you know. Not so bad. Yeah, not so bad. Not so horrible. So, later that day, Jeff's weed is so intense, Jenny catches a contact high and gets the giggles. <laughs> so, because she's sort of buzzed, they have a discussion, and Jeff decides that he needs to go bar hopping. Oh, no. And she agrees? They go to Red Rock West around 2 p.m. Red Rock West is kind of like a hogs and heifers type place on the outskirts of the meatpacking district that is known as a very fun place. But uh, anyway, so from the beginning, Jeff is flirting with the bartender. <laughs> Pretty girl. She's playing along at first. You know, she's doing shots and all that kind of stuff. Jeff's flirting, however, basically consists of him telling the bartender to give him oral and asking if she's into anal. Oh, that's his flirting? He also called her a bitch and a whore numerous times. He wonders why he doesn't get women. And she was still being a good sport. She went along with him at first. She even gave him a shot. She poured it in her mouth. She spit it into Jeff's mouth. She's pouring, you know, drinks down his throat. Wow. He started off drinking Budweiser. He drank some shots. And then things started sort of changing when he took two consecutive shots of whiskey. Right after the second shot, he grimaced harshly. And didn't quite like puke, but started spitting up thick, phlegmy, greenish yellow oh. stuff, which I've seen. I've seen tape of all of this. Oh. Isaac, our cameraman, almost threw up after seeing this. Within seconds, Jeff was back to drinking beer. Oh, that doesn't oh. stop. It doesn't slow him down a bit. After a while, he had vomit, pizza, and beer stains on the sling that holds his gimpy arm. Oh. Nice. In a little over two hours, Jeff drank the following: eight Budweisers, a shot of Bacardi 151, two shots of Jameson. Jameson, two shots of Jack Daniels, one shot of Jose Cuervo tequila. Oh, uh, wait a minute. That's too much missing. He's going to blow up. And two shots of Black Hoss, which is a licorice schnapps. Oh, I haven't done that in a while. That sounds horrible. He then proceeded to what? Kill the average person. He then proceeded to walk around the bar in search of weed. He went up to everyone in the bar to ask if they had or knew where to get weed. What does he think? He's in Amsterdam? He went so far as to throw some $50 bills on the table in an open offer for weed. Where did he get money? I don't know. I want weed. <laughs> Who's got it? Where did you get money yeah, for weed? Where did you get the $50? Jeff. Well? Jeff. Yo. Where would you get the money for weed? I had it, man. Where did you get it? My assets money. My assets I money. SSI, oh, oh it's, you just got your check. Thank God yeah. for SSI. All right, well, let me continue. And, and Jenny's on the phone, too. Hi, Jenny. Hi, how you doing? Hi. So we got to work out the situation when they call in. It's, yeah, it's getting the, the echo thing is. Yeah, with the cell happening. phone and the regular phone. The guys who. Sorry. If we, well, that's not your problem. Our technical guys should be paying attention. Well, we tried, we tried hooking up the ground, the ground phone. Now listen but to this. Listen can't to this. Hear both of us at the same time. After about two hours, Jeff was asleep with his head on the bar. He was told to pick his head up. He couldn't. The bartender immediately cut him off and asked him to leave. He fired back a bunch of f words. Oh. After about five minutes, the bartender sprayed him down with water from the soda machine hose. He was soaked, but still wouldn't leave. Wait till I play you the tape of that. <laughs> Next, they tried to hail a cab for about 10 minutes. No cabs would stop for them. He's, He's cursing. He's out there freezing cold yeah. wet. They walk across the street, and out of nowhere, Jeff basically collapses in the middle of the street. I got so mad at that. Then, there's a huge thump. His glasses flew off his head. He remains in the middle of the street during rush hour for about a half an hour. And you know he can't live without his hat. So he Guys, can we work on the technical problems? I'm sorry. What is that, Jenny? I said he was... You know how he is so attached to his hat. And he said, go get it, go get it. I had to stretch out one leg because he wouldn't get up. He was being a baby. All right, all right. So Jenny tried. So now he's collapsed in the middle of the street and screaming for help. He wouldn't get up. Finally, he says, fine, I'm staying here. Jenny tries to move him. But he was literally, like, pinned to the concrete. Ugh. Finally, some people from the bar come out, pick him up, and place him on a garbage can on the corner of the street. Then Jeff spits at the camera after his fall. 
The footage is disturbing, That's compelling, and pathetic at all times. And it's really sad. Why are you spitting at the camera, Jeff? I don't recall that. Oh. He urinated in the street. Oh. Uh, I don't yeah. recall that either. Yes. yes. Jeff at one point begs for Isaac to help him. <laughs> Isaac. Isaac, like a good documentarian, is staying out of it. Right. After about ten minutes of Jeff cursing at the camera, Jeff and Jenny got a cab and went back to Jenny's apartment. Jeff crashed on Jenny's bed. Jenny had Broke a, a chair. Jenny Broke had a chair. Yeah. Yes. And they don't have many chairs. <laughs> Jenny had to pee. Jenny had to pee, but Jeff was immobile. She wound up squatting on her bed and peeing into a margarine container while Jeff laid there passed out. Oh, you did? Yes, I did. Oh, I, did I had to go. Where did Jeff go in the Hey, now. The prediction from watching the insane video is that Jeff probably will not be alive too much longer. Uh, that could be her only hope. Yeah. My, uh, i, I got to tell you something. When he passed out, I thought he was dead, and I said, she's going to have to drag him around for four days. Yeah. So let me play you some tape now. Dude, you're going to be dead. You are drinking. You don't I'm going to live you don't longer do than you. You think he has a year left, Howard? No. I don't think so either. I think it's months. Oh, Not yeah. after seeing this video. No, Jeff, do you do this every day? No. Oh, sure. All right, let me play you some audio. I think he's fine. <laughs> I'm fine, dude. All right, here's Jeff. I'm fine, dude. Here's Jeff. How good is this, Artie? It's it's amazing. All right. There's no word. Robin, here is Jeff. All right. Doing shots and then puking. sitting at the bar puking. He just pukes. He doesn't even make and, an attempt to get up and go anywhere. And that gimpy arm of his that's in the sling, it's covered in weird <gasps> juices. What and it looks like a piece of his lung or something. It's, uh... <laughs> <laughs> have you ever gone to a doctor, Jeff? What for? What for? You probably have lung cancer, dude. <laughs> you got something coming out of you. Are you in pain at all? Yeah. You are, right? Yeah. Where's the pain? I am. No, I mean, where's the where? Like when you like, like, like all that crap in your chest and no, no pain. Not at all. Really? No. All right. Then the bar. T then he fall. This is the part where he falls asleep on the bar. Uh huh. The bartender starts just spraying his face with water. It almost looked like an exorcism. Like just and like. <laughs> <laughs> like, like remember in the Exorcist when I'm glad the, you can laugh, Jenny. I mean, it was unbelievable. Jenny, are you going to make this? I mean, are you really going to stick this out? Yes. Wow. Howard, the most fascinating uh, thing about watching all I couldn't do it. Is yeah. that she? It's like she's a well, woman. I don't person. know she's why. Not even mad. Yeah, she's unfazed by almost anything. Right. Is she drinking at the bar? Or? No. She just sits there. She just sits there like in a coma. So she just has to be there. She evoked. Uh, he got reaction from her once, which is some, from the clip coming up. All right, so now the bartender starts spraying him with water, and he starts cursing out the bartender, who doesn't know what to do with him. Right, here it comes, here it comes. Calm the fuck down. You f***ing whore. Hi. Wake up, man. Calm down. Mother You Horse. <laughs> You're a searcher from way back. That's you. You're Are your nipples hard? You're Are you awake now, Jack? Yeah. Are you sure? Are you gonna put your head back down on my bar? F you. Uh, yes. Stop. Are you gonna keep your head off the bar? I can't keep my head off your head. Yeah, you want to keep your head off Stop! Stop! I don't recall that at all. Stop! Really? 
I got to tell you something. So he's already blacked out. He's sitting at the bar. He can't even keep his head up, and she's just spraying him with water from the spritzer. Yeah, the that was fifty one rub. And bad stuff, dude. Then now Jeff goes out in the street, can't get the cab. He passes out, and she's just trying to drag him along. Whoa! This is them hailing a cab. Point third street. Whoa! He can't see your cab. Get the out of him. That's swear to God, get the f out of it. She's attached at the wrist. And then he's... And then Would he's you like, stop and pick them up? No, and he starts tugging on her, and he goes, come on, come on. <laughs> hey, get over here. Get over here, he oh, tells Oh, so him. he just drags her wherever <laughs> he's going to go. Get over oh, here, no. Jenny. Where do you see the tape? I mean, you're going to be... This is the funniest thing you've ever seen. I haven't seen the movie Stuck on You, but if it's half as funny as this... <laughs> I want to punch this camera. <laughs> Can I fight it with the camera? Yeah. You sucker. <laughs> he just went down. That's where he goes down. He's now down. he's out. Now he's unconscious in the middle of the street in Manhattan in rush hour. With two separate roads with two lanes of traffic coming right towards his head. Oh yeah, he's laying in the middle of the road. <laughs> she's handcuffed. She's trying to pick him up. Yeah, she could get killed because he can't move. Nine minutes he laid in the gutter. Uh-oh. She fell. She fell. <laughs> oh. I'm down. Help me the f*** down. You f*** pets. Help me the f*** down. You f*** psycho. Stop. Stop. I'm, not, I'm not doing anything. I'm holding your gun. I know. He's cursing Stop. Jimmy. Can you hold on to me now, I'll be up? No. No. I get up. You hear the cars? They're on yeah. top of them. So you'll be up. Fine. Yes? Yeah. Can I hold you up, please? No. Why not? I want him to help me up. Now he's screaming at the cameraman. He wants he, he, He's holding the camera. He want, Jeff wants him to help him Right. Up. He wants the cameraman to stop filming and help him up. This is the best. Remember when he talked about when I said, if you ever needed help, you should accept it? He had to help me up. He has nothing to do with us. Cold. Please? Please? Please help me out. No one else. Please, just... Help me the f*** up! Okay. Help me the f*** up! Help me up! <laughs> Imagine being chained. Help me up! Jeff? <laughs> Lay down. I'm not laying down here. F*** them! <laughs> Covered in puke. I'll be up. I'm laying right down. Oh. Now you won't get up. Oh, the police. Yeah. The police. There's not even paying attention to us. I cannot believe Why? it. I cannot believe it. Get up. I can't. Get up. Get up. You have to see it. I need your help, Jeff. At this point, I would have chewed off the handcuffs. Absolutely. Jeff, I, got no. out of there. I would have whacked him in the head. Co uh, cops are there now, cars all over the place, traffic. You see, her reaction is like she's frustrated. She's not even angry. I know. She's, such, she's amazing because at this point, most people would be battering oh Jeff. Yeah, God. most people would say, I, I don't care. Take the but cuffs off. Yeah. I'm t I can't tell you what he looked like, what he smelled like, what was going on. Ugh. Help me laugh up. <laughs> Help me. Jenny, what are you on? Are you on some sort of narcotic that keeps you calm? No. Wow. It's amazing. Dude, I would have last 10 seconds with you. Who, me? Yeah, you. Oh, oh, you're no, oblivious. Do you, do you hear what you're like? Yeah. Wait till you see it, Jeff. You're going to be uh, shocked at what you did. Uh, it's all right. Oh. It's all good. That's what I really can't stand. He's not even... Concerned that he's such a mess. No, it's cool. <laughs> you know how many cigarettes he smokes a day? How many? It's got to be up over a hundred. 
It's oh, amazing. stop. Hey, Jen, you're on the air. Hi. That girl deserves way more than $20,000 for what she's going through. Thank you. You're not kidding. Yeah, I'm yeah, telling well, you. That's what I, we have. I mean, seriously, if... I mean, I know you guys get prizes and stuff, but that girl deserves so much more. You are going through way too much. Oh, uh, you wait till you see the tape. You're absolutely right. But this was the contest. Yeah. Mark. Yeah. You're on the air. This is so funny. Oh, hey, this I, is I, just I, radio. I can't wait to see the freaking tape. I cannot wait. I, I would rather take the tape of this, put it out on DVD so you could watch all of it. <laughs> Yeah, because, the whole yeah, 24 hours. You probably day. have a blockbuster. I would make it a marathon. You know, it's so to... funny. I'll chip in a hundred bucks. Yeah, get everybody chip in. Well, we're putting it on E. When is this all going to air on E? It should be on a webcam. You know, yeah, it should have been. It's going to be in January at some point for sure. But I don't know have an exact date. Maybe Robin come in with a date. Yeah. Here comes Robin. Here's Robin. Hey, Robin. It's going to take a while to put all this together, but we, we are talking about making this a one-hour special. Oh wow. Airing it maybe on a Saturday night, one hour. Wow, it's excellent. You, you just have to see. You, you have to see the footage. Can we show you Jeff falling down? Yeah, I'm going to show it. To, I'm going to show it because I want Robin's reaction. I've seen it. It is unbelievable. You know what's great about this, Howard? You'll hear Robin gasp. <laughs> yeah. In an hour, they're halfway done. It's they're halfway. Halfway. That's it. And you know he's going to. Oh, what no, happened? That's right. He's he's going to get worse. Oh yeah. Yeah. Howard, I've probably screened 10,000 hours of tape. I don't think I've ever, my jaw hit the ground when I saw him fall. Yeah. So, yeah, it's unbelievable. the motion was, uh, was there. Hey, Doug. Yes, yeah, sir. What's up, buddy? What's up, you freak? <laughs> hey, dude, just buddy. roll the tape real quick. I don't have sound on it, but just watch this. That's him. That's him standing. Watch him go down. Here he goes, and oh. boom. <laughs> he's out. Oh, and no. And he's lifeless. He's absolutely lifeless. Lifeless. Yeah, because, oh, my goodness, he's just out. He's out in the middle of the street. He's passed out. Yeah. Hey, Ernie. What, Jeff? You got a gig this weekend? I do. Friday. After uh -huh. we get unhooked. Time it's, for bowling. It's in Boston, Jeff. You won't make it. Time for bowling. <laughs> you're not going to make Larry, it. Larry, you're on the air. Yeah, our That girl sounds so nice. She, she is. is. Just She's just an unhook angel. Unhook her She's and angel. give her anything she wants. Well, we got to go. Shut up. We got to go oh, all the way through. Man. I think Jeff actually likes it because he's in a nice warm house. And and this is the only way he can get some human into Oh, yeah, I don't have a warm house. For people yeah. to be handcuffed. That, that to. girl deserves anything you guys I live in a freaking shack. You know who deserves some kudos? <laughs> we're, we're not surprised, Jeff. Isaac is dealing with so much. James, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Uh, yeah, this is James Orsman. I was uh, from Plainview. I was the guy who was standing right next to Jenny. And I was the guy who said I would go to Hawaii or Bora Bora. Yeah. I gotta tell you, Jenny, you are my hero because if that was me in the street last night, yeah. I would have grabbed I would have grabbed the brick and started beating him about the head. Right. Yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Anthony, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I just washed all the dishes, all my breakfast dishes. All I heard Jeff say was, "I'm down." I spit up all over my kitchen. I can't wait for you to see this on TV. I gotta I gotta wash everything all over again. I can't wait for you to see this on so TV. So you need to put this out. Five DVDs, twenty-four hours each. We should have put it on a webcam. Yeah, because people should be able to tune it at any time of the day and see what they're up to. No. Box sets for the holidays. I think I would even just sit there watching them sleeping, eating popcorn. That's wild. You know yeah, yeah I would have too. I would have. I would have logged on every second. Can you imagine poor Jenny? She's got a, a, a collapsed out of his mind Jeff in the bed. She needs to go to the bathroom. She has to wind up going in the bed. So how bad off is this girl? I mean, what's up? How, how badly does she need this money? You need it real bad, huh, honey? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, unbelievable. She can't stop him from smoking in the apartment or nothing? Is, is that the rules? He has to do whatever he wants? No, it's she can't stop him. I can't explain it. What do you it. think is going to happen if Jeff can't yeah, get what he mine. needs? You know what I would do? Yeah, you I would bet you 20 grand that I could detox him. You want to know something, though? See, you got to play it out if you're Jenny. It's like, well, if I give him his cigarettes... He'll at least sit there quietly, right. and I have to just sit there and smell him. I tell you, you have to talk about cigarette smoke. I'm smoking. I, and if you take away, Thanks a and, lot, and if kids. you, and if you take away the drinking, the drinking and, and everything, he's going to be worse. Right. There's a strategy to this. Well, I, well, you seem to be calm. It's amazing. It, it just it blows my mind every time I see a piece of tape with Jeff freaking out or doing something just vulgar, vile that would just freak anyone out. She's like, all right, okay, whatever. This is my fate. 
whatever. Like that when the when the bartender was spraying him down. She's remember she's just sitting there like. I think like after we air this on E, I might just take all the raw tape and rerun it on a loop on the web. Yeah. So people could watch every minute of it. It's fascinating mm -hmm. just to tune in at any given time and see what's going on. And every time you tune in, it it's just a it's a train wreck. Right. Let's go, baby. I'm afraid what's going to happen today. <laughs> I know. <laughs> this one. <laughs> so what's the plan for today, Jeff? What do you feel like doing? Well, I was going to pick up a bowling ball. You need a bowling ball? And shoes. You know what's amazing about this guy, though? His whole life, though, he's like Paris Hilton in a way. I mean, he doesn't have the trappings and the wealth, but... He just doesn't basically has a free day. And, and he doesn't care uh, how he trashes other people's lives no. as he goes through them. No. I never, I never saw the similarity between you and Paris Hilton, but you're like the idle rich. You don't go to work or anything, so you just hang out. But he doesn't look like Paris. It's the simple life. <laughs> <laughs> Get a job at Sonic Burger. <laughs> Dude, do you ever feel like you're worthless? Never. Hmm. Never. I Never. You know, people who actually do things feel worthless all the time. I was going to say, that's weird because I feel worthless every day. Yeah, and you're doing something. I get up in the morning. Yeah. Like, okay, Jeff, what do you, if anyone drank that much, the next day you'd feel like, I'd probably feel like crap for a week or two. Yeah, do you feel like, bad at all? What do you feel like today? No. I you feel don't... fine. You feel fine. I do. No hangover? No hangover. Oh, my God. And you'll drink again today? Don't do no, I will. <laughs> Has he made a duty yet? No. No. Me neither. Me neither, huh? But wait, Jeff, when you came in here, you claimed you hadn't gone in four days. I know. I was going in six days. So. Now it's six days. <laughs> but that's, oh, man. that's a reason to go to the doctor right there. What's happening? Are you? Yeah, what's that about? You're clogged or something. Six days. I'm clogged. Are you eating? Yeah. Does he look like well, he doesn't eat? Yeah, well, what do you eat? I'm going to have eggs today. <laughs> yeah, I got some London boil. <laughs> How's he uh, not going to the bathroom? Oh, I don't know. Nothing's moving through that system. Yeah, it's not working. It's all shut down. Jeff, go to a doctor. Man. <laughs> oh, please. It's What's too a doctor going to do? What's a doctor going to do with that's him? A, at that's least a give lost cause. At least give him a date that he can work towards. <laughs> <laughs> I went to the doctor last week to have him check out my blisters, and he, he took his finger and stuck it in my butt. I mean, like, on the crack. I was like, hey. And, um... He was like, oh, is that uncomfortable? I said, it's not the most comfortable situation I've been in. Wow, you're, you, you have a way with a story, too. That's, That's a good bit. <laughs> but can you imagine that sitting in your office, you know, when you no. go out there to see your next patient? You know what? Jeff sitting there? I'd quit. <laughs> I wouldn't even, I would just, I would say, why did I go to medical school? I envisioned hot chicks. Our yeah. doctor's amazing, though. Like, like if you were a doctor, yeah, you'd say, I just want to look at hot chicks. Yeah, I would, I would just limit my practice to hot chicks. <laughs> yes, Karen. Yeah, you guys have so much money. Can you just pitch in a little bit more for her? I mean, she's doing this for her family. And it's Honey, you so can pitch in. Awful. Honey, you can pitch in. Yeah, where's your pitch? You can give her 20 grand right now and release her from Jeff. Let me get, <laughs> get a little kitty going. I'll throw in a suit. But you guys, make, you guys are trillionaires for crying out loud. Oh, I mean, yeah, right. 20 grand's a nice prize, honey. But, oh, I know, I know. But, but, I mean, she deserves more than 20 grand. She deserves millions. 20 grand courtesy of Stuck on You, the new comedy from the Farley Brothers, starring Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear in theaters December 12th. All right, you two, we'll check in with you later. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Bye, Jenny. So, Artie, Artie. What? Are we going to go bowling Friday or what? No, I have a gig in Boston, Jeff. I can't help you. You can't bowl the game after, after you get done with the show? What are you going to do? You're not up there? What? Jeff, forget it. No, I don't have to him, please. <laughs> What are you doing hanging out with him, Arnie? Oh, no, I, he, he came to a gig of mine in Albany. He lives there. I wasn't, what do you think, we made plans or something? <laughs> you ended up shooting pool with him. I, and I lost 500, though. That's where he's got his weed money from me. Yeah. Hey. You know, there's one other thing that happened last night that doesn't have to do with Jeff that we thought you might find interesting. You know, our very own Doug spent the entire night in the emergency room last night. Why? Because Doug comes to me yesterday. He goes, hey, you know, I know you play hockey. I'm joining a hockey league tonight. Oh. So he goes to play hockey, and 10 minutes in, he gets into a fist fight with a guy. It's hockey. It's fun. And so he punctured his, it was, he punctured it was his shoulder. I had you a, punctured no, your I, shoulder? I had a puncture wound on my elbow. A puncture wound? Stitch. From what? A puncture wound from my bone hitting the ice. So why would you fight with a dude? Because the guy hit me in the neck and I sort of snapped. You know, you guys are amateurs. I don't know why you're hitting each other in the neck. Well, it's a, it's a no-hitting league, no-contact league, and it's yeah. just a fun league, and I go there for fun. It's my first game. I'm trying out for the team. 
and this dude off the face off hits me in the neck with an elbow. So I went after him, and he was it inadvertent or did he do it absolutely intentional? So yeah, but he got him. A yeah, that's not cool. Playing. I mean, it's it's not like you guys are playing in the NHL. But the guy, first of all, you got to say something. Doug's trying out for the team, yeah. so they tell him, "Listen, the commissioner's watching. You're, you know, they're going to see whether you should play. <laughs> Keep it low key. Mm -hmm. There's no fighting in this league." So the guy elbows him, and Doug just goes wham and hits him right in the face. Yeah, wow. it's nuts. And, uh, and the bone went through the skin. I saw the bone. <laughs> Oh, Are your arm broken? No, it's just it's just a uh, it's, it's just, just a bandage. I have like three stitches, and it's, it was wow. a hole the size of like a nickel. Wow! I could see right into my arm, at least about a half inch. Man, wow. That's gross. I don't blame you, man. The dude shouldn't be hitting you. Yeah, but wait, is I, that dude on the team? He's on. Yeah, he's on the. Yeah, he's on the, it, the. The teams are established. They just are short of players, so they asked me to come on. So. So are you not allowed to play now? No, I am. But I'm. Uh, my first night after my first night, I'm suspended for two games. And I'm <laughs> on probation for a year. Nice. Oh my goodness. All right, listen. Congratulations on that. <laughs> That's great. Sounds like a relaxing, fun night of yeah. exercise. Yeah, oh, glad long you went night. out for it. It was a long night. Well, I know Jeff fell on concrete and he's fine. This guy falls on ice and he punctures his arm. Must be something about being drunk that keeps you safe. <laughs> Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Hello, Howard. Did you just make your bowel movement? Uh, yeah. I just had my... Oh. You're not doing it now. You just had one, right? I'm doing it right now, dude. Oh, go oh, ahead. in there with him. Where's uh, Jenny? She's I'm, where right is she? I, She's right, right there. Oh, Let me speak God. to her. You want to talk to her? Yeah. Take the phone. How's it... Hey, Jenny. Hello? How's it smell? Oh my God! I'm holding my nose. <laughs> no. I have the cat on here. It's spraying in my hands. Oh, you got to be skeeved out after all this time with him. Oh my God! Remember that when he went to a show, he said he was four days clogged. Yeah. Plus two. Yeah. You do the math. How's he gonna wipe? I don't know, but I'm not helping. I can smell him over the phone. No, Jenny, that's I'm not. It's a blister that burst. <laughs> <laughs> that blood is a, is a... Are you crying? No. It smells. Does it smell really bad? Yes. Well, wait, would you imagine? Six days inside Jeff. <laughs> hey, Jenny, I had a good one brewing. <laughs> <laughs> I think when he thunked his head on the ground, it knocked the crap out of him. <laughs> hey, you better stop feeding him. I know. He just had a hamburger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You know, I had a I had a banana for breakfast. Oh, I think he's happy so with I, egg. So I did. I I went number two this morning. So oh. I I, uh, I think that did it for me. But the hammer was it really bad going number two with him latched to you. Uh, yes. <laughs> hey Jenny, that smells nice. <laughs> you know, Jenny. Can... Let me speak to Jeff. Oh, yeah. Are you done? <laughs> Almost, dude. Uh, Almost, brother. And what do you do? The, how much did, did you fill up the whole bowl? Yeah, I will. Are you going to courtesy flush or are you just going to let her smell? It might, it might be a five flusher evening. Oh. Five flusher. Oh. Five flusher. Oh. Maybe. And what do you wipe with, Dick? Just three pieces of toilet paper or do you use like a whole roll? No. You know, like, actually, this one's like a four square. Tonight I'll be using Jenny's sleeve. Ugh. I can't imagine the sloppiness with which he wipes because he only has that one hand. Right, and... he can't. It doesn't have a good back. I wipe fine, mother efforts. He's making a duty iceberg right now. <laughs> All I've got left is Thursday's brunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff. Thank you for okay, the update. Okay, you All have right. a good one. You too. Bye -bye. You had a good one. Uh, okay, uh, the twenty thousand dollars, twenty thousand dollar courtesy of uh, stuck on you contest. It's in its last day. It's amazing that this woman Jen made it through. I was just reading a note from Isaac. Isaac is uh, one of the guys from E who actually shoots, holds the camera and shoots the. Yeah, he's been with them all week as well. I read a note from him and it was amazing. He goes, "When I first found out, I was going to be covering." The Stuck on You shoot with Jeff Carroll. I was actually looking forward to it. I like Jeff. I think he's a riot whenever he's on the show. Plus, I'd be outside of the office and it would be a change of pace, you know, to do something different. After three 12-hour shifts with Jeff Carroll, I feel like I've been through a war. Oh. Following Jeff Carroll around New York City is like riding a bull in a China store. <laughs> Jeff is an immense danger to himself and everyone around him. 
I would consider his behavior on the show charming compared to his behavior in real life. Oof. Jeff seems to only care about six things in this world. These things are in order of appearance, importance rather. One, alcohol, mostly Budweiser. Two, weed. Three, cigarettes. Four, playing pool. Five, bowling. Six, singing, singing along to country songs while doing any of the above. Wow. That's it. Anyone who gets in the way of Jeff accomplishing three, any of these six things is considered a mortal enemy. And it's true. I've seen it. Now that I've watched all this tape, if he's sitting at the bar drinking and he says to the guy, play karaoke and play a song and the guy doesn't have that song, he starts cursing him out like like you, a little child. now uh, derailed his train. Yeah, and you've gotten in the way of his happiness. <laughs> Jeff will not hesitate to call anyone a sea sucker. Within three minutes of meeting a woman, he will call her either a bitch, a slut, or a hoe. <laughs> In a way, he's lucky that he's handicapped. If he talked all that trash without the handicap, he'd probably be beaten to a bloody pulp on a daily basis. In fact, the tape I'm just going to play you now, some, uh, some guy at the bar takes a drink from his beer. or Something weird happens that all I know is they're out on the street fighting, and then the, the guy... The, the, the guy from the bar comes out and smashes a beer bottle into the taxi cab that Jeff's in. It's a whole thing. So even with the handicap, he gets into fights. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, some people apparently don't care about the handicap. Jeff is an alcoholic in the worst way. This is what's so disturbing about him. He's not in denial. He knows he's an alcoholic. He likes it. He won't stop drinking until he passes out and can't physically put the drink in his mouth. Hmm. When I saw him drink a beer right after he puked from his shots... I kind of got freaked out because I realized what I was dealing with. He basically doesn't care if he lives or dies. I was afraid that he might die during my shift. Wow. I mean, anybody who thinks that this promotion was not hardcore, you are wrong. This is hardcore. There's Isaac. You all right, man? I heard they had to pull you off. You were getting so affected. It was, it was like, it was beyond reality. <laughs> you mean he can't do it anymore? It was too real. We took him off. Wow. You're kidding. I was, you know how in Vietnam someone's had to pull you out? Yeah, he's in uh, shock. We had to pull this kid out. It was too traumatic. You couldn't deal with it. Saving free. Private Isaac. <laughs> you freaked out, I heard. I, I was just, I was completely, like, broken down mentally and physically. Like, yeah. when he Could starts, you have stayed chained to him? I, I would have, I would have had, there would have been physical violence. I mean, I, I don't know how she physically didn't, you know, punch him or, or strangle him. I wanted to strangle him. I'll read the rest of your letter. Jeff did not seem to understand the concept behind the contest. This was really supposed to be a reality-based shoot in the truest sense of the word. We were not supposed to help Jeff or Jenny at all. Right. Jeff knew this. However, he took it out on me personally when I would not help him. He kept bringing up the fact that I wouldn't pay for his taxis. He called me a sea sucker hundreds of times. He swung at my camera, he spit at me, and he smacked me in the face with the door and almost took my eye out. Wow. In the past five days, I've watched Jenny and Jeff go to the bathroom, urinate, defecate, and puke. I came very close to puking on several occasions. <laughs> the closest I came was when I saw Jeff completely naked. Is that true? Definitely. It's, Jeff, it's so disturbing. Jeff has these big blotchy zits all over his body. He came out of the shower one day, and one of the zits was bloody. His feet are crusty as hell. His toenails are yellow and hardened. His butt crack is red and scaly. It looks like it's fossilized. I can't even describe it in words. His pubic area? Let's just say that grooming does not exist in Jeff's world. As far as Jenny goes, I am... I am not amazed that Jenny made it through the contest. I assume that she will go all the way. The money is a huge motivator. I'm amazed at her poise. Even when Jeff was on his ass in the middle of the street, she barely raised her voice. I don't think she ever judged him. I think she actually might have a little crush on Jeff. Is that yeah, true? I think what? she might. I think, yeah, I yeah. think she kind of like looks at him as, as like... A celebrity? Like she, likes, she likes the fun that he has. Yeah. The bad boy. Oh, like I she, see. She likes how he has it's so much exciting, fun. Yeah, he's, sort of. yeah, he's like... Yeah. An, right. I have well, you fun. Know what? When he did collapse in the street, all she said was, uh-oh. I was like, uh-oh, that's the least of what you could say about that. Isaac finally says, I was kind of taken aback by the paradoxes that exist in Jenny's life. She gets government assistance. She lives in a $4,000 luxury doorman apartment, but she has no furniture, not even an end table. Her four-year-old son has a 20-inch television with direct TV in his room. Direct TV. I don't know whether to feel sorry for her or envy her, because uh, she does have a beautiful apartment. It's, it's immaculate. But it is government assisted. So it's who knows weird. what's going on. But there's no furniture in the apartment. Yeah, right. No, they, right. They get to pay the rent, and that's it. Do you mm -hmm. see how Isaac is still, like, not He's, he's Isaac? not Isaac, yeah. It's, it's not the old Isaac we know. What happened to you, man? You had an epiphany. It's, I just couldn't handle I mean, I he's tried. He's back from I, Vietnam. I, I, I never asked to be taken off. I just kept saying, I go... 
I'm 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 gone. I'm <laughs> well, he called me after the third day, and he's like, dude, yeah. like mom, just mom, dude, Doug, take me. I can't do it. I can't do it. Wow. Doug, please help me. Who'd, like, you, who'd you throw in there? Do it. Angie, yeah, Richie, yes, oh, Richie. Richie finished up the shit. But Adam, Richie doesn't Adam, care. Adam, our other guy. Him. Richie's tough. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Adam's been doing the overnights, and he's he's lasted with them, so he's coming back. Oh, good, all right. Final. He's he's totally fried too. Well, anyway, today wow. is the last day. I have some tape from yesterday. So, uh, you know, they were here. For I wish I could have. You know, I know I couldn't have stood it, but I wish I could have seen several hours of it myself. Yeah, it's kind of scary because on any when as soon as he leaves like an apartment, anything can happen with him. Anything. You never know. It's a time bomb. He doesn't have uh, like that sort of. He has no fear. At it's all. almost like yeah. a, a drunk Tourette's. Like, and he I seems to her. sort of drag this woman along with him. He'll move his arm. He'll jerk her down. He doesn't, yeah, he doesn't say, yeah. I want to take a drink. He doesn't re have regard for her if at all. For no, no, no rhyme or reason. He'll just be walking down the street and it's like, you see, sucker. You He'll walk. just call anybody. A stranger. I'm totally unprovoked. If someone doesn't know where a bar is, they're a sea sucker. Yeah. Hmm. My ass is fossilized. <laughs> his ass is very swollen and discolored. and Swollen. <laughs> Isaac, I'm going to send you where I send everyone who's had a trauma. I'm going to send you to scores for a little R&R. &R. Oh, thank you. That's what they used to do in Vietnam. They send you to Bangkok. Yeah. <laughs> Thailand. Absolutely. He's got like, well, look at his eyes. Yeah, he's, like, he's yeah. Like, whacked Damned. out. What's going on inside? You want to talk about it? No, I'm, you I'm just burnt. I just need I need like a uh, like a 12 hour sleep. I'm, right. He's we'll he's, give you the day off. After he's that. like a giant, crazy, you know, adolescent. Right. You know, he's he's just he's nuts. It's, it's I can't explain it. I tried. My roommate kept asking me, "What is it? I've never seen this guy. What's he like?" I was like, "I can't explain it to you." You're gonna just gonna have to watch it. I can't explain. Would you say she's earned every penny of the twenty thousand if she makes it all the way through? She's a saint. A saint. She's a saint. She. Uh, maybe it's because she has a four year old. Maybe it's because her her husband is ha has a handicap. Whatever it is, I cannot believe that she didn't fight him, strangle him, break a bottle over his head, put a cigarette out in his face. I mean, oh. I, I wanted to do all these things. <laughs> I wanted. To, I, it was so frustrating not being able to, you know. Engage him. Right. He's such. He he really instigates, and he really just picks at you, like well, like he chisels away. At you. After they left here, uh, you know, Hollywood Squares was going on, and um, let me get Doug's notes. Amazing how I can keep losing your notes. <laughs> <laughs> I not only lose them once, but I lose them twice. But um, all right. So yesterday, after Hollywood Squares, I guess you know they were hanging out around here and. Jeff immediately had to get weed. Like that, that, like you so said. now Jenny's got to go score with him? Yeah, I don't know how. Or oh, he had weed or whatever. Right? He had some weed. Yeah, he had a Oh, he, had he a bowl, bought a supply. Bitch. He bought a bowl. Look at my ball, bitch, Doug. Yeah. It's, like, it's like a naked woman on the ball, and I was like, I'm out of here. So he's smoking right after Hollywood squares his weed. And then he goes into one of his coughing fits. And when he does this, he has no regard with the f for the fact that someone is shackled to him. You know, that her arm is going up in the air and flailing around. It's unbelievable. <laughs> this is the longest one that we yeah. have documented. If any, if any normal person coughed like, like that, it would take all their energy out of them. Right. I mean, you, you'd, you'd be done. With, you'd be out of energy. But he, him, nothing. Sorry. Oh, he's not done. No. Oh, no. Oh. We could have it on for a week. I'm looking at a week. Oh. He's asking about the E-show. We're going to have a week's worth of shows. Keep coughing like this, we will. I'm all right. Seriously. Seriously. Is he worried there won't be enough shows? So can I to he's talking like an executive. We're looking at a week. He's, he's like Trista Wren. Can I tell you the visual on that? So he goes through that cough attack. He finally finishes. And within three seconds, he grabs a beer, puts it in his mouth, twists off the cap with his teeth, wow. and just starts drinking. Wow. Well, then, um, I guess Jeff sees Gary the retard and wants to talk to him. 
but he he you could hear he jerks so fast that Jenny just collapses and falls out on the ground. Oh, no. She doesn't even realize that she's attached to him. Hey, you know what? When I went to Las Vegas, I got totally drunk on Speaking of shots, I got to take a shot. Uh -oh. Later. Ray, I'm trying to, to Gary and Wendy. I'm trying to Gary and Wendy. Wait a minute. Oh, hey. oh. Boom. Down. Oh. Hold on a minute, Jeff. Hold on a minute. He forgets oh, that in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Gary the retard even knows to Yeah, wait. hold it, Jeff, so like, he's saying. Look at the temperament on her. She he, she just got dragged to the ground, and what does she say? She just screams for a second. Ah. Yeah. Yeah, she's like, ah. no, she doesn't yeah. say, what are you doing, you she idiot? She just puts up with him. Um, Jenny even, I, she seems to have care and compassion for him, and then Jeff just like, when somebody shows some compassion toward him, he freaks out and pushes them away. Like, um, she's trying to tell him to eat better. And he thinks that's a criticism. Oh. Dude, seriously, if you had a proper diet, your bowel movements would be different. You know, if you had some milk, lemonade, <laughs> you know, like... See, do I freaking bust on you? I have a chance I got No. Well, then, <laughs> shut the f*** up. Oh, milk, milk, lemonade. Around the corner for the sneeze. I'm getting my I'm going. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Do I bust on you every freaking chance I get? So then Jeff goes out again. This is like the every night he goes out to a bar. Yeah. And uh, he'll be sitting there drinking, of course. And then if anybody gets in his way of anything, he starts to curse him out. So what was it? Some some black dude sat down and accidentally touched his beer? No, I think, were you on this trip? This was Adam, Adam, yeah. whatever. So the story, story as, as best I know, is that there's like, they went to an area where there's a bunch of crackheads. Mm -hmm. So they went in the bar, and I guess uh, this crackhead was just like scoping through the window of the bar, and he saw like an empty beer on the table, so he walked in. Oh. And he starts drinking Jeff's beer, which, oh, oh. boy. Oh. oh, no. You cannot do that. But you don't know that the guy was a crackhead. No, I mean, that's, right. I'm going by, you know, quoting Jeff the drunk. Yeah, Jeff says these guys quoting are crackheads. Jeff, yeah. Anybody who interferes with him is a crackhead. You crack him. He's got a thing about, he, crackheads are bad. Yeah, crackheads are bad. Are fine. So then Jeff starts fighting with the black guy. But he did, it is confirmed, he did come off the street and just sit down at Jeff's table and start drinking his beer. Yeah, but well, most people would be just like, you know what, I'm getting out of here. This right, it's a bad area. <laughs> Drinking my beer? Yeah, I know. Right there. Yeah, I know. Get up. 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 Beer. I said, take my, take my beer, asshole. I went to the bathroom and some coke head was chugging on my beer. I said, hey, buddy, keep it and get the f out. So he left. Imagine being chained to him. Uh, it's 24 hours a day for five straight days. You know, after Hollywood Squares yesterday, mm. I was in the room with him right before he had that cough attack for. Three minutes, yeah. I had to walk out. Couldn't I, take I it. couldn't take them. I don't, I don't know how she does So this. then they finally, they're out on the street. They can't get a cab. They get a cab. takes Jeff ten hours to get in the cab, especially with somebody chained to him. And then I guess uh, the guy he keeps calling a crackhead smashes a beer bottle into the cab. Uh. Get the f*** away from me. Just fight with the guy. Get the f*** away from me, all right? Let's go. Hey, Cabby, can we go? Just leave. Don't, don't. Let's go. Don't stop, Cabby. Those dudes are crackheads. They're crackhead bitches. Those crack niggas were f***ing with us. <laughs> Suckers. Uh, yeah. They whipped the beer at us. Because I told them to get the f*** out of my f face. Trying to tell me how to f*** hell a cab. I know how the hell of cab. That mother coming up behind us. I love the play by play. Thank you. He's a great color man. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Sorry Who's about that. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. He stinks too. Like thank right you. after Hollywood Squares yesterday, he took Jenny up to the bathroom and he let loose a big fart. Hmm. It, it covered like 
ten times as much ground as the average fart. And it was, it was, yeah. it was super human. It, it could kill. It's deadly. I walked into that uh, into that air, and it, you know the uh, the it probably was 500 square feet that was. Yeah, and there's no warning. He doesn't have hey, a fart. Is it just? That I would be the, it. The average fart must only go about 100 square feet. Yeah. <laughs> that would be it. As soon as that happened, I go get the keys. Get the keys right now. All right, today is the last day. Jen will get the 20,000 if she shows up handcuffed to Jeff this morning, and uh, we'll see what happens what an there. Amazing week. Yeah. Well, boys, uh, job well done, Isaac. You've Sorry had your own. You had to see that, Isaac. You've had your own Vietnam now, and we'll be putting him in therapy today. We'll try and get you some R and R. Okay. Gracias. Thank you. Uh, Isaac. A broken man. He thought he loved Jeff, but he found out he didn't. <laughs> it was just too much. <laughs> Don't worry, Isaac. You will survive. You'll see. Isaac is affected by this the rest of his life. Post stress syndrome, they call it. Post Jeff syndrome. (laughs) Yeah. Son, you might not be tough enough for this kind of work. Yeah, it's it's okay because after after I took him off the uh, the Jeff shoot, J- Isaac and I yesterday took uh, a blind guy to get laid by two whores. <laughs> so, yeah, I saw the tape of that. I think that was more deserving. I was right back in the weeds. You little bitch. Let's do the twenty. Th- I'm sure that Jen is anxious to get unhandcuffed. After this amazing experience, I wonder if she's learned anything. Five days handcuffed to Jeff the Drunk Curro. Has her life been changed? And now it's time to take off the cuffs and award the $20,000. I wonder how the last hours have been. She was saying that the last hour would probably be the hardest because the anticipation of getting rid of Jeff would be so great. She told me that she would rather be handcuffed to Jeff Curro for another week than have to go to Target drunk and go shopping (laughs) with Baba Booey and his suburban friends. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the last time... Oh, hi. Linked together, courtesy of Stuck on You, the new comedy from the Farrelly Brothers. It is Jen. Hey now. And Jeff the Drunk Caro. I wonder if this will be like separating real Siamese twins. You know, sometimes the twins can't stand the separation. <laughs> they are leg shackled as well as hand shackled for, for the, the final last moments. Time. <laughs> As they saunter in. They've learned to get along uh, together pretty well. They know how to move. Jen looks exhausted, drained, beat. I read you a memo from Isaac, who is a cameraman on the E crew. He said he could only last three days filming them, that Jeff was one of the most abusive human beings on the planet. And he didn't do it 24 hours a day. He just did a shift. Isaac's memo was nothing short of horrible. He's a little bitch. It was actually eloquent. <laughs> that mother effer. Because yes. it described how horrible it is to live with Jeff. It's it am- brought us into the horrible world of <laughs> Jeff Carr. It's amazing to see how two people can sort of get along after a few days together, because I already see that they have like a, a little thing going. Yeah, they have a way. Yeah, here's what happens. It's time to get up. She immediately reaches into the bag, pulls out a beer, and hands it to him. Then it's her job to stand up and pull Jeff out of the seat by the handcuff. I'm a good Samaritan. Jen, can you describe this experience for us? I wish I could. But let me just say that... um, Please get close to the microphone where all of America waits. I just want to say if Jeff wanted to change... Please get get on the microphone, yes. If Jeff wanted to change and stop (laughs) drinking and stop smoking, I would volunteer... Shut up, you bitch. I would... I would volunteer to nurse him to health. Wow. Do you really like Jeff? Once you get to know him, he's a great guy. I mean, I don't understand what the problem is with all you people. <laughs> what? 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 Yeah, you people are fucking nuts. <laughs> Let me ask you something. You saw Jeff vomit. You, saw, you you smelled Jeff. I didn't vomit. You saw Jeff get into fights. You saw Jeff pass out in the middle of the street, and you can say, what's wrong with us? Take your hand off that mic. 
Yes. And, and what, why, why, what do you mean, what's wrong with us? You had to have been, I, you said yourself, you threw up while attached to him. Is this hostage syndrome? I it's think it is. It's, it's that Stockholm, Stockholm syndrome. syndrome. Yes, I, I think I do have that. You, a you think what? Tell me. Are you in love with Jeff? No. No. Are you finding yourself falling for him? No. Are you going to be worried about him when he's not attached to you this evening? No. He fell for you several times. I know that my arm, my, my right arm is going to feel like different. Right. You're constantly attached to him. Has this been exciting? There were highs and lows. Jeff, so do you realize when you drink, her hand has to go way up in the air? You don't even give her a warning? No, he doesn't. He doesn't realize. I, I consciously made half of my body just, like, be not his, his totally. But, um, so he can do whatever he has to do, and I'm just, like, in my other world. Okay. Let's fight. Jeff. Yeah. You hear your cough played back. You hear your health is going. It, it, it's, it's deteriorating, isn't it? Yeah. Are you concerned about death? No. You look death and laugh at it. It's not or do you look forward to it? It's not going to happen, he says. Oh, you're in denial. Okay. Jeff, has this been hard for you? No. How do you feel about being freed, liberated from the handcuffs? I feel fantastic. Aren't you going to be lonely? No. But so what are these one-word answers? Are you about to cry? No. What is going well, I on? Think, I, think he, I think he is. You think he's going to cry? Because he was in a nice home. I mean, like... Jeff. Jeff, yeah, are you going to miss her? I no. think he is. What's going on? I've never seen you like this. Can, I'm right can you see it? Right? Wait a second. You can see it. Yes, I see it in his eyes. I'm right over... What's going on, pal? What? Say it. Tell me. You're crying. What's wrong? I'm all right. Did Aww. you fall in love with Jen? Aww. Tell me what's going on right now. I want to know. Jeff has changed. Jeff, what happened? That's the S word. See, that's what I told you. Why you guys do this? So Jen, She's you're crying. crying. What did we do? Jeff, you are crying and Jen is crying, and I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Somebody help me. This is... <laughs> <laughs> Jen, why are you cry why is anyone crying here? Jeff, why are you crying? No. You are. You're, you're choked up. Uh, no, it's no I'm shame. No tears. no tears. Then talk to me and tell me what's going on. Jeff, do you feel picked on? Immensely. Jen, why are you crying? You're crying for him. I feel sad for him. They are like Siamese twins now. <laughs> you are crying hysterically. She feels his pain. You I do. Oh. Tell me about it. Tell me his pain since he can't articulate it. Well, the first day I know we didn't go out, so I tried to talk to him to see how the next four days were going to be, right? Yeah. Um, I knew that was going to be just fine. I even offered to cut his hair the first day, and he said no. He doesn't want any help because since, this woman everybody, is, since everybody is, like, rejecting him. And Jeff, this woman is so good to you. She's showing you real love, isn't she? Yeah. He's on my Christmas card list now. Oh, no. <laughs> It touches you, doesn't it, Jeff? Yeah. No one is ever nice to you, are they? You never send me a card. Out. I don't. But this woman has exactly. just. This woman is crying for you. Take a look, look at her. I want you to look at her. No, you're not. You, you you're won't look at, at her. I hear. There's someone who fell in love with you. And you're still worried about Howard. Look at the person who cares about you. She cares about you. What do you want me to say, dude? Say something. Don't you care about her? You're about to leave her. Say something nice to her. You can bring yourself to do it. Look at her and tell her what she means to you. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful, to Jeff, because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have the money that I, that I need. It's all right. Don't cry. Don't cry. Come on. <laughs> to have gotten very close. But you have gotten close. You have made a friend, haven't you? I made a friend, Howard. She doesn't even like it when we pick on you, Jeff. Jeff, no one in your entire life has been good to you, have they? You always feel like 
why couldn't I have something for myself? Maybe things could have been differently. And look at this woman. She's the parent you never had, isn't she? My mother's good to me, too. But look at this woman. Yeah, his mother, he, and, and do I, you I, feel I've love? heard him talk to his mom. He's, he's a great son. Do you feel love now? Yeah. This is amazing. He's a great son? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. He always, uh, I, I asked him. And I'm a terrific son. <laughs> You're incredible. Yeah. <laughs> I am a good son. <laughs> You're a good son? You stay I'm home and drink great. all day and smoke weed and, and don't work? Come You're on. You're still a good boy. You generate, oh, yeah. you get into fights. Good you generate Lord. no income or what little you do all right, drink. All right. It has nothing to do with income, you know. If. What is this face you're making? Are you going to throw up? Arm. Your arm's hurting you. Yeah. All right, let's unhook them for, for once. I can't take it. Anymore. I don't even want to see him unhooked. I, I think you should stay what hooked. Jeff is going to lose here. I think Jeff is upset that he's getting unhooked. I think Jen is. Jen, are you upset you're getting unhooked in a way? No. We all have to, you know. Will you stay in touch with Jeff? You know, what this, my just you know what this reminds me of? The movie Swept Away. You brought out the heart in Jeff, and Jeff's brought out the heart in you. What a fabulous Christmas story. I'm shocked at this outcome. I don't even know what's happening. I don't either. I think it's amazing. There's tremendous tears. Oh, my God. Does it feel good to have the cuffs off? We are finally separate. Uh, oh. The burp of freedom. <laughs> well, Jen, let me uh, reward you now. Jen, this check that Baba Booey now holds up represents $20,000 from this movie Stuck on You that opens today, the new comedy from the Farrelly Brothers starring Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear in theaters. Getting very good reviews, by the way. And you know firsthand what it's like to be That's stuck right. to somebody. Yeah. Will you go see the movie Stuck on You? now? That of course I will. Yes. 20000 How will you use the money? Well, first of all, like I told in the beginning... I will use the uh, money to get my uh, husband to see a doctor, and I will also buy some furniture. You might have seen the footage. Uh, yes. I don't have any furniture. And right. Jeff, but yet you bro did Jeff broke one of my, my chairs. One of the few chairs you had, Jeff. <laughs> I, I nice. only had two chairs left, and I was down to one, the one that he was sitting in. <laughs> right. And your son got along with Jeff okay, huh? Oh. Oh. Uncle Jeff. Yes, Uncle Jeff. He had that touches bonded. you. Jeff, do you think you want to stay in touch with the family? Sure. You'll come visit? Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, boy. Wow. Well, Jeff. It's amazing. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Jeff was paid for the promotion as well. Well, you know what? I It took a lot for Jeff to be there for all this week. Well, what else did he have to do? I don't know. <laughs> Let's be honest. I think Gary's going to cry now. No, no, I was going to say, Jeff didn't really do anything that he wouldn't usually do. It didn't slow him down a bit being back up to her. No. Not much. Not I much. Went <laughs> I just went along. I saw a pool. <laughs> you did? Well, let me just congratulate you. you. Uh, Jen, I uh, hope your husband... And what is wrong with your husband? Do we know? Yeah, the... Um, he has heart problems, and right. uh, he needs a heart transplant, but uh, the waiting list is long. So Take Jeff's. He doesn't need it. I don't think it's working. <laughs> you don't think it's working? Yeah, yeah that, that wouldn't be any help. <laughs> yeah, he needs a heart transplant. Jeff has a heart. Maybe you can work that out. Um, all right. So you're going to get some furniture? Yes. Hopefully your husband will get better? Yes. And it all works out? Yeah, I would try, try to wrap all up my heart. If her husband dies, would you marry Jen? No. No. You don't love her? No, not from. No, not. We never had to be a couple like. We like never that. had no intimacy involved. In no, mm -hmm. what? Not true. <laughs> no <laughs> intimacy involved. Okay. <laughs> only from the, only from the heart. Only from the heart. I never peeped once. Right. That's true. Did you Peter pleasure God. yourself while you were uh, connected to her at all? He only no. had the, the good hand, so I would. If he if he would try, I would. You would yank his hand away. I would yank his hand away. Wow. <laughs> he did try. All right, Adam, you're on the air. On the Hello? Page. Yes. This Howard? Yes. Hi, my name is Adam. Um, I'm driving. I'm listening to uh, Jess, and I'm, like, crying. <laughs> I'm a 28-year-old. Uh, I used to be a, a, a heroin addict. and uh, So this touched you as well? 
Oh, this you is only so, need this, somebody to 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 love you, right? This is, uh, no, I know. I I'm I'm in recovery. Um, this I'm gonna. Is my uh, uh, sir, I have a surprise. I'm gonna move Go you in with it, Jen. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna hook you up to her. Yes, Rusty. Hey, Jeff. Yo. You little bitch. You're a pussy. It's over. What? Don't say the f word. You know where I was going. He, he heard you crying. He's making fun of you. Uh, hey, man. You know what? He was on the show for a week. It's over. He's annoying. I was on the show for more than a week, you dumbass. Huh? Huh? <laughs> All right. Okay. The best. <laughs> he is a dumbass. He is a dumbass. Tell him, buddy. Tell him. <laughs> All right. I'm surprised that Jeff is awfully subdued. Dude. I'm subdued, dude. <laughs> He's a subdued. I'm a subdued dude, dude. I'm a subdued doodlerific. Cockadoodle doo. I'm a cockadoodle dude. You smoke weed this one? How much weed does this guy smoke? Well, he made it last. Oh, they the ones ten that... doobies. Yeah, he made it All last. Week. Wow. He smokes a lot of doobies. I was in there of... cigarettes it's in between the ten doobies. Dude. Yeah. Ten dude in five days. <laughs> full, full... I usually do... Five in one day. Wow. Hello. I don't smoke too much. Thank <laughs> 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 you, <laughs> <laughs> I bought a bowling ball already. Thank you. Uh, oh, it's all right. Thanks. I, I got this shirt. Compliments of Artie Lane. Who the hell is that? You, you. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, man. I never got a card from you, Howard. I didn't hey, either. don't feel bad, Jeff. Neither have we. I'll never. still be waiting in the mailbox. <laughs> All right, you two kids. I'll Congratulations. First, uh, Jen, good for you. 20000 I know you need it badly. And uh, thanks to Stuck on You. And thanks to Jeff. The drunk I, curl. I think okay. Jeff and Jen have to understand that we we do like Jeff. Of course, that's why we have. We him love here. Jeff. But okay. Jeff is a pain. He's he's, he's a pain in the ass. With. Okay, he's we have maidens. to have a little more patience. I already got kicked off. <laughs> oh, yeah, we sure. got a show to do. We'll yeah. never get on. Honey, the I got a life. I got my I got my own problems. <laughs> All right, good good luck to you, Jeff, and uh, you, I know we'll be hearing from you. And Jen, uh, keep us posted on what you do with the money. Thank you. All right. Um, Congratulations. Thank you, Robin. Okay. Thank you, Howard. Come, okay. Thank I just want to. Thank May you. I say Thank one you. thing? We had a whole segment for you to say something. You didn't open your mouth. You, you cried like a baby we the whole time. I want to say one thing. Go ahead. Robin? Yes. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Jeff. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Jody. Merry Christmas. Fred, Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas, Benji. Oh. Oh. oh it's, a, it's a Jeff Merry Carroll Christmas. Christmas. <laughs> it's a Jeff Carroll Christmas special. It's a Jeff oh. Carroll Christmas. <laughs> just to make it more Christmassy, yeah. uh, Tom, just let me know. We have a new uh, sponsor on the show called The Door Store Furniture. They're going to give Jen $2,000 worth of furniture. Wow. Oh. Thank you. Wow. Whoa. That made me cry. <laughs> it made you cry. <laughs> oh, Look at this. That's touching. <laughs> that's very nice. The door store. Another two grand there. Wow, Jim. Have a great Christmas. You too. Yeah, we're great guys. Okay, we'll be back right after these words. Jeff Carl's here. Big contest going on today. I'm not going to tell you about it because it's supposed to be QT. We're going to bring him in. What's going on today, Jeff? I'm here to be uh, a pain in the ass. I need beer. Relax there, uh, your guy. You need beer. I need beer. Hey, Ronnie, run out and grab me a 12 pack, bitch. Everybody that's in this room is here for the contest? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every single person's here. You're here for good. Hi. Hey. Just want to stand back here a second. Make more like to see everybody. So I just want to make sure. First of all, everybody in here is uh, over 21. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And everybody in here has plenty of time between now and Friday at around the same time. Yeah. We're going to start probably in about a half an hour or so. So just be ready. What we'll do is, it's um, just so you know, we're going to bring everybody in. We're going to announce what the contest is. 
and then at that point, some of you can decide whether you want to move ahead to the next level, and then whoever stays, we're going to vote on who gets to stay. So I just want to, everybody be ready, and we'll bring you in a little bit, okay? okay. All right, thanks. Ten people are going to walk in right now. They all want to win $20,000, courtesy of Stuck on You, the new comedy from the Farley Brothers. They have no idea what they'd have to do, but they're willing to hear it. I see women. I see three women. I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven men. I see 11 people. No, I see 10 people. Seven and three is 10 last time I counted. Uh-oh. All right. These are 10 people. We got thousands of phone calls. Why these 10? I don't know. How were they so lucky? Random, more or less. Try to get some women down here. Try to get some men down here. But pretty much random. But I assume everybody here wants 10, excuse me, $20,000. I guess that money would come in handy, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> let me talk to some people here. Let me, uh, let me start with the ladies over there. Hi, what's your name? My name is Maria Coratoon. All right, Maria. And uh, where are you from? From Bayville. Now, you heard there's $20,000. You're not sure what it is. You know you have to be free for the week. And you have, we have to have access to your home? And right? we have to have access to your home. I've made those arrangements, yeah. All right, but you don't know what you'd have to do for the $20,000. Well, none of you have to do this. Once I reveal to you what it is, you can decide. And then if there's anyone left standing after I reveal what it is, somehow, Rob, we're going to have to choose one person. I see. It's a very tall, beautiful woman with big breasts standing uh, (laughs) next to Maria. Hi. What is your name? Shannon Edwards. You have big, full breasts, don't you? Uh, yes, yes. All right. You seem very wow. proud of them, the way they're... <laughs> they're fine. Yes, very nice. Let's see them. <laughs> and uh, you're very tall as well. I like that. Look. You have no idea what we're going to do. No clue. But you're here to find out. Sure. Are you free for the week? Yes. You are. What do you do for a living? I work for a mortgage company, but I'm laid off right now, so it's perfect. Perfect. So you would have a week free. Right. All right. A mortgage company. What would you use the money for? $20,000 if you get it. Completely out of debt and then, you know, mm-hmm. take care of whatever else falls into the mix. Your name is Jenny? Yes, I am. Hi. Hi. Where are you from? Um, right here in Chelsea, New York. Right here in Chelsea. Yes. You want $20,000. Yes, I do. I probably don't deserve it, but I do need it. Why do you say you don't deserve it? Well, I mean, uh, I'm doing this be- mainly because of my husband and my son. Uh, I want to give my husband the best Christmas because he ha- he's a heart patient and he needs a heart transplant. So, oh. and also, You do deserve it. What are you talking about? You my, don't deserve it. Uh, my <laughs> son, he's outgrowing his bed and his clothes. Yes. Yes. Good wow. Lord. Well, wait she you say she's undeserving? Twenty, you, you definitely deserve it, but twenty thousand dollars, you know, it's going to be something horrible it's that you'd have to do. Not going to be easy to get it. I know, but that. he's such a great guy. And did you try to figure out what you'd have to do for the twenty thousand dollars for the week? Well, since the promoter is like stuck on you, uh, I think somebody has to be stuck on me. Oh, that's an interesting idea. Maybe we should do that. Mm. No, <laughs> hey, we hadn't thought of that. No. <laughs> All right, let's meet. The, now, here's a guy. What's your name? James Ortsman. James, you a big listener of the show. Big time. You want twenty grand? Oh, yes. Where do you live? I live in Plainview on Long Island. All right. What would you do with the money? Oh, Hawaii, Bora Mm -hmm. Bora. Mm -hmm. Drop the kids off for a week. Right. Just have a good time. Oh, I would live it up. All right. And who is this gentleman? for a party. My name's Richie. Richie? Yeah. How old a guy are you, Richie? I'm 22. Right. You got a job? Yes, I do. You can take a week off? Yes, I do. Yeah. You sound kind of like a black guy, but you're what white. Is he? Yeah. Are I'm you sure a rapper? Yeah, a little bit, you know. Yeah. yeah. I smell a wigger. <laughs> What's up with that hat, by the Rich way? Rich the reject. What do you got underneath that hat that you're covering your head um, with? I actually wore it because I couldn't get a haircut with all this bad weather. All right. Oh, there you go. All right. <laughs> my wig is kind of messed up right now. <laughs> <laughs> so you, uh, you want 20 grand? Sure do. All right. Well, let's find out what this is. Now, I see high pitch Eric back there. You're Hi. gonna try and compete. How are you? All right. I, why am I not surprised he's free? For how a you week? doing? Hey, how you doing? All right. What's up, my brother? <laughs> you don't have a week free. I thought you have a job. I do have a job for Toyota. I want to thank my boss, Franz and Anthony, for having me come out here. All right. And you think you can partake in this uh, little experiment we're gonna do? If yeah, maybe. Are try. they gonna give you a week off, Eric? Oh uh, yeah. Or well, maybe I'll bring Jeff. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe I'll bring maybe I'll bring the person to work if I have to. 
What? <laughs> All right, let's meet the next guy. You're the man. Thank you. Yo, Howard, can I just tell you, his breath smells today, and his ear hair is just ridiculous. You got a lot of ear hair. He does. Wow. Wow. I, I do? Uh, All right, let's go to the next gentleman. Hi, what's your name? Hi, Howard. My name is Alex Santarelli. I'm from Hoboken, New Jersey. Unlike my good friend here who um, is going to Hawaii, I have eviction papers. I have a marshal showing up at my house tomorrow, and I'm trying to save not being thrown out of my apartment. You know, I'm in a desperate situation. You married guy? Perfectly, the, uh, the contest. And if you, I'd also like to show you something I did. Uh, Wendy. What is that? Is that a it's a it's a picture on his back, Howard. Yes. Of you giving oh anal to Imus. That's right. Oh, look at that. That's oh, great. he just drew that. That's not a tattoo. That's not a tattoo, is it? No, no. No. Okay. <laughs> Say something. Circle. All right. Now let's go to the next guy here. What, what's your name? Billy. All right, Billy. Tell us about yourself. What do you do? I'm a contractor for right. uh, Union, New Jersey. And you want the twenty thousand, obviously, very Army. badly. But uh, you're willing to do anything? Yes. Okay. And what's this guy's name over here? Hey, Howard, how are you? Hey, who are you? I'm Johnny. Johnny, uh, you want $20,000. What do you do for a living? Me? I'm an expediter for Expo Design Center. And you got a week free for this? Yes. All right, so you'd I'm be able to do it. Anything. Anything. I'm, I'm your man. I want to win, and I want to go to school, and I want to work for you, Howard. All right, there you go. And what about this guy right here? Hey, Frank. Tell me your story, Frank. Uh, what are you going to do with the money? I have some medical bills I have to pay. I have macular generation and... Uh, macular generation? What is that? Uh, it's an eye disease. An eye and disease. It's macular degeneration, right? You, know, you should know the name of it. It's macular degeneration. <laughs> there you go. Right. And Frank's out of work. You're Frank out of work. Is indeed, out of work. So and I you're have losing your sight. To pay. Can we catch that? Can we catch that from you, the macular degeneration? Uh, maybe. <laughs> really? Yeah. No, not. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that's cool. All right. Thanks for coming in. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> well, let me tell you something. To win the twenty thousand dollars. What do they have to do? Because it is the movie stuck on you, because it is the movie stuck on you, you happen to be right. You will be stuck to someone now, how for an stuck? entire week. I mean, what do you mean stuck? Uh, handcuffed. Ooh. Handcuffed to a person for a week living in your house. With you every moment? You never get out of those handcuffs for the entire week? That's right. Jenny hit it on the head. Stuck on you, you would be... now. Let me introduce you now. So wait a minute. What you're saying is, if they go to the bathroom, right. if they take a shower, anything. Oh. It, we are not. Uh, if 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 you have to go to the bathroom, if you have to take a shower, if you have to do anything, if yeah, you have to sleep, that person has to be with you. Eat. That person's with you 24 hours. Let me introduce you now to the person that you will be stuck on. Stuck on for an entire week. <laughs> and here he comes. His name is Jeff the Drunk. <laughs> Look at him. He's looking at the tall girl with the big breasts. Jeff, take a seat over here. Hoping she'll take him home. <laughs> oh, my God. What a nightmare. Maria, I saw your face in utter disgust. You had to be freaking out when you saw Jeff the drunk. We figured this out in the green room, but yeah. uh, we couldn't believe it. Yeah, you figured it out. This out. You did. How did you figure it out? He was outside. <laughs> you can't we came keep in. him contained. I see. And then it was the sponsor also. So I see. They stuck on you. You figured it out. Jeff, how are you? Fine. All right. I see you're drinking. Come on now. Yeah. Now is he gonna drink all week? He can do whatever he wants. I'm gonna drink, smoke, <laughs> smoke, <laughs> smoke, drink. Oh, I know the person no. cuffed to him is gonna be drinking. Uh, oh no. <laughs> he asked me if he could drink, and I said, you know what? That's between you and the person you're cuffed to. No. <laughs> Jeff can be anything he you wants to be. You don't want him going through the DTs. You might as well let him drink. But what happens if Jeff <laughs> is out of alcohol and the other person doesn't want to go? Um, Nikki's. Then they got to go with him. It's so, going to be who could drag who, right? Yeah, he can make you miserable, so you better just get him alcohol. Right. I don't now, think you're going to want him without it. Exactly. Shannon, I saw uh, Jeff looking you over. Obviously, uh, you're a tall woman Nothing. with big breasts. Uh, would that freak you out to be handcuffed to him for a week? No. It oh, wouldn't. You're not cool. cool. You think you could handle it? Yeah, as long as he was a bit of a gentleman. What? I can handle him. Let's go, <laughs> I can baby. handle him. Wait a second. When you have to take a shower, 
right? Yeah. You're gonna have to get probably have to. Have to stand on the outside. Yeah, but outside you're, you're gonna be handcuffed. You're gonna be handcuffed. Uh, well, no, I could still stick an arm out. We How can you do it yourself? together, damn it. Oh. Pass, <laughs> pass the loofah, really bitch. With one hand. I can handle it. <laughs> I got some soap, baby. <laughs> I'm not can I have soap, my baby. conditioner, Jenny? I you got to help you out. Jenny, you said you have to get this money. You have a certainly good reason. Could you really stand being away, being at home with him and exposing your children and, and your husband to this guy? I arranged for my child not to be home. Really? <laughs> you had a feeling. Could you do it? Really? Yes, I, I'm going to do it, yeah. Is there, it, Wow. Is I, anybody backing out? Does anyone want to back out after seeing what you'd have to do for the week? What? Yes, go I ahead, Deborah. I noticed Maria. that Jeff's arm is in a sling. Yes. The arm that we would be handcuffed to is his you'll freaking be, arm? You'll be leg shackled. Oh. No, no, no. They'll be handcuffed. Handcuffed and leg shackled, right? Leg shackled only to um, to take a shower. Right. Oh. So the arm we're going to... Or to go to the bathroom. And to go to the bathroom. And that's so, only only because Jeff has one good arm. We're going to leg shackle so he can use his one good arm to wipe. I was going to say, the, which uh, arm are so you handcuffed to? Aware of you. You'll be leg shackled during my 8 a.m. spin class. <laughs> <laughs> which arm? You can't sh shackle them to... Uh, which arm will you shackle arm? them to? To the good one. To the good one. Yeah, you can't shackle them to the bad one. Right. So then they're going to have to use their arm to help him drink all that's day. That's right. Smart. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> nice. I can live with that. You can live with that? Yeah, I could deal with that. Definitely. I'll do anything, Howard. I th I think I think I'm up to this. High pitch, you could do that? I have a question. What do you mean leg shackled? I mean uh, handcuffs around your ankles. Ankle cuff. What don't you get about that? What don't you understand? <laughs> you dumb man. I thought, we could, I thought you said we were going to be handcuffed. <sighs> handcuffed, or if you have to go to the bathroom or shower, you ha you get leg cuffed. I don't think anybody realizes that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. You're out, Maria? Uh, no, there are people more worthy that need the money for serious things, and I couldn't. You couldn't stomach being that. I mean, I couldn't stomach being shackled to him and to know that there's somebody who needs it more. Screw than you. Right, goodbye. You know, like, ah. <laughs> the it. Thank you. No, I'm out. Bye-bye. I got I got <laughs> Goodbye, I got, I got, I got bitch. Wow. Goodbye. I got to oh, the freaking door. <laughs> Look what he's going to be doing to you. Oh, people. they don't have any idea how miserable. Yeah, that Jeff is a real <laughs> pain in the butt. Nothing, don't baby. think that this is going to be any walk in the park. This is him on his best behavior. Yeah. <laughs> Goodbye, bitch. <laughs> You're not even that loaded yet, are you? No, I'm not. Right. Oh. Howard. I like yeah. I just want to prove it. I just wanted to mention for your Halloween costume contest i was the only one who showed up as jeff the drunk i think i did a phenomenal jeff the drunk you could ask your e-crew i drank 66 ounces of steel reserve malt liquor and I, I'd, I'd spend the entire week drinking with this guy and just try my best to stomach having to watch this guy go to the bathroom uh, <laughs> wow i still think uh, the best thing i've heard so far is, is the eye the guy woman. with the eye disease and the woman with, with the, the heart diseased husband? With the heart diseased husband. Although I would love a hand covering him to the tall hot chick because you know he can't help himself. I would oh love to see God. that. That would be fun. I would love that immensely. He'd love it too much though. Yeah. Immensely. She'd have him wrapped around he'd drink. Her yeah, he'd finger. try to be nice and try to get her. No, I wouldn't. The wigger guy looks like he could use some money, though. He, he, he uh, looks like he might enjoy it too much, I, though. No, yeah. no, I actually... I, I, you I might be more to, annoying than Jeff. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, wanted, I wanted to like tell you that part of it I, I want to give to uh, Dynamite Youth Center because they, they helped me get off all, all the other drugs, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> I can deal you with drinking. I'm Russian. <laughs> all right, I just changed the contest. you got to be handcuffed like, to I him. I know where you're from. <laughs> <laughs> I'm all up for you, man. I'm all up for you. All right, and then the guy who's going to be evicted, that's kind of sad. Too. Yeah. We talked about uh, thinning the herd. We need to do that desperately because I need to separate myself from all these people. I'm gonna. Be, I'm not kidding. Uh, a marshal showing up. I've got days to be in my apartment. I'm a desperate individual. They could be thrown out in the middle I of the country. Yeah. For a day contest. Yeah. What? It wasn't something that you know. What's wrong with you that you would need the money? For well, I do. A contest. I I it's tell you what. I do need to. For a day. I do need to pull one person out of the pack. She said in the, um, in the green room she wouldn't spin the wheel of Benji. I will spin the wheel of Benji. That's how desperate I am. So she needs to You go. would spin the nice wheel of Benji. That's desperate. Hmm. Hey, I would take the big toe. I would take the big toe in a second for 20 grand. Really? Oh, yeah. Wow, but oh. I got to think about that. Jeez, wow. wow. <laughs> I you have it. no <laughs> health insurance. I'm willing to do anything. Of the wheel. What was that? We have no health insurance. And, and my husband needs to see a doctor, and I need to... 
get his wow. medication. What are you guys giving the cut sign? That's sad. Because, you know what, this is a contest it's about a who's got story. the guts to stick it out, and by yeah, right. tonight she's gone. Believe me, when he drops his pants and then drops a deuce, it's over. <laughs> I will endure that. Okay? He's not going to drop his pants to drop a deuce. That's right. Yeah. He'll have to change his diaper. Yeah, don't be silly. Oh. No. <laughs> it's an unbelievable power. experiment in human endurance. So what are we going to do? Hold on. We, the other thing you're going to throw into the mix is that he's going to smoke, what do you smoke, two packs, three packs a day? I'm sorry, glaucoma guy. What did you say? I, I discussed this with my sons, and I was really scared. After uh, dialing... Uh, with Benji, I was I was terrified, right. and I said, you know, I I don't want to lose my dignity. They said, Dad, you don't have any dignity. <laughs> right. So. so you're another guy who wants it. You'll this guy's dying to say too. something. What? Howard, Howard, I have a chance. Finally, I have a chance. Half of it will go to my nephew because my nephew needs a helmet because his head, when he came out, <laughs> was really deformed. That's what this will help it. The head to get your together. nephew's head is deformed and he needs a helmet. Yes, no, I'm not joking. I have, I'm not joking. <laughs> what, <laughs> if go, what if we go no, down no, to the sports no. authority? I'll buy a kid a helmet. Nice. No, I have proof. I have proof, and I'll bring the pictures or anything. I'm helmets are 15 bucks. All right, what kind no, of nice things? <laughs> <laughs> but I'm willing. No, I'm a man of my word. Well, wait a, a minute. We word. did not say it was going to be a queen for That's a day. That's true, but you're going to yes. have to make a decision, Rob, because I'm leaving it up to you. Well, you know what I would do? I would have them beat each other up. No. Oh. Pick numbers out of a hat. That's All right. The only way to make it fair. That's fair. Numbers out of a hat. Yeah. Yeah, why, don't, why don't we vote? How can we can't do that? You want to have a vote? Yeah, yeah that's what I vote. But then we're going to be dr- strong. You know, we're going to vote for the people who have problems. Maybe, maybe not. I might vote for the hot chick just because I think it's funny. Alex, yeah, see, maybe. if I was haircut to Jeff, yeah. oh, get out. he would have to deal with me for a week of me doing my comedy routine. Oh, uh, it's good. I'll just be quiet. You, nobody cares about you. You're not you, winning man. anyway. Comedy. Nobody's voting for you. Yes, Bob, go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, Bob, yeah, go ahead. I was uh, wondering if Jeff the Trunk dies there and they have to drag him around. For yes. The yeah, even if he <laughs> dies, he stays with If Jeff the- dies during the promotion. Have you to have to. They have to the stay with his rotting corpse. <laughs> I'm dead. <laughs> you killed me. The Howard Stern show killed me. <laughs> How's your mother gonna get along without you for a week, Jeff? In fact, if we have to bury him, you get buried oh, with him. I'll bury him. Right. That's the end of it. Yo, Howard, can I ask you something since I'm here? I don't know. Like, I, I never thought I, I would show up here. Um, I mean, I would show up. I never thought I would get picked. And I always wanted to ask you something. Do you need Rich the Reject? I mean, I could be the biggest reject. I, I think I could be helpful oh my for you. <laughs> and just to call it even, just to call it even, I'll be a gentleman. When I die or get in a car crash or something, I'll donate all my organs to all of them. Whoever needs it, they can take it. Just All to right. call it even. All right, Rich the Reject, thank Rich you. The, Rich the Reject. Rich the Reject. Well, mm, not wow. for nothing, huh? How do you <laughs> argue with that? <laughs> Very tough. These two guys would kill each other. <laughs> I know. He'd give his liver to, well, I got, to uh, Jeff. What? He'd give his liver yeah, to Jeff. Yeah. Wow. All right, listen. Enough's what are we enough. Do? What are we it's time. Do? As soon as I decide, as soon as we decide who I the know person what I is, vote for. who do you vote for? The tall girl. He could care less about Oh, uh, Jeff, gorgeous. you know, in three days, you'd be like her slave. She, she would, <laughs> I'm knitting you I'd another hook her, rug, honey. <laughs> I'm making her my bitch. Jeff, yeah, right. Jeff's going to be on the wagon. He'll <laughs> shave. She's going to be pregnant be if uh, they get. <laughs> be, be, oh, that's right. Jeff will have to sleep with two her. Days. Does, yeah. everybody, does everybody really realize that sleeping together, bathing yeah. together, going to the bathroom together? It's going to be tough. It's, yeah, it's going to be cool, it's not baby. Easy. Bed. Now, as long mo- as he doesn't wet my bed, but oh, can't make that promise. That. As long I'll as he put towels down, he's gonna wet your bed. I won't wet your bed. Don't wet the bed. I, I swear to God, right. I've planted my seed in you. <laughs> <laughs> George, you're on the air. Stern, I need this on TV, full access, website, cable, whatever you can do. You know, I said to the E people, they should just preempt all their programming for the week, full week, just follow this around. But I know they're like going to... Big Brother. They're going to videotape everything, right? 24 hours a day, Doug, you guys will have the camera. Yeah, yeah, we'll be there. We'll be there. Yeah, that's right. Hey, Look at them. Uh, all I, this is the greatest reality show ever. Yeah, it's going to be great. They're going to be handcuffed together. To, and Jeff the Drunk is, you know, everybody's here acting like this is going to be a picnic and it's all fun. But wait till the, literally he's drunk off his ass. Let me tell you something. He's peeing on your beds. He's crapping his pants, and you're sitting next to him. I and, can't <laughs> spend five minutes with Jeff. And how would we? Oh, I can't either. Up, we have to bring I up can't. something else too. Yeah. Yeah, you know, I love you, sir. If Thank we you. cuff you right now, it's four days from now. So you come back Friday. If you guys give up on Thursday night, it's over. There's not a penny in it for yeah. you. You got to go all the all way through. The way. 
If you don't, All there's the no way. money. <laughs> it's going to be great because we're going to cuff him, and in the minutes he's going to have to go to the can. And right. then we're just going to get to know what's it's gonna going on. It's going to start right here. I have a, I have a crapped in, in four days. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> get ready. Get so I have two perfect ones. <laughs> That's a four day old crap. <laughs> Wow. Is that true? You haven't gone to the bathroom in four days? I swear to God. Wow. Why is that? I tried to eat all, all I could yesterday. I was like, I gotta go, I gotta go. I ate, ate, ate. No luck. Mm. I was like, oh well, I'll go tomorrow. <laughs> could you be clogged, you think? Uh, yeah. Maybe. I can't wait to see that emergency room visit. Yes, Dominic. Handcuff someone to each hand. No, we just want no, one person. He's only got one hand available. And a hot chick. That's why. That's why you're a lawyer, and we're, and we're on the radio. You dumbass. Robin, you're on the air. Howard, how are they going to get dressed and undressed? I'm just thinking about logistics. Here. I don't know. That's I don't know. It's up to them. You have to work it out between us. It's, it's going to be a nightmare. Right Twenty out. G's. Figure it out. I guess you're gonna have to help each other, huh? Yeah. Todd, go ahead. You're on the air. Howard, you got to give these guys a better contest besides taking a number out of the hat. Somebody's got to eat something out of his crack. Uh, now well, we're gonna make a decision right now. Yeah, it's it's up, number, though. That's too simple. Each person gets a vote, and I'll tell you who the people are. Yeah, who's voting? Me. We can only choose one of you, so stop Me. acting like babies if you don't get picked. Maria's out of the running. You have okay. resigned. You I'm don't want to be handcuffed not. for I'm a week. Bye, Maria. Maria is the only woman who really understands this contest. She knows how horrible this is going to be. If some of you men were really men, you'd back off right now. I wouldn't do it for a day. <laughs> all you would what? I wouldn't even do it for a day. You couldn't last. No, I couldn't. Because you know why? You're realistic. Yeah, you're smart. You, you realize you. what's going on here. Thank do you, you know? 20 grand is a lot of money. But you'd be handcuffed to Jeff. You'd be inches away from his face day and have, night. I would have to kill him. <laughs> yeah, you'd have to kill him. And rather than commit a homicide, right, you'd I, rather back out. And p these people really don't understand what Jeff is like at all. Does anyone else want to back out? Uh, you know, I got a question. Does anybody have to call home? Like this one guy said, oh, my wife's going to be so bummed out. I mean, I'll tell you what. I didn't I've got $500. Right? Four of these to give away. That's I've correct. got $2,000 from League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, which, by the way, is out on uh, DVD. DVD, yes. I'll give four of you $500 to back out now because you know, you can, if you really know in your heart that you can't last. Because don't start it if you can't go it the whole week. Two. I could last. Do you I could last. Does anyone want $500 I to believe. get out of this? I could last. I believe that. Is everyone in? Yeah, you know what? Make it two thousand dollars. No, it's only five hundred. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna bail because yeah. I got two daughters. Yeah. And I wouldn't put them within two feet of this. Within guy. two feet of that Screw smelly, you. nasty, skanky. Screw you, dude. I was waiting outside this morning before they let us in. Yeah. This dude was smoking a big fat spliv the size of my arm. Right. At five thirty in the morning. Yeah. So Pretty I'm gonna yeah. give you five. And then dropped it and it couldn't pick it up. We had to go pick it up for him. Five hundred dollars. You're out. You. I'm gonna give Maria five hundred dollars because she backed out. Thank I you got two daughters. I, 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 they'll be scarred. Just you are a realist, and I'll tell you why. Do you know what your daughters will experience being near this They'll guy? They'll be in rehab by nine. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Smart man. You took the five hundred rather than I, risk, you know, risk your children's lives. I, I'd be walking around showing my pictures of my kids. Two I got people. Jessica, Amanda, and Jeff the drunk. Two people I, I, I are can't out. Have that. Two people are out. I'll give you Anybody one last else? chance. Tell them the door, Gary. I have a question. I just wanted to know, um, where, where'd you guys find such a guy? Where did oh, we know. find him? Where'd you find him? He this called guy? us. I found that. Holy Jesus, man. I don't know. I, I personally want to know if I can endure it. I, I, I want oh, to like put myself endurance. to the limit. You want to know. All right. I, I want to do it. <laughs> yeah, I'll, wait a second. No, no, I'm not backing down, Howard. All right. No, it's like I said, I have a nephew who needs help. And I've been through hell all my life, and you inspired me with that movie and everything else. I okay. endured a lot of hell. All right. This is my, if I had to die the next day, and I'd be remembered for this, so be it. So be it, all right. Uh, <laughs> all, right. I will. I, all right. Two people have taken the $500. I'm going to say goodbye to Nobody those two. Else. What is it, high Nobody pitch? Nobody else. I'm, I'm backing out. All right, because, three people. Because you got to give these other people a chance. Yes, you right. ain't getting a word anyway. Yeah, that's it, Eric. Get the hell out. <laughs> I'm backing out. Smart. 
thanks to skanky League of him. Extraordinary Gentlemen. It's skanky as him. Why would, what does it matter if he backs out? I'd rather be handcuffed to him than him. The three of you are out. I'm going to say goodbye to you now. So we know it on the field. Bye-bye, guys. Bye, bye, guys. Bye, bye everyone. Five hundred dollars could have bought ten helmets, but what do I know? I know. What is this with the? Helmet? I'm buying my nephew a helmet, then I'm going to Cancun. <laughs> All right, Robin. We now have narrowed the playing field down to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, seven people. All right, that's a little better, a little easier to choose. Doctor Gonzo, go ahead. Hey now. Hey now. I was just wondering, does Jeff actually sleep for eight hours at night, or does he have to get up every three hours for a drink? Do what do you, you do? You actually suck. No, answer the question. Do you sleep through the night? Do you sleep night? through the night? Yeah, of course. You don't get up in the middle of the night to... Pee? Sometimes. Have you ever peed your bed when you get really drunk? Never. Be honest. Never. Do you snore? I swear to God. Jeff, I've peed my bed drunk. <laughs> Never. <laughs> and you've been... I swear to God. All right. <laughs> About as drunk as Jeff. Usually gets. Ever defecate your bed? Never. Never. Oh, oh. Bull. Whoa, you did it here. I swear to God. What was that stuff in your underpants from a boil? How's your boil? Yeah. You want to see it, bitch? No. <laughs> do you sleep in the nude? Uh. Now I do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you in my birthday inside? suit. <laughs> what? Jeff, have you ever been inside? College? What? what? Have you ever been inside? He's talking about jail, Jeff. No. We could be bunk buddies. Have you been in jail, sir? <laughs> Fucking I went to college for a few years. He's out. <laughs> that dude's out. Greenhaven. I've, I've been there. You what were you in college for? Was no that problem. a state school, What were you in, what were you in jail for? I was in school. Um, what were you in jail for? I violated order of protection. I hit somebody with a brick in the face. <laughs> You're kidding. Uh, wow. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> you said that's 24 hours security. I, right? I, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I, I went to military school. I, I've been through the jail. I've been through the rehabs upstate. I want this challenge. I want him to be my friend. I want to know this guy. He looks like a good guy. I want to hit him with a brick. What were you, what were you in college for? Uh, breaking and entering. Breaking and entering. Wow. I was a young man at that. Nice. Point. Changed your ways. Well, it's time to decide. Wow. Two and women who's left. left? Who's There's left? two women left. I'll tell you exactly who's left. Shoot. You got. Let me see who you got here. You got Shannon, the hot chick with the big boobies. <laughs> Vote for her. Everyone. You once posed nude for an internet website. It wasn't really for an internet website. It was for a photographer that I was friends with, and it wound up on the internet right. before I really knew what the internet was. All right. She's she's what we call the hot chick. Right. That could be a very interesting pairing, her and Jeff. Yes. I mean, I don't know that she could take it. Then you got Jenny Diaz, who told us a horrible story. She needs to pay off debt. And help her husband get to a doctor. She's married with a child. She's 29 years old. Her husband needs to go to the doctor, and her son doesn't even have a proper bed to sleep in. That tugs at my heartstrings. It does. You're the vote for that. Child. And will your husband be at home while the you and Jeff are tied together? I'm sorry. I can't. Will your husband be at home? Um, yes. yes. So it'll be her, her husband, and Jeff in the bed. <laughs> yeah, will, you, will yes. your husband so sleep in the bed? I take care of so many people now. I know. Hey, then buddy. you got Richie. I'll make this interesting. Richie's would... been to college? Uh, I don't know. Not yet. Not yet. I got my GED. I'm kind of working you on it. You know that. what I mean by college. Right. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. How, long, how, how much time did you do in uh, college? Uh, altogether, six months. Six months, all right. Yeah, I'm he's a little single. Peewee. He's 19 years old. He's from Staten Island. 19. Whoa, whoa, he's 19. I yeah. asked everyone if they were 21. First of all, everybody in here is uh, over 21. Yes. Yeah. Okay. yeah, I'm 21. Oh, oh wait a minute. Uh, can we not have him? Disqualified. Are you disqualified? Bye. No. Are you 21? Yeah. We see your license. I was my license. I got a New York bitch. State card. Right there. I don't, I don't even know what this is. What is that? That's for New, it's for New, New York State's benefits. Where's your birthday? Right here. <laughs> see, it says birthday. Look at that. Where's his driver's license? 81. Where's your driver's license? I lost it. I don't even have a car yet. Get out. Go ahead. It, it's real. It's a picture ID. It sort of looks like him. All right. It does have his birthday on it. It says real. It's his brother, goddamn. You know, All right. Let's go to Alex. I'm not going to sit here, but this is the homework he should have done before. Yeah. I'm going to go to Alex. He's a waiter. You got no money to pay your rent, and you're about to be evicted. 
I'm $10,800 behind on my rent. Get I got the, the job, paperwork dude. to prove it. I will make this interesting. I, I, you know, oh, don't worry. This. We're not afraid of it not being interesting. Yeah, Jeff's yeah interesting no matter who you sound. attach this guy to, it will become interesting. But just this is a week-long endurance test, and I'm just afraid that all these people are fronting. And I, I would hope you give us somehow. The, you said you were going to thin the herd. I we did. you were going to challenge us to do things. Um, I no, understand you have limitations not. of the show. But That's right. If you guys, if you just understand, I'm a big fan. There's some guys that didn't even know who High Pitch Eric was in the green room. So you got some people here that just somehow heard about a contest. I've been a diehard fan for years. I love you all guys. All right, Alex. I, I got a retraction for you in the time. You know, I work with Tom Jolly. I, I'm willing to defend you in any way. Please somehow recognize me and Thank understand you. that I'm in a desperate situation. Thank you, uh, Alex. Thank you. William? Yes. You're a contractor. You've yes. been pretty quiet back there. You've been a real man. You haven't begged? No, nah, I'm not going to beg, but I mean, I'm, I'm willing to do it. You've got to pay off bills, too. Yeah. Pay off bills, and I'm going to try to start my own business soon. All right, so you could really use the money. Yeah, desperately. I'll make it interesting. I'm not going to stay home with him. I'm going to take him out, take him to my friend's houses, <laughs> take him to the bar, to go-go we bar, and watch him make fun of all the dancers. We found number two. <laughs> John, uh, John, you are an installation supervisor. Yeah, but I'm going to be out of work by February. They're going to throw me out. All right, so you need the money, too. Everyone here needs the money. And, yes. Frank, you said you're unemployed, and i got to tell you something. You have to pay off medical bills to buy I Christmas. I have to. You know what? I already tapped my uh, IRA. Uh, I am so far in debt, Howard. Uh, and you're married with two kids, so. Yes, I am. All right. And you, you don't got mind taking sure, Jeff home I, to your kids? I would kick my grandmother for field goal to get this. All right. All right. My wife did assure me. You know, everybody was so freaked out. Friday, we thought it was going to be Wheel of Benji. I thought it was. I called up Will to tell him I couldn't do it. I, I couldn't get a hard on all weekend right. after that display. But this is a horrible thing to think that this one Animal. person would be in my house with my kids and my beautiful young wife. Screw you, you Go oh, to hell, uh, you uh, drunk uh, bastard, you. Uh-oh. Ah, that's uh, interesting. It might but be interesting My to wife said she could wet family. nurse a drunk for 20 grand because we really need it, sir. I love it, bro, disease and soft, <laughs> soft helmets. All right, here we go. Enough of this. I gotta go. So this guy's out. Oh, he's 19? Yeah. He, he right. gets shows us one ID, shows another ID, but we got to... All right. Sorry, I want to do this, how I've been... I know, but you're not old enough. Ah. Oh, man, can you give me 500 bucks? Please this show is me some love. This is a man's game, bitch. Man, bro, I, I got this. You, know you got 500 Howard, bucks. You got the last 500. All right. Goodbye. All right, I'm get sorry. out of here. League of, of Extraordinary Gentlemen. Now, let's get back to so Stuck on You. So we got six now. That's right. Stuck on You is the promotion. They're providing $20,000 in this promotion. And now we're down to one, two, three, four, five, six people. Pick the hot chick. Jeff wants us to pick the hot chick. Who's Please. voting? You're voting. I'm voting. Casey I'm Armstrong's voting. voting, Gary's voting, Fred is voting. Jeff the Drunk. Shush. And Artie is voting. No and Benji. No Benji. No Benji. And <laughs> Jeff the fucking... Oh, oh Jeff, oh. you know Benji. Sorry. <laughs> Jeff the Drunk, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, you don't get a vote, I'm sorry. Sugar. <laughs> All right. Jeff, Shoot. let's find out who you're going to be shackled to for yeah. an entire week in the Stuck on You promotion. Okay. All Baba right, is Bowie. everybody voting? Yeah. Baba Bowie. I, I know what I want to do. I, I've, th I've been thinking about it. I got it set. All right. Who do you want? You know what? I was going to go with the hot chick, but Jeff would just enjoy that too much. Jenny, who's got the hard luck story. She got a husband. I love that whole dynamic that they all got to live together. So I'm picking Jenny. All right. Sure that is one it. vote for Jenny. Thank you. Now, don't bitch and whine like a girl if you don't get picked. You know who I'm talking to. <laughs> I'm voting for you, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Baby. All right, Casey, go and vote. All right. Um, you know, I was going to go with this guy here, but... The, uh, which, when you say this guy here... Uh, I mean, yeah, uh, the glaucoma guy. Yeah. I was going to go with him. It might help if we put name tags on people next yeah. time, but go ahead. But, you know, I'm thinking along the lines of the show, I'm going to go with Jenny because she's not going to stand for his crap, and she'll be done in one day. <laughs> you don't think Jenny could even go the distance? She's not going to last today, but I'm going to go with you. This guy's going to have a conniption. Go ahead. Say what you want to say. Uh, I don't want to say anything. It's just, you know, whatever. I, I'm not going to whine. You said not to whine. All right. Just, all right. That's just real man. But you're dying to whine. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be out in the street. It's, it's cold and... Um, I don't want you out tough. on the street, but... Yeah, I'm, but you know what? It, you can't pay a bill. So, I mean, she's got a sick guy. As, she can't help that. As Casey said, um, I got a whole host of reasons I, I focused on that one. But as, as Casey said, it's going to be over tonight. 
no matter who you attach this guy to, ultimately it's going to be the best if you see four days of gut wrenching, you know, hell dynamic between two individuals. I mean, it's it's going to be interesting. So don't have it end in a night. I don't think it'll be over in a night. I think she's got to save her she family. Really, I think she'll do what she's got to do. The, the, beal of, uh, the beal, the wheel of Benji. Where, where's her guts? Where's her resolve to win something? How do you know I, she has no resolve? Forget spinning the wheel. I'll do everything on the wheel. This is how desperate <laughs> I am. I, I have no choice. You understand? Anyway, whatever. You have your votes. I, I, I hate to beg. I hate to be have my hand out begging like this, but I don't want to be out on the street, man. You know, this paperwork is very real. And you're going to have a marshal knocking on my door. I think that's funny. You have some big prick with with a mustache and I'd say, get out. Go. Sure. Yeah. A mustache? And I'm sure. going to be living uh, two blocks of Marty at the Y. I already looked into it. 125 a week. Was snidely whiplash? Why a mustache? Well, you just picture marshals with a mustache, big guy, you know, get out of here. Right. But uh, look, he's I think the guy job. in the end can tell you what a marshal looks like. You know? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to Robin Quivers, who always seems to know what to do. You know what? I'm going with Mr. Macular Degeneration. Wow. Because Thanks, Robin. I think the whole family dynamic would be funny with Jeff. <laughs> it would be a he's show. He's got a nice young wife, and he's got some young kids, and so he'll have Jeff there. Great. Artie, go ahead. You know what? Uh, I think both of the chicks will be out in a day. I agree with Alex, and I, I don't want to see that. I want to see someone dig their, their feet in and do this. I love my boy from my hometown union. I love you, right, man, right. but I got to go. I got to go with Alex. I think Alex will do this no matter what. All right. Well, all right. So I, think he'll, all I think he'll stay with it. How all I'd right. like to say, Jeff, cause he was standing next to me for 10 seconds outside. He came up. I was dying from the smoke. I mean, he was smoking cigarettes. He was smoking weed. I'm not going to stop this guy from doing anything, but I cannot stand smoke. This guy's going to be a mess. I got to do what I'm going to do, and I trust me. I All right, let's go to Fred Norris. Fred, who do you pick? Jenny has two votes. The blind guy has one vote, and Alex has one vote. Jenny has two votes? Who yes. Who voted for her? Gary and KC. Go ahead, Fred. My, my choice is every step of the way she's been wincing from the time you announced the contest to the time you announced who it was going to be. Shannon. Beauty Shannon and the, the hot and the chick. Beast. Beauty and the handle. Beast, you Thank like. Thank you. I could handle him. Interesting I angle. So. I've had no, worse boyfriends, You have I think. no idea. <laughs> You have no he's going to break her like a rodeo pony. <laughs> you like I had an ex-boyfriend pee on an alarm clock while I was yeah, sleeping. Yeah, but you can, smell him, from, you can smell him from 40 paces. <laughs> the uh, smell alone is insane. The smell alone is going to kill you. I'm not a typical chick. All right, let's go. Who's she left? A stroke. You are. I think, I think it's you, buddy. I think it's you, yeah. Jenny has two votes. Don't be Blind a guy, I, I feel for this guy. I don't like to hear anybody losing their vision. He's got one. Thank you, Howard. Alex, I, Alex I feel for. One. I do feel for Alex. And Shannon has one. Uh, I Shannon feel has for one. Shannon. <laughs> I can't go with Shannon because I think Jeff the Drunk will enjoy her too much. Right. I'm, I'm, I'm eliminating You're her. That's a good point. <laughs> it makes no point to vote for any of the guys who only have uh, who have zero votes because he wouldn't win anyway. Right. Right. The no, best we could, if I vote for Alex or the blind guy, they're tied with Jenny. Ooh. And then you could have a runoff. And then we could have a runoff. Oh my God! Don't do that. Anymore. I like the blind guy a lot, mm -hmm. and I like Alex a lot. So who are you going with? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm like putting all my four like kids. I might have Benji vote. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Not so easy when it comes down to it, right? You're going to be homeless in two months anyway. It makes you feel better. You're going to be homeless. You. This guy's going to be homeless in two months anyway. Or even if he wins the 20 grand. Or even this if he week. wins the 20 Where are you going to film it? These two guys. If he's kinda... evicted, where is he going? Where are you filming it? Well, that's corner? funny. Where are they going? Where are they going? Right here. No, no, no. Yeah. Ten days to vacate. This, it's, no, no, no. <laughs> It'd be funny if they wound up on the street. Yeah, it's better if they, it's better if they throw them out. What does that say right there? How much do I owe? The three people left in my mind are. You're helping a family. I'm not going with the hot chick because I'd like to be handcuffed to her. Let's face it, who wouldn't? Why should Jeff have so much fun? Yeah, screw you, Jeff. How are you? Yeah. Can I just say one thing? But anyway, You're out I, know, of it. I know, but I just want to say it's an honor to meet you anyway. Uh, thank, thank you, guys. Thank you. I know and I have no votes, but. I'm sorry I couldn't vote for you. Sorry I couldn't vote for you. You got a two together. Thanks. Thanks for the opportunity. God damn it. I don't All know right, who to go is with. It Robin, I hate it. Generation and Alex. And Jenny, and and Jenny would going? be great because not only does she need the money, but she's a woman, and women are going to just be grossed but out by you. I think you should have a runoff. You pick one of the guys, and then we'll all have to vote between the two yeah. of them. I can't even pick between these two guys. They both are, are tugging up. Who do you think is a better guy? 
You know, I love both of them. I already gave my vote to Mr. Mac. Hmm. And uh, that's the way I'd go. Mr. Mac, forgive me. I'm going to vote for Alex and force oh. a runoff. I'm going to vote. I'm sorry. I'm going to force what? a runoff between Alex and Jenny. Drama king. Even though I'm leaning toward Jenny. Well, now everybody has to vote again. Sorry, Mr. Mac. Mr. Mac? Macular Thanks, degeneration. Sarah, that's fine. Oh. That's fine. I right, see now the guy's pissed. I hate this. I hate choosing. Oh, I hate choosing. Oh. Just F- screw you out. Pick one person. Hot chick is gone. Once again, she feels she's a victim of her good looks. Bye, yeah. Jenna. I know they've been. She's been such a victim. Have a good day. It's down to Jenny. Wow. And, and Alex. Eat that. Damn. Yeah. All right, Thanks Robin. A lot, guys. What's a better television Listen show? Listen to him. Carry on already. This is what's going to make it great. What's a better television show? Jeff the drunk living with Jenny and her family or living alone with Alex? Well, it's not Jenny and her family. It's just Jenny and her husband because her son has been sent away. Right. But it's, it's we, the we show, the resolve of the show, the show, the show, the show, the show, the show, the bathroom. To, that's to when I'm going to take my clothes I will off. make this show interesting. Trust me. The vote has been taken. All right, all right. The tribe has spoken. We don't want somebody performing for the camera right. either. Uh, it's not... All right. You are the I don't want to seem like, like a false part. It's just tough. Goodbye. Cause I, 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 I thought this was going to be a challenge. You, know, you the- are a good contestant. There's no doubt it would be interesting seeing you chain to Jeff the Drunk. You're the second best contestant. Yeah. But You're- Jenny has a little bit I better didn't story. I didn't know who else is in my apartment. I just didn't you know didn't, that we were going to be You didn't, and that's why I was that, voting you know? for Jenny. Jenny, I- it's going to be Jeff Wait. goes to Jenny's home and lives. And in all fairness, she did her thing up early. She talked about her family early. By the time we got to you, you should have let it all hang out if you got something that you needed but, to but say. But I also thought there was going to be an opportunity because when He's Alex. been to hurt. I Alex. Uh, be it's like, over, what are the challenges? Alex. Alex. Like, Stop. <laughs> you're like the tribe has spoken. That's it. When he's breaking up with a girl, you're trying to argue her into loving you. It's over. You're a good guy. Hey, I'm a, I'm a lifelong fan. It's not going to change my opinion of you. I just Thank feel you. extremely disappointed. I feel faint and... I don't blame you. This is not good. Um, you know, at, at best if, you just, if I didn't even out. come close to it, I could have resolved myself to it. But, uh, I mean, as I said, I've got a girlfriend at home who now she's going to have to move back to, to Minnesota. She's going to have to suspend medical treatment. She's been on for a year and a half. I got a doctor's number. I'm not, can I, I'm can not I, just. Can I make a suggestion? Get a job. I, who says I'm not employed? Do you understand what it's like? But, I mean, she, she got people dying. Where, where, where is- Somebody well, well, you could say, hey, get a job and pay for your medical bills. It's all a matter of, I didn't fall behind on my rent because I'm a deadbeat. Right. You know, I, I had medical true. expenses. I, I'm trying to get know that. three jobs. Well, you could know it now. I was trying with three yeah, jobs Gary. to pay off these things and cover my rent. I don't He's know. very you insensitive, know? I mean, Alex. Yeah. I'm just saying that you, you're dealing with a man in a desperate situation who's facing getting thrown out on his I don't even know where I'm going to put my stuff. I don't have the money to move. I, I left hey, it down no, to I feel the bad for you. I do. Yeah, I'm saying you got a marshal showing up at my house. You have, yeah, I, I definitely going to be evicted Alex, in a week. How do we get him to leave? I Alex, gotta, what can I, I, I say? Look, put the microphone. I'm, I'm going to plead my case right. to the very last moment. What do you no, want me to say? But I understand, but um, if somebody's got to win, and it just wasn't you, you but that's how it went. Dude. It's not that we don't like yeah, it. It's just I, I, had to win. I could already guarantee you, I, this, this woman, I feel for her. You've got people. I, remember this guy before with the blackjack? Yeah, all of a sudden, someone called in, was willing to pay for the for the medicine. Right. Someone will help this. The, no one... No, <laughs> wow. Who's got the Italian last Why? name? You can't throw me a bone here, Gary. <laughs> you scared the hell out of Jenny. <laughs> yeah. Her nerves are shot. Oh, I'm like, Look what she won. <laughs> Actually, I think Alex is making a good point. She can't take a gung. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> she All got right, freaked Alex, out by a gung. You. When she quits, you're not going to have quits, the full If she quits, she quits. If You'll she quits, right she quits. We were wrong. It's her 20000 to win or lose. Yeah, Alex, any constellation, dude, I get those eviction notes all the time. You ignore them. They go away. Oh, <laughs> go away. Yeah, bet Notre I mean, Dame. Jenny, yeah, I mean, you have won the opportunity. Thank you so much. $20,000. Okay. You will watch Jeff go to the bathroom. You will watch Jeff shower. You will He's watch Jeff watch drink. watch me, too. Not That's only right. Watch. Yeah, they have to do this together. I wish you luck, Alex. Thank you. Jeff, it's up to you now. <laughs> this woman is trying to win $20,000. <laughs> Do you care, Jeff? No. No, I don't. <laughs> He's got his own problems. What? Well, you know what? He would have cared too much if it had been the pretty girl. This was right. the right choice. Yeah. Look at him. He's all bummed oh, out now. The handcuffs. He don't want to get out of there. Jenny, the handcuffs I'm are coming out. I'm sorry, I don't have bigger boobs. First of all, Jenny's very pretty, too. Where are they going to But she's got a husband, yeah. see? Yeah, who who wants a chick with a husband? <laughs> she's not going to put out. Right. No chicks putting out for Jeff anyway. Jeff, go Maybe over and get handcuffed. Maybe a little handcuffed. Hand job. <laughs> Jeff, go over and get handcuffed now. <laughs> 
It's time. It's time. It's time, Jimmy. It's ground zero time. It Send now. the bits over here, man. Over here, John. here it's. He's being difficult already. Here Come on. Starts. Go over there and stand there and take and, and get yourself shackled. I thought I was gonna sing a song. You're not singing anything. This has gone on way too long. Who is he now? Wendy the retard? He's got to sing every time I he's here. I have a perfect song made out. <laughs> um, Jenny, you sure? Jenny, are you sure you want to go? You can quit right now and yeah. save yourself any kind of aggravation. Your hand is being held out. There is one handcuff on take you. Take your bed soon. Oh, God. The handcuffs cannot come off if you want the $20,000. The only time they come oh, off is when you're going to the bathroom, but you will still be leg shackled. <laughs> yes, Jeff? Can I take a piss? No. no. <laughs> Why do you get handcuffed? Okay. Let's go. Wait. Easy, Jeff. Don't yank her already. I give her 10 minutes. <laughs> they could have last a minute. <laughs> Jeff, you are not. Jeff, look at her. You're, hand, you're handcuffed to a woman. <laughs> Jeff, you're handcuffed to her. Hey. Okay. <laughs> are you okay, Jeff? I'm fine. What happens if he starts falling over? Right. She goes down with him. He's going. He doesn't smell that. Bad. I have to get out of the bathroom. Dude. Do you really? <laughs> he just I ain't lying. All right, take the microphone to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> He's drinking a beer. You have to see it. Jenny, when he drinks that beer, your arm goes almost right into his head. I, I know. <laughs> nice. I didn't realize that. That's cool. <laughs> if I'm lying, I'm dying. That's it. <laughs> She's going to be hitting him in the face for a week. Jenny, yes. you're such a nice woman. It's going to be a long four days. <laughs> Does he smell? He doesn't have body odor. He would. He smells as just alcohol. Right. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> That's his scent. What if she falls in love with Jeff? Thank you. No. Well, that would be the bizarrest it's story. Happen, ever. Baby. Jenny, Nine you're pretty. Nights, right? You're young. You're. Thank you. Not you. <laughs> Jenny. Yeah, he's yeah. I think I, you seem like yeah. such a nice woman. I don't wish this on you at all. I think, yes. I, I think you're in for a nightmare. <laughs> I wouldn't do it. It's just start. I could not be shackled to he's, this guy. He's a human being like all of us. No, he's not. Oh, That's no. where you're wrong. That's where you've made a mistake. Uh, I don't even know how they're going to get undressed because they both have these long sleeve shirts yeah. on now. I don't know either. They might just be in their <laughs> clothes for four days. They're going to have to cut off the clothes or wear them for the entire time. Uh, Bob, and I think you want to be hooked to me. That's true, Jeff. Yeah, yeah she can't wait. <laughs> well, the promotion is called Stuck on You in honor of the new comedy from the Farley Brothers. Baby. Baby. Starring Thank Matt you. Damon and Greg Kinnear. Good luck. Thank you. I guess you're going to have to go stop at the bathroom. We're going to take oh. a break. I hope Stuck on You is as funny as this is. I can't <laughs> wait to see the footage. <laughs> okay. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Did you be able to make it, Jenny? Yeah, I got to uh, make it to the bathroom. Can you grab the beer? You can't grab the beer? Oh, pardon me. You have to stand in that stall. Okay. My God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shoo. Get that take a lunch. Four days. It could be a long while. Okay. I'm gonna be gonna be going through hell. Oh my god. So we only get tackled on the foot when? Next week. <laughs> How long does it take? It'd be a long time. Oh, shoot. Not long. No? I'm almost done. Okay. I'm jumping One. right now. Do you need toilet paper? No? No. Okay. No, thank you. I must wash my hands. Here, I'll press, I'll press here. Put your hands. No, it's just, it's all I have to do. I only use my fingertips. Chew. 
Jenny. Yes. What's going through your head right now? I gotta do this. Or you just, think you'll be able to make it? Of course I will be able to make it. Even through like the bathrooms and the yes. drinking and... Yes, yes. And when you go to the bathroom? Yeah. There's no shame in that. Well, congratulations, good luck. Thank you. How am I gonna get my coat on, you fucking dumbass? I don't know. Figure it out. Yeah, I'll figure it out. Put the fucking cuffs on my foot. I'll fucking figure that out. Hey, wait. Wait, put this down. First of all, I can't get that fucking thing out with that shit out there. I can't. Stand up. I can't do it. No, it won't be done. Look what, look, I already put my coat on and I'm just put, I just put one arm. Did you see? Yeah, you have one arm. Well, but I'm gonna just... This is my only fucking arm. Jesus Christ. I can't do it. Bring the foot shackles immediately. Motherfuckers, it's fucking nuts. Sorry. My this, bad. This, no, no, don't drink that one. I know, no. but this is my entry. Thank you. Look, look. I can't fucking do look, that. Look, I pretend that you are me. Look, I, I don't have an arm on this that. side. Look. I cannot do that. But look, look, look. I see you, but look, I can't. Look, pretend do like it. I'm here. Like, look, look. See? See? It won't fucking work. I'll sit there all fucking night. And fuck you, Ron. For the jacket situation, okay? We will let you go to ankle cuffs, okay? As soon as your jackets are on, you go right back to handcuffs. Oh my God. That's the deal. Well, uh, no, we'll fucking do it. <laughs> okay, so we got security has what you guys need. They'll switch you to ankle cuffs, get your jackets on, we go right back to handcuffs. Put the ankles on, take it off the handcuffs. I got it. Fuck is my hand. Yeah. You're leaving Kara, right? Yes. Where are you going now? I'm going home. What's on uh, what's on your schedule now? Um we have to go grocery shopping. Wild sex. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> My God! Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking, you know, you guys are saying, don't pay no attention to the camera. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck you. We're going, motherfucker. Get out of my way, motherfucker. Hey, let's take. What's just going on here and grabbing a fucking tank? Nice! Nice! You're paying for a taxi, bitch. You're paying for a taxi. Tell me what's going on. We're going to her house. Cab, cab, cab. Come on. We're looking for a fucking cab. You're paying, right? You okay? I'm 
fun. Lol. Big bodacious booby girl didn't win. Fuck. Damn. That was alright. It's not your fault. I was about to say, I'm, I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I just want to eat you up. Why didn't you fucking win? You dumb. What are we having for dinner? I don't know. Do you like chicken? I love chicken. Pasta? No. Really. No? But chicken, yeah? Yeah. Oh, so chicken and what? You just we'll can't have chicken and what? We'll find some. I'll go ch we'll go shop and find something. So your husband's waiting for us, huh? He ain't gonna be sleeping with you tonight. No. You're my bitch tonight. Uh, Jeff the Drunk and Jenny. Yo! Hello? Where are you guys Hello. now? Hello. We're home. You got home? Yes. He, so, he behaved pretty well in the cab. But so I was like, he was like just saying, oh, I wish the big blue girl would have one. So what is it? Does he smell? Uh, no, not that, that much. It was okay. What was the worst part? Him going to the bathroom? Uh, yeah, we went to, he went to the bathroom. Um, he washed his hands. Yeah, that's because you were there. Yeah. <laughs> He's already acting up a little bit, Howard. He asked... Oh, was my hands. When they were giving him the rules and everything, he, he asked um, if he was allowed to make a deposit on her. Uh, a deposit? Yeah. What, is he crazy? Oh, dear. Oh, what if he hey, does? Yeah, what if he does? <laughs> what? Just asking. I don't know if that's At the kind of thing you I ask. Asked. I think you just. At least he asked. That's what he's saying. No. At least I asked. So, uh, so far, so good. Yes. You think you'll yep. be able to handle this for four days? Yes, I can. She must yes. be in a coma. We were, we were uh, uh, discussing what we we're going to have for dinner, and he says he wants chicken. So we're going to go grocery shopping and uh, get some. Oh, happy good. Well, the $20,000 prize, should you win it, is courtesy of Stuck on You, the new comedy from the Farrelly Brothers, um, which uh, I'll tell you what. What? I don't see how you're going to do it. He is the most annoying human being on the planet. Sometimes, you sometimes he comes down here. Uh-huh. And like in, in 15 minutes, everybody's ready to hang themselves. I don't, uh, Ronnie can't even stand to see him coming. True, Ronnie. <laughs> Oh, no. So we're going to go in now because we're cold. All right. Okay. okay. Take, all right. Have fun. Okay. Bye. Bye. Bye, Jeff. Thank you. Bye. They're at home. Ronnie oh, won't boy. let me throw up on the coffee machine. <laughs> He's a real bastard. I just brought some weed in, dude. Who is it? It's Mommy. Can you open the door? Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. Hi. 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 Hi, Jeff. Hello. Hello. Jeff. Meet my son, Maxwell. Hello. Thank you, Maxwell. Hi. 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 So, welcome home. We're going to be staying here together. I'm going to give you a little bit of a tour of the house. Let's go to the master bedroom. Over here, this is where we will be sleeping. Right here. Okay. And over here, this is the main room. You can see I don't have any furniture because I can't afford this right now. So we'll kind of use this chair as our only means for putting things on and getting up to eating, sitting, no furniture, sorry. Uh, that's the kitchen in there. Show you my son's room. Say hello, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Max. It's something more. How you doing, buddy? Fine. See? Fine. Mommy, you can't come to Jeff. Till Friday. Till Friday? Yes. Friday. Yes. Aww. 
We have to do we have to do things together. Together. It's all about the body, dude. And it's good, dude. High five. High five. <laughs> oh yeah. So how do you like the, the, oh, what, the what, 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 watch 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 him do this? Whoa. Look out. I, I, I'm going to do the same thing as him. You're going down! So, I'm expecting him for a couple of days, so you're not going to be sleeping with me tonight. Is that okay with you? It's fine with me. The bitch is mine. You haven't gone to the bathroom once. I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah. You haven't gone yet. I have to go. Well, we I, I do have to go. Yeah. Just saying. You haven't gone yet. Well, I have to. I'm going to use my bathroom. Sorry, buddy. Can't you do anything right? <laughs> How it's been five hours. Everything's okey effing dokey. I don't think so. I don't think so. Well, my part of this. What are you smoking? Weed. I guess I'm smoking it too. <laughs> smoking a joint. We're going out to the bar, right? What? Choose the pool. <laughs> they are to legalize it. Little Just thing. wait till I masturbate. Oh, do you see? With this hand, look at that. <laughs> it's not bad for you, really. Hello, Jeff the Drunk here. It's 606. Oh, All is, is well. well. Yeah, you go. I gotta 
gotta take my sleeve off. You'll be good. Ah, I can't take it off. Hold on. I can't take it off. Hold on. Let me see what you're doing. Oh, yeah, it's all over. <laughs> what a way to get the sling off. Okay. That's good. Daddy wants to win. Want to thought the bike? She's come to mom and a room of freaking sex for four whole days and four nights too. We'll turn to make it through. Stuck on you. Stuck on you, they do. Jeff the Drunk in the $20,000 contest stuck on you. We chose Jennifer yesterday. Seems like a kind of a Puerto Rican looking girl. We chose her to be handcuffed to Jeff the Drunk. I saw some of the tape and Je just leaving here, <laughs> Jeff had a pee and her hand is handcuffed to him. Yeah. And then they had to get through those revolving doors downstairs. Oh, I forgot about that. That was a whole negotiation. Looked really uncomfortable. Then they get home and uh, like they're driving to, to the house. Because they got to stay at her house. Yeah. And Jeff just like, he sits there and he has like these coughing fits. And meanwhile, oh. she's like, you should see the look on her face. I mean, it's unbelievable. Like, listen to this. Wait. CD2. Okay, got it. <laughs> oh! <laughs> 
I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> That doesn't sound fine at all. It's just really yeah. gross. Is he coughing? I mean, is he hocking up stuff as he calls? Or is it... What do you think? You heard that. Ugh. Then Jeff meets her kid because the husband's there and her five-year-old's there. Here's Jeff meeting the kid. Say hello, Jeff. Hello, Jeff. Hello, Max. Even something more. How you doing, buddy? Fine. See? Fine. Mommy's handcuffed to Jeff. Till Friday. Friday. So then Jeff has to go to the bathroom. You can imagine what that. He hasn't made a duty yet, but he's pee peed a couple of times. Uh -huh. So she sits down on the ball. She's going. It's, 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 they're handcuffed together. It looks really peculiar. Uh -huh. And he's smoking tons of weed. Really? I don't even know how much weed he smokes. <laughs> <laughs> He took a hit, and he's like... <laughs> now he's coughing his lung up. Hey, <laughs> Oh, what a picnic. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't you just... You know, like, I'm sitting there saying... She's so patient. <laughs> hi, Jenny. Hi, hi, how are you, Howard? Hi, Jeff. What's up? Well, now we're into a full 24 hours. Did you get much sleep last night, Jenny? Um, not that much. I've been talking and journey, uh, Jeff... And kind of like uh, touched me a couple of times. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. Well, I imagine that's what happens when you're laying in the bed next to each other. Yeah. And so, I'm fully really aware that it wasn't my husband. <laughs> so you just leap up every time Jeff touches you? <laughs> Did you guys cuddle? Yes. Did you? In other words, how do you get comfortable sleeping together? I mean, like you have to... I just laid like I was dead, just in one corner <laughs> of the bed, and he took much of the space of the bed. Your strategy seems to be playing dead. Like, I even noticed you just sit on the, yes. you sit on the yes. floor when he sleeps. You, you're like, it, there's not much you can do. No. no. But even no. what she's saying is, like, in the bed, Jeff took up most of the bed. She had one little spot. Yeah, well, Jeff... Robin, can, can you give me some medical advice? I mean, like, uh, for every cigarette that Jeff smokes, how much am I taking in? So oh, boy, you're in trouble. <laughs> So, You'll be dead yeah, in an hour. Which, why, which is two hours now. Why am I getting an echo? Yeah, you like guys... Cigarettes. Are you guys on a, a radio phone or something weird? I'm getting some kind of weird echo. No, I'm on a cell phone. He's on the ground uh, house phone. Well, maybe that's maybe why. Maybe if they're too close with the phone. Yeah, maybe that's it. So, so he's had 11 cigarettes since he had breakfast? Yes, that's his breakfast. Wow. I can't eat breakfast. When I was, we were brushing our teeth, you know, like he kind of coughed and I kind of almost oh. like gagged and lost. <laughs> Jeff, what's with all the coughing? Why don't you get checked out sometime? It was because I was smoking weed. <clears throat> that's the only reason why I coughed. That, that's really good for you. Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's not good for me. <laughs> weed. Well, don't you have any respect for Jenny? She doesn't really like the smoke. Pop Nikki. Oh. I, I, I kind of like figured that. Are you guys going to go out anywhere, or are you going to yes, just... Yes, we're going to go... We're going bowling today. Oh, that'll be fun. <laughs> Would it be okay if um, we put the foot shackles on? No, you got to stay because handcuffed. I can't throw the ball. Tough. You got to throw it together. Damn. Well, we ain't going bowling. Well, go to a bar. Go play pool. I thought he was I a good pool shooter. Pool. How the hell do I get a two pool? We don't know how you do it when you have that I think it's free. Yeah, I think it's funny that he, he just has to sit around that house all day. There's absolutely nothing to do in Jenny's house. I'm, I'm uh, afraid to go out with Jenny. People might be staring at me. Hey, Jeff, why don't you go get laid? Go to a whorehouse. Get a massage. Yeah, take yeah. A, Jenny out on one but of your wild friends. nights. He, he wanted me to do that for him. <laughs> I said no. Get me a whore, Jenny. If you did. I never said nothing. Like Thank you so much for the call. You called in. It's been 24 hours now. So uh, we're just going to get ready to start our day. We want to go out. Can't be in here. The smoke is killing me. I can't go bowling. I can't do bull. Well, that's the rule. What the F, Howard? It's the rule. Bullshit. 
bullshit, bullshit. Sit there all fucking day? No. We it's not happening, dude. I'm going out. Do you want a shower, dude? Yeah. Yeah, I want a shower. Yeah. I really want to shower. Okay, well, um, we have to get hair circles so we can take off the foot so I can put on my own. Yeah, 
Bullshit, man. Get the camera Wait. away from me. You fucking motherfucker. Just like all the other cockchuckers fucking sneaking in. <laughs> motherfucker. Cowhead cocksucker. Can you shut the fucking door anyway? Yeah. Damn it. Thanks a lot, fucker. We did our grocery shopping. We bought our fruits and vegetables. We used club cards so we, to have some savings and coupons. There you go. If you hit zero, it gives you the approval. FYI, New York. Yeah, Iggy's. I G G Y S. What's up with that? Try the one on second half. Right. 042? Oh, that's two numbers. Thank you. Mm -hmm. 212, that's actually. Yeah. 327. One. Two, one, two. I think the. Uh, Five? What? The, six oh? The, the cigarette. Five, six oh? One, seven. Is it 560? <laughs> wait a minute! It's a 560! Wait a minute! Wait, 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 wait! <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's your fault for smoking! Is it 560 or 450? Wait! Or 650 or 560? Wait, wait! She's high. <laughs> she got a better buzz than I did. <laughs> Right over there, 17th Street. 17th? It's right there. 17th and 10th? Couple blocks up, yeah. On the left? On the left, yeah. What, do you use your pool? I can't do that. I need a pool partner. You do? You can't. And I can't pick none of these guys. I gotta serve beer, I can't shoot pool. Ah, damn. Here, yeah. whoa. Don't lose your balls. You there. know what? Don't lose your balls. She grabbed my balls. What is you? If you're buying, I'm flying. What do you want? Whatever you whatever you want to give me. What's the drink off? There we go. Swallow. Wow. Ah. Oh. 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 I want the buttery nipple, damn it. You, you, you sick bitch. I like this. Oh. She had come for me. 
You're strapping shit on my neck? Mm. Why? Mm. Open your mouth. We're not done yet. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no? Swallow, don't spit it out. <laughs> what the fuck is that for that? <laughs> what, you want more? I want to fucking eat you right now, bitch. I don't think so, baby. Please, if I get caught in the zipper. Jesus Christ. <laughs> what the what fuck is up with that? Come on. I like the second tits. I ain't even going to put the fucking ice down your shorts there. I want some... I want some nipples in my mouth right now. I don't think so, honey. I want to lick your pussy. Nice. Come on. Get in line, honey. Let's see your tits. So have you seen me on TV? Nope. Fucking whore. <laughs> I want to fuck her in the ass. What? Skanky hoe. Everybody, we're going to make some more tea in the house tonight. Thanks, Jeff. He's going to do two shots in a row because he's a big pussy. I want to fuck her in the ass. Oh. Skanky hoe. Come on. You gotta wake up, Jeff. I didn't. Even, I got a lot of hair. Jeff. Oh my God, did that hurt? <laughs> wake up, Jeff, before I fucking spray water. <laughs> what the fuck is the problem? The problem is you're sleeping by that bar. It's a place to drink, not sleep. Let's get up. Come on, let's go. Party's over. I'm giving you 10 seconds to pick your head up off the bar before I spray you with water. Bake it, bitch. You want you to bake it? Does that mean bring it on? Bake the fucking bar. 10, 9, Nine eight, seven, six, five, four. You really want to picture water over your head? Bake the beer. Bake. Bake the Budweiser, bitch. It's time, Jeff. Let me grab your nipple. No. You fucking bitch. 
I really want it so bad. You want me to sink your tip, don't you? Yeah, I so do. Damn. And look, this one's gonna shoot right out of it. Yeah! <laughs> you little bitch! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Calm the fuck down! You fucking whore! <laughs> Hey! Wake up, bitch! Goddamn. I told you. Hey, can you feel it in that arm? You fucking whore! <laughs> You're a cat chicken from way back. Aren't you proud of it? What t-shirt cost? <laughs> Are your nipples hard? You're Are you awake now, Jeff? Yeah. Are you Are you sure? Are you gonna put your head back down on my bar? Fuck you. Ah, oh, fuck you. Fuck you, you cunt. That's my favorite Stop. word. Did you know that? That's my favorite Stop. word. Are you gonna keep your head on the bar? Are you gonna keep your head off the bar? You my huh? head. Yeah, you want to keep your head on my ass. Cunt. <laughs> you want your head on my ass? Stop! All right. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> it's been a pleasure Christ. having you guys here tonight, but Jeff. Well, can we come back tomorrow? I won't be here, so come on. Here's your glasses. You gotta go. Fuck it. You gotta go. You're fucking drunk. You gotta go. Fuck you. No, fuck you and go. No, fuck you. Go you fuck. Put go. your cock in your hand and go fuck yourself and go. You gotta go. I'm gonna fuck you with the ass. Yeah, you would like to. And then you woke up next morning. Give come on, that, let's go. Give me that fucking thumb. Jeff, no, you gotta go. Right you gotta now. Go. You have to go. No. Now, yeah, now you have to go. No. There are some paper towels and go. You gotta go. Fucking cunt. Yeah, I love that one. It's so beautiful. I love the way it rolls off your tongue. Let's go. You gotta go. You're Where done. You're, you're done. done. I'm serious. You're done. Yes. Let's get this. I'm serious. Quit Let's first. go, baby. I'm for real. I'm serious. You gotta go. Jeff, you're done. You do. You're done. Go. I'm serious too. We'll pick your fucking ass off the seat and go. I want to Rocco! You heard. I need some help over here. This guy won't fucking go. He's really drunk. I want to fuck your ass, bitch. One bus stop and go. Are you going to kick me out there? No, I'm going to try to walk you out. Fuck you. I don't need your help. I understand it. You got to get away from me, dude. Fuck you, bitch. Look, should you stand up, I'll move. Fuck you, bitch. Look, stand up, I'll move. You fucking whore. Come on. Get Fuck you, quick. you great second cut. Oh, that's enough, boy. Let's go. Yeah, that's enough. Can you drive the, the light? Fuck the lunches. And fuck you. Look, fucking cut. Yeah. Here's two fucking dollars. Shove it up your fucking cut. You know what? I think you just well, need to Fuck you. Well, Fuck you. Fucking cut. Who the fuck do you think you are? Do that shit to me. <laughs> you fucking cut. Oh, he's crazy. Fuck her. Yeah, Merry Christmas to you. You fucking cop. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm fucking losing the love of Come I hope you're happy, fucking bitch. Oh, Merry Christmas. Fuck you. Fuck you. I hope you get it up the ass. I hope so too. You fucking cunt. You a cunt. Bye, man. Fuck off. Thank you so much. Thank Fuck you. Off, That's the best I had thing I've heard all year. Fuck off, cunt. Fucking whore. Good night. Good. 
I'm getting in a fucking cab, and I'm fucking leaving. Fuck that cut, and fuck you too. Get that fucking camera out of here. Out of here. Out of you! Don't touch the camera. Get us the fuck out of you! Don't touch it. Fuck you! Fuck you! Out of you! Jesus fucking Christ! Get out of here! Get the fuck out of you! I don't give a fuck. It's disgusting that that fucking fell with me. Get your own life, kite sucker. Get the fuck away from me. That's what. That's what's disgusting. Jesus fucking Christ. The, uh, no, we're good, right? So why are we so far into the street? We're supposed to walk a little bit? Step back? Can you step back? For we're second? good. Get the fuck out of my way. Move the fuck over. Move. 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 I swear to God. Get the fuck out of here. Fuck you, and fuck your camera. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking god sucker. Get the fuck out. Get out. I swear to God. Yo. Yo. Whoa. Because of your fucking camera. Get the fuck out of him. I swear to God, get the fuck out of him. Hey, get over here. I want to punch this fucking camera. Get the fuck out of him. You cunt sucker. Oh, fuck. Uh oh, he fell. He fell. Damn. Come on. Come on. I'm down. Deep, deep. Okay, hold on. the fuck out, you fucking bitch. Help me the fuck out, you god sucker. Help me the fuck out. Help no. Help me out. Help me out. Hey. Stop. Stop. I know. Stop. You. Help me the fuck up. You god sucker. I, can you hold on to me and I'll help you? No. You. Help me up. You fucking. Fucking god. Help me up, you cunt. I ain't getting up till you help me up. 
You fucking cunt. Fine. <laughs> Take all the pictures you want. Jeff? Yeah. Can I help you out, please? No. Why not? I want him to help me out. Remember what we, 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 we talked about when I said, if you ever needed help, you should accept it? He had to help me out. He has nothing to do with us. Bullshit. He please. has all to do with it. Please? Help me the fuck out! Okay. Help me the fuck out! Help me up! You great sucker! Help me up! I swear to God, I beat that camera if I could. What happened? It came out. I beat that fucking camera. You fucking cunt. No, you freaking cunt! Help me the fuck up! Help me up! Come you freaking bitch! Fuck you! I'm staying here! Come on! Come here! Come here, bitch! Help me the fuck up! I need a guy. Help me the fuck up. Just. Fight it. What did you say? Fight it. Please don't say that. Fight it. We have to make this up to the end. Come on, I need your help. I need no. your help. No. I need your help, Jeff. Jeff? No. They don't want to help me. Fuck them. You just get his arm over here. How you doing, buddy? Oh. How you making out? Well, well, it hurt you a little bit. Yeah, it was standing up straight. Do me a favor, guys. Put him over that one. Okay, hold on. 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 Hold Left, right, right. Left, right. right. Atta boy, a little there bit more. Move. Move. Come on, a little bit more. Keep going. Move. Move. A little bit more. Atta boy. Right. One more. Good boy. Atta boy. Atta baby. Atta baby. Atta baby. Jesus Christ. Right. Come here, we gotta sit him on the ground. 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 So that's gonna be on the ground. Right there. That's really Right there, buddy. Fuck it. That's the whole thing. Yeah. Don't lean back. Don't lean back. Yeah. Don't lean back. If you, if you lean back, you're gonna fall. Thank you. We're on the floor. We're on the floor? He's gonna fall on the floor in a minute. Good. Yeah, yeah, you gotta go. Ow, keep going. Thank you. Okay, dude. Thank you. Just rest yourself. Don't lean back on that, kiddo. You got it, you know. They got it. They gonna stand? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Whoa. Thank you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Anybody thinks that I'm quitting after this? No way. If they thought they, they had it wrong, that I was going to quit right in the middle of the street, they're wrong. For all I care, you can die handcuffed to my wrist. The only person that's not gonna die is my husband. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, I go in first. Got it? I'm gonna rest for five minutes. Let me take you rest. You know what? I need to pee. You know what? I don't care. Give me a bucket. I'm, I'm just gonna pull the pants down right here. Let him sleep. You gotta say the handcuffs up. Find your handcuffs. Can we go to the bathroom then? Hmm? Check. Thank you. Can I get some paper?
Please don't put something like. I'm not pissing you out of the way. Okay. I know it's that, but that does work. You're good to go. Hey, clean sheets there, Jeff. Seven o'clock is bedtime, god damn it. And fuck those lights. You know how hard it is to tell down a train? The drunken man. Thanks for I have, I have a good idea. We're gonna go to bed now. See you tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be Wednesday. Yay! <laughs> Oh, you should actually have a video. I know. But I have it.
She only wants to win. Want a thousand bucks? She's come to mom and a room of freaking sex. For four whole days and four nights too. We'll try to make it through. Stuck on you. Stuck on you, day three. Are you sure that's just a sling? That's the sling. <coughs> yep, that's it too. Nice. You need the foot shackles. Fuck this shit. Come on. Get the shackles. Foot shackles! Jesus fucking Christ. Foot shackles! My arm got bruised. My mm -hmm. wrist got bruised yesterday mm -hmm. when you fell on the tree. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, fucking my arm is killing me. Why fart and waste it? <laughs> Why fart and waste it when I could have burnt the taste? Chew. I think it's time. <laughs> Whoa, I've had enough of this. Stuck on You, the movie, the new comedy from the Farley Brothers. They gave us $20,000 to give away, and we were thinking that it would be funny to take Jeff Currow, Jeff the Drunk, and handcuff him for five straight days. Yeah, make somebody stay with Whoa. him for 24 hours a day, every day. And uh, it's, it's almost impossible. Because you think, well, that's not so difficult. But if you, when, when they air this on E, you will see just how mind-numbing it is. Here are my notes, and then I got some tape I can play you. Jeff's weed is so intense, Jenny catches a contact high and gets the giggle. <laughs> because she's sort of buzzed, they have a discussion, and Jeff decides that he needs to go bar hopping. Oh, no. And she agrees? They go to Red Rock West at around 2 p.m. Red Rock West is kind of like a hogs and heifers type place on the outskirts of the meatpacking district that is known as a very fun place. But uh, anyway, so from the beginning, Jeff is flirting with the bartender. <laughs> Pretty girl. Hey, she's playing along at first, you know, she's doing shots and all that kind of stuff. Jeff's flirting, however, basically consists of him telling the bartender to give him oral and asking if she's into anal. I want to fuck her in the ass. <laughs> Oh, that's his flirting? He also called her a bitch and a whore numerous times. <laughs> he wonders why he doesn't get women. And she was still being a good sport. Hello? Jeff. Yo. Jenny's on the phone, too. Hi, Jenny. Hi, how you doing? How are you? So we got to work out the situation when they call in. It's, yeah, it's getting the, the echo thing is Yeah, with the cell happening. phone and the regular phone. The guys, if, Sorry. We, could, if we Well, that's not your problem. Our technical guys should be paying attention. Well, we tried... We tried hooking up the ground, the ground phone. All right, listen to this. Listen to this. Hear both of us at the same time. After about two hours, Jeff was asleep with his head on the bar. He was told to pick his head up. He couldn't. The bartender immediately cut him off and asked him to leave. He fired back a bunch of F-words. Oh. After about five minutes, the bartender sprayed him down with water from the soda machine hose. He was soaked but still wouldn't leave. Wait till I play you the tape of that. <laughs> 
Next, they try to hail a cab for about 10 minutes. No cabs would stop for them. He's, He's cursing. He's out there freezing cold, yeah. wet. They walk across the street, and out of nowhere, Jeff basically collapses in the middle of the street. I got so mad at that. Then... There's a huge thump. His glasses flew off his head. <laughs> he remains in the middle of the street during rush hour for about a half an hour. Now he's collapsed in the middle of the street and screaming for help. <laughs> he wouldn't get up. Finally, he says, fine, I'm staying here. Jenny tries to move him, but he was literally like pinned to the concrete. Ugh. Finally, some people from the bar come out, pick him up, and place him on a garbage can on the corner of the street. Then Jeff spits at the camera after his fall. The footage is disturbing, compelling, and pathetic at all times, and it's really sad. Why are you spitting at the camera, Jeff? I don't recall that. After about 10 minutes of Jeff cursing at the camera, Jeff and Jenny got a cab and went back to Jenny's apartment. Jeff crashed on Jenny's bed. Jenny had to pee, but Jeff was immobile. <sighs> she wound up squatting on her bed and peeing into a margarine container while Jeff laid there passed out. Are you oh, kidding? Yes, I did. Oh. I had to go. Where did Jeff go? In the bed? I should have gone on your mouth. <laughs> prediction. Hey now. The prediction from watching the insane video is that Jeff probably will not be alive too much longer. Uh, that could be her only hope. Yeah. Why? I, yeah. I got to tell you something. When he passed out, I thought he was dead, and I said, she's going to have to drag him around for four days. Yeah. So let me play you some tape now. Dude, you're going to be dead. You are drinking. You don't do I'm this. I'm going to live. You don't do this. Than you. you think he has a year left, Howard? No. I don't think so either. I think it's months. Oh, Not yeah. after seeing this video. No, Jeff, do you do this every day? No. Oh, sure. All right, let me play you some audio. I think he's fine. Uh, <laughs> I'm fine, dude. All right, here's Jeff. <laughs> I'm fine, dude. Here's Jeff. And how good is this, Artie? It's, it's amazing. All right. There's no word. Robin, here start. is Jeff. All right. Doing shots and then puking. So he's sitting at the bar puking. He just pukes. He doesn't even make and, an attempt to get up and go anywhere. And that gimpy arm of him that's in the sling, it's covered in weird <gasps> juices. What do you and think? It looks like a piece of his lung or something. It's, uh, Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever gone to a doctor, Jeff? What for? What for? You probably have lung cancer, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you got something coming out of you. Are you in pain at all? Yeah. yeah. You are, right? Yeah. Where's the pain? My arm. No, I mean, where's the, where, like when you, like, like all that crap in your chest and. No. No pain? Not at all. Really? No. All right. Then the bar, t then he falls, this is the part where he falls asleep on the bar. Uh-huh. The bartender starts just spraying his face with water. It almost looked like an exorcism. Like just, and like, <laughs> like, like remember in the exorcist when. i you can laugh, Jenny. I mean, it was unbelievable. Jenny, are you going to make this? I mean, are you really going to stick this out? Yes. Wow. Howard, the most fascinating uh, thing about watching all I couldn't do it. Is yeah. that she, it's like she's a well, rock. It's like she's not even there. Like she's unfazed by Almost anything. Right. Is she drinking at the bar? Or? No. She just sits there. It's she like just sits there like in a coma. So she just has to be there. She evoked, uh, he got reaction from her once, which is some, from the clip coming up. All right. So now the bartender starts spraying him with water, and he starts cursing out the bartender, <laughs> who doesn't know what to do with him. Calm the fuck down. You fucking whore. Hey. Wake up, man. Calm down. I told you. Motherfucker! You fucking whore! You're a cocksucker from way back! You cocks! Are your nipples hard? Yeah. Are you awake now, Jack? Yeah! Are you, are you sure? Are you gonna put your head back down on my bar? Fuck you! Uh, fuck it, keep Stop. Your head the bar? Are you gonna keep your head off the bar? I'm gonna keep my head huh? here. Yeah, you wanna keep your head. Fucking cunt! 
Stop! Stop! I don't recall that at all. Stop! Really? I got to tell you something. So he's already blacked out. He's sitting at the bar. He can't even keep his head up. And she's just spraying him with water from the spritzer. Yeah, that the seltzer thing or something. Rub. And Bad stuff, dude. Then now Jeff goes out in the street, can't get the cab. He passes out. And she's just trying to drag him along. This is them hailing a cab. I swear to God. Yo! Yo! Whoa! She's attached at the wrist. And then he's and then Would he starts, you stop and pick them up? No, and he starts tugging on her and he goes, Come on, come on. <laughs> hey, get over here. Get over here, he oh, tells. So he just drags her wherever <laughs> he wants her to go. Get over oh, here, no. Jenny. Wait till you see the tape. I mean, you're gonna be this is the funniest thing you've ever seen. I haven't seen the movie Stuck on You, but if it's half as funny as this. <laughs> I want to punch this fucking camera. Get the fuck out of here. You cock sucker. <laughs> he just went down. That's where he goes down. He's now down. he's out. Now he's, he's unconscious in the middle of the street in Manhattan in rush hour. Help me the fuck out. <laughs> Help me the fuck up! Help me up! You great sucker! Help me up! At this point, most people would be battering oh Jeff. Yeah, God. most people would say, I, I don't care. Take the cuffs yeah. off. Yeah. I'm t I can't tell you what he looked like, what he smelled like, what was going on. Ugh. Help me laugh up. <laughs> Help me. Jenny, what are you on? Are you on some sort of narcotic that keeps you calm? No. Wow. It's amazing. Dude, I wouldn't last 10 seconds with you. Who, me? Yeah, you. Oh, oh, you're no, Jenny. oblivious. Do you, do you hear what you're like? Yeah. Wait till you see it, Jeff. You're going to be uh, shocked at what you did. Uh, it's all right. Oh. It's all good. <laughs> That's what I really can't stand. He's not even concerned that he's such a mess. <laughs> no, it's cool. <laughs> Has he made a duty yet? No. No. Me neither. Oh. You either, huh? But wait, Jeff, when you came in here, you claimed you hadn't gone in four days. I know. So, so it's now six days. So. Now it's six days. But that's, oh, man. That's the reason to go to the doctor right there. What's happening? Are you, yeah, what's that about? You're clogged or something. Six days. I'm clogged. Are you eating? Yeah. Does he look like he doesn't eat? Yeah, well, what do you eat? I'm going to have a steak today. <laughs> yeah, I got some London boil. <laughs> <laughs> How's he not going to the bathroom? <laughs> I don't know. Nothing's moving through that system. Yeah, it's not working. It's all shut down. All right, you two. We'll check in with you later. Good luck. Oh, yeah. Okay, so it's Wednesday morning. We just got off the phone with Howard. He asked us uh, how our day went yesterday. And uh, he laughed his ass off with uh, looking at the clips. That's it. Two down, two to go. We can do this. Can she hang in there? Question mark. Do you want to go to Iggy's? I know that they uh, open at 1 o'clock. Where's that? Remember yesterday? Yeah. We uh, called them up at 2nd Avenue. Oh, we did? Yeah, 2nd oh, Avenue. See, I don't recall. 76th right Street. Karaoke? I, I do, yeah, I know. I've never. Uh, well, today we're going to, to Iggy's. We're going to Iggy's. Karaoke. Nice. Take a dump. I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready. Uh, for cleaning this, I don't want to handle the phone because I gotta wipe my ass. I'm just leaving it right here. Okay, can I shut the door now? Oh. 
Come on, dude. You don't have to fucking film me taking a dump. They're going to fucking hear it. And you just have to fucking show that. That's all. There we go. Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Hello, Howard. Did you just make your bowel movement? Uh, yeah. I just had my... Oh. You're not doing it now. You just had one, right? I'm doing it right now, dude. Oh, go oh, ahead. in there with him. Where's uh, Jenny? She's I'm, where right is she? Here. She's right there. Here. Oh, Let me speak girl. to her. You want to talk to her? Yeah. Take the phone. How's it? Hey, Jenny. Hello? How's it smell? Oh, my God. I'm holding my nose. <laughs> no. I have the cat. I'm here. <laughs> I'm in my hands. Oh, you got to be skeeved out after all this time with him. Oh, my God. Remember that when he went to the show, he said he was four days clogged? Yeah. Plus two? Yeah. You do the math. How's he going to wipe? I don't know, but I'm not helping. I can smell him over the phone. No. Jenny, that's I'm not, hungry. it's a blister that burst. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> that blood is a, is a, are you crying? No. It smells. Does it smell really bad? Yes. Well, what would you imagine? Six days inside Jeff. <laughs> Hey, Jenny, I had a good one brewing. <laughs> <laughs> I think when he thunked his head on the ground, it knocked the crap out of him. <laughs> Man, you better stop feeding him. I know. He just had a hamburger. I think that's what did it. Oh, oh, oh. You know, I had, a, I had a banana for breakfast. Oh. I think he's hatching so an I, egg. So I, did, I, I went number two this morning, so oh. I, I, uh, I think that did it for me. But the hamburger just... Was it really bad going number two with him latched to you? Uh, yes. <laughs> hey, Jenny, that smells nice. <laughs> you know, Jenny, could... let me speak to Jeff. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Yeah. Are you done? <laughs> Almost, dude. Uh. Almost, brother. And what, what do you do? The, how much uh, did you fill up the whole bowl? Yeah, I will. Yeah, you get a courtesy flush. Or you're just gonna let her it smell. Might, it. it might be a five flusher evening. Oh. Five flusher. Oh. Five flusher. Oh. Maybe. And what do you wipe with? Like just three pieces of toilet paper? Or do you use like a whole roll? Uh, no. You know, like actually, this one's like a four square. Tonight I'll be using Jenny's sleeve. Ugh. I can't imagine the sloppiness with which he wipes because he only has that one hand. Right, and he can't, it doesn't have a good balance. I wipe fine, mother effers. He's making a duty iceberg right now. <laughs> All I've got left is Thursday's brunch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff, thank you for the okay, update. Okay, you All have right. a good one. You too. Bye-bye. I think the hung up. Now I can finish. Do you have enough toilet paper in there? Yep. I'm in the process of wiping. Sorry. Oh. You okay? Yeah. You throwing up? Huh? Yeah. Are you throwing up? No. It sounds like it. Once and 
I'd say at least a three punch. Just let me go. There you go. How was my head? Three fourths. Everything came out. Okie dokie. in the morning, you're stinking drunk, you're throwing up in the street, and I need something else to drink. What's the point? What's the motivation? Just, so you can do it again the next it's day. It's the way it is. It, does it bring you happiness? Oh yeah, extreme happiness. Okay, see, there you go, that's another story. Going. Hey, how are you going? Um, do you have any like glass pipes with that with no carburetor on them? No carburetor. I have something. Uh... Thank you. Thank you. Come back again. Where's the bathroom? Fuck you! Come on, shut the fucking door! Don't let his ass in! Big fuck, I'm taking the piss! 
Jesus Christ. I was with the fucking filming. Film my fucking asshole, you cocksucker. Zoom in on that shit. <laughs> nice. <laughs>《そのあとに、ま、たちょっと、今度は、ああ、そうだ。Joe. We're gonna do the squares today. Hollywood squares. I've got 50,000 tapes to get to, including uh, what happened last night 
when Jeff Carl got into a fist fight in a bar. When he was <laughs> and this morning he'll say he has no memory of it. Yeah, well, I got on tape, so. I'm going to punch the freaking camera. <laughs> That's it. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> no throwing up last night? Help me the F up. And yeah, that was the best yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I guess Jeff Carl was moving his bowels finally. <laughs> And poor Jen just just couldn't take the smell. Yeah. <laughs> she hated it. And she actually threw up. I believe that Jeff is that vile that somebody would throw up. <laughs> anyway, here's Jeff. I don't know how she's managing. Here's Jeff going to the bathroom. I'm coming out. You might want to use that spray. <laughs> She's spraying and breathing. And he's going. I, you know, this is all happening at the same time. Yeah, wait till you see this. They're going to run this on E. This will probably be a couple of nights in a row. And can you imagine that sickening sweetness combining with Jeff? Uh, oh. It was the stink of Jeff uh. and ass. And, and the sickening sweetness duty. of the spray. The That's spray. what I'm saying. That, that will make you sick. And then she starts puking, and uh, he never—he never even knows she pukes. She did. She puked. Oh yeah, here. Oh. I'll play it for you. This poor girl. Oh. <laughs> That's the real deal, man. And he didn't even know. How could he not know? Because he, cl like, they close the door a little bit when he's making his d oh, duty. Oh, so she's not right looking at him. Yeah, she she can, she, her leg is, like, stuck in the door, and it's it's just very uncomfortable to watch. Uh, hey, you throwing up? Huh? Huh? Are you throwing up? No. It sounds <laughs> like it. She says no because she doesn't want to hurt his feelings. She's embarrassed to yeah. tell him. But he's not embarrassed to do anything. I'd tell him. How many times do you think Jeff has said to a woman, are you throwing up? See, he's used to that sound. <laughs> Didn't even surprise him. I have heard that before. I can <laughs> identify that sound. You got to get up pretty early to fool me, bitch. Good morning, my I see Jeff the drunk up in the right hand square. He's chained, actually handcuffed to Jennifer. They've been handcuffed since Monday's show. Jennifer trying to win twenty thousand dollars. Jeff, what happened? You got in a fist fight last night at the bar, huh? It wasn't my fault, dude. Right. <laughs> and uh, what do you do during that, Jennifer, when he's having a fist fight? I just go with the flow. Yeah. Now, what happened when he when he made his first duty in front of you? You vomited, right? Yes, I did. Yeah. And uh, let me ask something else. <laughs> Let's have some applause, yeah. please. Yeah. Do you two like each other at all? I wouldn't mind having it. <laughs> do you like each other at all? Yes. I'm getting. He's growing on me now. <laughs> you mean literally? <laughs> yeah, like like a fungus. Mold, right? <laughs> Jeff, what's that big hole in your throat? Is that from a tracheotomy or something? Yes, it is. I would never noticed that you know, before. I'm getting emphysema. <laughs> Why the did reason you I asked the question was because d during the breaks, they don't even look at each other. They look in opposite directions. They don't even participate in the same conversation. Yeah, it's really bad. Jeff, um, has it been hard for you to be handcuffed to Jen? Extremely. Yeah. And um, why is it so hard? What can't you do? It's just every freaking thing, dude. Mm -hmm. Everything. Jen, I notice you move away from him. Does he smell that bad? Yes. When he talks? Mm-hmm. Can, can I ask a question? <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, Jen, does he fart a lot during the day? Yes, he does. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> What's the matter, Jen? I see you complaining. What's wrong? He just did one right now. He farted? Oh. <laughs> uh. Has this contest been torture? Look at her. She's already yes. It oh, is torture. Her head just went down. You think you're going to be able to make it till Friday? 
the last hour is always the worst. Right. I feel for you. I do. I know you threw up. What was it? Was it this smell of ash mixed in with Jeff, mixed in with... Um, Everything. Duty. Everything. Everything. It's horrible. How, how many duties has he made in front of you so far? One. Yeah. Thank but God. But it was a, a six-day-old one. Not to mention, <laughs> yesterday he passed out in the middle of the street, and she had to drag him. a tape him. measure on that. All right. Hi, uh, this is Jenny. Jeff the drunk here. We just uh, got off at uh, from doing Hollywood Squares. It was great. Hollywood Squares. Whores, assholes, Gays. and faggots. Too much. So what are you going to go do now? Drake, I got some killer bud. One more day. Hey, Gary, would you like to be handcuffed to Jeff? Not to him, but her. Why not him? Cause See, he finds me attractive. <laughs> Why? Why not him? Cause not, no, not him, but her. What's wrong with him? I don't know, I've never seen him before. This is my first time seeing this old man. I saw you before. Yeah, on TV, but not in life. Yeah. No, you have not. Oh, uh, no, I saw you, Gary. No, you haven't. Remember, you're the retard. I'm not the retard, but I'm always on TV, but this is my first time meeting you. No, I met you before, you dumbass. Hey, don't come here, dumbass. <laughs> I met you at Atlantic City, the bikes and match. <laughs> Were you there? No. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? In Atlanta City. The bikes are mad. The crazy cab. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. That's been a long time. Oh. <laughs> well, I saw you there. Yeah, no, what? I heard you on the radio. You fell out in the middle of the street. I, heard I did? On the radio. Yeah, I heard it on the radio on Monday. Uh, I did? I heard, yes, you fell out in the middle of the street with a bunch of traffic. It was an accident, dude. Probably had too much of this to drink. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. That's Jeff. Uh, hello, hello Jeff. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing fine. Should have a beer or something to drink. I should, should I not? Yeah. She had. Um, I had two shots last night, though. Oh, two shots. Hey, you know what? When I went to Las Vegas, I got totally drunk. I'm, Speaking I'm of hungry. shots, I got to take a shot. Uh -oh. Wait, I'm yeah. talking to, to Gary on. and Wendy. <laughs> I'm talking to Gary and Wendy. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on a minute, Jeff. Oh. Hold on a minute. Well, no, she no. wants to get in the polling car. I'm anxious. <laughs> out of the bar, <laughs> then we'll go to another bar, let's say karaoke bar, then we get a big brawl, then we'll get 69 out of that one, then we'll probably come home at about 3 o'clock, see you tomorrow morning, 6.30, 13 hours left, buddy. How do we do this? Come on. That's Dominican rum. That's this is for my country. It's it's, it's you can do, we can do shots. I ain't doing shots ever again. Come on, let's do it. I ain't doing it. Come on, let's do it. Come on. I think I smell it pussy. I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't drink I think I smell it pussy. Why do you want to drink the rum? I'm going to a bar. With people. Hello. Goodbye. Cut. 
in cut. What the fuck? I said cut. Cut! Shut the fucking thing off. Okay, just drive up. Wherever. Till you see a bar. Then you can just let us off. Wherever. Just go. Straight. Please. Why not? You have to give him a Um, okay. We want to find a bar around, that's all. What are you gonna kick us out? A bar, you know, alcohol, liquor, pool, hee-haw. Looking for a bar. It's a bar Ah, oh, the search. Hello, mother effers. We finally found a friggin' bar. And we're gonna start drinking immediately. We'll be back. I got an idea. You know what I'm thinking? Fuck the ketchup. I'll take the baby one. No, 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 go this way. Just hold on. Don't yank it. Sorry. Don't yank it in the bathroom. <laughs> My eyes are so high on the floor. Oh, wow. Yeah, get up, dude. Get up. Get up, get up. Get out of the way. Get out of here. Get out of here. I don't want that. I don't fucking want it. I pour it out. Yeah, you pour it down your throat. Just to check you. Still the fifth seal. We got some coke fucking head. I went to the bathroom with some coke fucking head. We're chugging on my beer. I said, hey buddy, keep it and get the fuck out. See, look at that motherfucking tank can. Step right behind us to pick up some bitch. That shit don't happen when I'm in the fucking city by myself. I raise my hand, get up right fucking there. Out of here! Get out of here! Just get the fuck away from me, all right? Right here. Fuck you! Let's go. Take a cabbie, can we go? Just leave. Go, right. go, Whoa. let's go. Don't stop, Cabby. Those dudes are crackheads. They're crackhead bitches. What just happened there, Jeff? Back, back, sit back. Those crack niggas were fucking with us. Suckers. What did they do, Jeff? They whipped the beer at us because I told them to get the fuck out of my fucking face. Trying to tell me how to fucking hell I can. I know how to hell I fucking can. Control your own people, Robin. Twelve forty-five. And I say we'd be home by one. You were right. Nice. We're all done tomorrow morning. So we did uh, some walking, looking for some bars. Finally, we got a place that would accept us. We found a little mid midship on the way. 
Because it's crackhead nigger through a fucking bar. What's the, what, what's the word? Crackhead nigger. Uh, say it again. Nigger. Again? Nigger. Again? Crackhead nigger through a bar of ovens. And fucking good thing he didn't make it through the window. Because <laughs> I would have kicked his ass personally. <laughs> I would have used my other hand. <laughs> I would have used this hand and that hand. And I would have given him two black guys at once. <laughs> Scumbag. Crackhead bitch. Jenny wants to win. Want a thousand bucks? She's come to mom and the room of freaking sex. For four whole days and four nights too. Will Jenny make it through? Stuck on you. Stuck on you, final day. It's a lovely morning. <laughs> it's your final morning together. How are you guys feeling? Kind of messed you. Tired. <laughs> 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 Two hours to go. Having my morning coffee. I'm having my morning soda. With a cigarette. And a bowl. $20,000 courtesy of a Stuck on You contest. It's in its last day. It's amazing that this woman, Jen, made it through. I was just reading a note from Isaac. Isaac is uh, one of the guys from E who actually shoots, holds the camera and shoots the... Yeah, he's been with them all week as well. I read a note from him, and it was amazing. He goes, when I first found out I was going to be covering the Stuck on You shoot with Jeff Carroll, I was actually looking forward to it. I like Jeff. I think he's a riot whenever he's on the show. Plus, I'd be outside of the office, and it would be a change of pace, you know, to do something different. After three 12-hour shifts with Jeff Caro, I feel like I've been through a war. Oh. <laughs> Following Jeff Caro around New York City is like riding a bull in a China store. <laughs> Jeff is an immense danger to himself and everyone around him. Jeff will not hesitate to call anyone a sea sucker. Within three minutes of meeting a woman, he will call her either a bitch, a slut, or a hoe. Fucking horse, skaggy hoe. In a way, he's lucky that he's handicapped. If he talked all that trash without the handicap, he'd probably be beaten to a bloody pulp on a daily basis. There's Isaac. You all right, man? I heard they had to pull you off. You were getting so affected. It was, it was beyond reality. You mean he can't do it anymore? It was too real. We took him off. Wow. You're kidding. You know how in Vietnam sometimes they had to pull you out? Yeah, he's in uh, shock. We had to pull this kid out. It was too traumatic. You couldn't deal with it. Saving it Private Isaac. <laughs> you freaked out, I heard. I, I was just, I was completely like broken down mentally and physically. Well, anyway, wow. today is the last day. I have some tape from yesterday. So, uh, you know, they were here for- I wish I could have, you know, I know I couldn't have stood it, but I wish I could have seen several hours of it myself. Yeah. It's kind of scary because on any, when, as soon as he leaves like an apartment, anything can happen with him. Anything. But you never know. It's a time bomb. He doesn't have uh, like that sort of, he has no fear. All right, so yesterday, after Hollywood Squares, I guess, you know, they were hanging out around here, and Jeff immediately had to get weed, <laughs> like, that, that, like so you say. So now Jenny's got to go score with him? Yeah, I don't know how, or he had weed or whatever, right? He had some weed. Yeah, he had a Oh, he, had he a bowl, brought a supply. Bitch. He bought a bowl. Look at my bowl, bitch, Doug. And yeah. it's, like, it's like a naked woman on the ball, and I was like, so, I'm out of here. So he's smoking right after Hollywood Squares his weed. And then he goes into one of his coughing fits. And when he does this, he has no regard with the f for the fact that someone is shackled to him, you know, that her arm is going up in the air and flailing around. It's unbelievable. Oh no. Oh. We can have it on for a week. I'm looking at a week. Oh. He's asking about the E show. We can have a week's worth of shows. 
keep coughing like this, we will. I'm all right. <laughs> Seriously. Seriously. Is he worried there won't be enough shows? So can I t- He's talking like an executive. We're looking at a week. Well, then, um, I guess Jeff sees Gary the retard and wants to talk to him. But he, he, you could hear he jerks so fast that Jenny just collapses and falls down on the ground. Oh, no. <laughs> she doesn't even realize that she's attached to him. Hey, you know what? When I went to Las Vegas, I got totally drunk. I'm, Speaking I'm of hugging. shots, I got to take a shot. Later. Wait, I'm yes. talking to, to Gary on. and Wendy. I'm talking to Gary and Wendy. Wait a minute. Wait. Oh, 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 oh. down. Oh, 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 oh. Hold on a minute, Jeff. He forgets that she's tied to him. <laughs> Gary the retard even knows to yeah, wait. Yeah, hold it, Jeff. So what do you think? Jeff? Look at the temperament on her. She he, she just got dragged to the ground, and what does she say? She just screams for a second. Ah. Yeah. yeah she's like, no, ah. She doesn't yeah. say, what are you doing, you she idiot? She just puts up with him. So then Jeff goes out again. This is like the, every night he goes out to a bar. Yeah. And uh, he'll be sitting there drinking, of course. And then if anybody gets in his way of anything, he starts to curse him out. So what was it? Some some black dude sat down and accidentally touched his beer? No, I think, were you on this shift? This was Adam. Adam would have a better story. So the story, story as as best I know, is that there's like, they went to an area where there's a bunch of crackheads. Mm -hmm. So they went in the bar and I guess uh, this crackhead was just like scoping through the window of the bar and he saw like an empty beer on the table. So he walked in Uh and he starts drinking Jeff's beer, which, oh Oh. boy. Get up, dude. Get up. Get up, get up. Get out of the way. I don't want that. I don't fucking want it. I pour it out. Yeah, you pour it down your throat. But you don't know that the guy was a crackhead. No, I mean, that's, right. I'm going by, you know, quoting Jeff the drunk. Yeah, Jeff yeah. says these guys quoting are crackheads. Yeah. Anybody who interferes with him is a crackhead. You crack him. He's got a thing about, he, crackheads are bad. Yeah, crackheads Alcoholics are bad. Alcoholics are fine. <laughs> so then Jeff starts fighting with the black guy. But he did, it is confirmed, he did come off the street and just sit down at Jeff's table and start drinking his beer. Well, most people would be just like, you know what, I'm getting out of here. This right, is creepy. this is a bad area. Yeah. Imagine being chained to him Ugh. for 24 hours a day for five straight days. All right, just hang here. I'm going to send Ronnie out to come get you, okay? You need to run out the bit to me and be a little bitch. Because that's all you are, Ronnie, you asshole. Fuck you. What's going on, guys? Morning. Going in. Setting our bags down, waiting to be uh, called in to be in check. We did it. We did it. We, we did, did it. it. How happy are you? Yeah. We are so happy. Hello. She only... is so happy. What, you want to stay with her? I mean, she's getting real money. You know, I'm just. You know. What, are you, are you bitter now about it? More yeah. than What, are you being bitter? Oh, no. Hello. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for the last time, linked together, courtesy of Stuck on You, the new comedy from the Farrelly Brothers, it is Jen and Jeff the Drunk Caro. I wonder if this will be like separating real Siamese twins. You know, sometimes the twins can't stand the separation. <laughs> they are leg shackled as well as hand shackled for, for the, the final last moments. Time. As they saunter in. They've learned to get along uh, together pretty well. They know how to move. Jen looks exhausted, trained, beat. I read you a memo from Isaac, who is a cameraman on the E! crew. He said he could only last three days filming them, that Jeff was one of the most abusive human beings on the planet. And he didn't do it 24 hours a day. He just did a shift. Isaac's memo was nothing short of horrible. He's a so, little bitch. It was actually eloquent. <laughs> that mother effer. Because yes. it described how horrible it is to live with Jeff. It's it am- brought us into the horrible world of <laughs> Jeff Carr. It's amazing to see how two people can sort of get along after a few days together, because I already see that they have like a, a little thing going. Yeah, mm. they have a way. Yeah, here's what happens. It's time to get up. <laughs> she immediately reaches into the bag, pulls out a beer, and hands it to him. Then it's her job to stand up and pull Jeff out of the seat by the handcuff. I'm a good Samaritan. 
Jen, can you describe this experience for us? But let me just say that, um, Please get close to the microphone where all of America waits. I just want to say if Jeff wanted to change... Get Please get, you of, get on the microphone, yes. If Jeff wanted to change and stop drinking and stop smoking, I would Shut volunteer... Shut up, you bitch. I would, <laughs> I would volunteer to nurse him to health. Wow. <laughs> Do you really like Jeff? Once you get to know him, he's a great guy. I mean, I don't understand what the problem is with all you people. <laughs> what? 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 <laughs> yeah, you people are freaking nuts. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something. You saw Jeff vomit. You saw, you, you smelled Jeff. I didn't vomit. You saw Jeff get into fights. You saw Jeff pass out in the middle of the street, and you could say, "What's wrong with us?" T take your hand off that mic. Yes. And, and what? It, why, why, what do you mean? What's wrong with us? You had to have been. I, you said yourself you threw up while attached to him. Is yeah. this hostage syndrome? I it's think it is. It's, it's that Stockholm syndrome. syndrome. Yes, syndrome. I, I think I do have that. You, again. you think what? Tell me. <laughs> Are you in love with Jeff? No, <laughs> no. Are you finding yourself falling for him? No. Are you going to be worried about him when he's not attached to you this evening? No. He fell for you several times. I know that my arm, <laughs> my, my right arm is going to feel like different. Right. You're constantly attached to him. Has this been exciting? <laughs> there were highs and lows. <laughs> Jeff, do you realize when you drink, her hand has to go way up in the air? You don't even give her a warning? No, he doesn't. He doesn't realize. I, I consciously made half of my body just, like, be not his, his totally. But, um, so he can do whatever he has to do, and I just, like, in my other world. Okay. My left side. Jeff. Yeah. You hear your cough played back. You hear your health is going. It, it, it's, it's deteriorating, isn't it? Yeah. Are you concerned about death? No. You look death and laugh at it. It's not. Or do you look forward to it? It's not going to happen, he says. Oh, you're in denial. Okay. Jeff, has this been hard for you? No. How do you feel about being freed, liberated from the handcuffs? I feel fantastic. Aren't you going to be lonely? No. What's, what are these one-word answers? Are you about to cry? No. What is well, going I think, on? I think, he, I think he is. You think he's going to cry? Because he was in a nice home. I mean, like... Jeff. Jeff, are you going to miss her? I no. think he is. What's going on? I've never seen you like this. Can, I'm right can you see it? Right? Wait a second. You can see it. Yes, I see it in his eyes. I'm right over... What's going on, pal? No, because... What? Say it. Tell me. <laughs> You're crying. What's wrong? Uh, I'm all right, dude. Did you Aww. fall in love with Jen? <laughs> Tell me what's going on right now. I want to know. Jeff has changed. Jeff, what happened? Everybody's just talking shit to me, man. Don't say the S word. <laughs> See, that's what I told you. Why you guys do this? Shane, crying. you're crying. What did we do? Jeff, you are crying and Jen is crying, and I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> Somebody help me. This is. <laughs> 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 Jen, why are you cry Why is anyone crying here? Jeff, why are you crying? I'm not. You are. You're, wow. you're choked I up. Have no, it's I no have shame. No tears. No tears. Then talk to me and tell me what's going on. Face. Jeff, do you feel picked on? Uh, immensely. Jen, why are you crying? I'm <gasps> crying for him. You feel sad for him. They are like Siamese twins <laughs> now. <laughs> you are crying hysterically. She feels his pain. You be I do. <laughs> Tell me about it. Tell me his pain since he can't articulate it. <laughs> well, the first day I know that we didn't go out, so I tried to talk to him to see how the next four days were going to be, right? Yeah. Um, I knew that was going to be just fine. I even offered to cut his hair the first day, and he said no. He doesn't want any help because since, this woman everybody, is since everybody is, like, rejecting him. and Jeff, this woman is so good to you. She's showing you real love, isn't she? Yeah. He's on my Christmas card list now. Oh, no. <laughs> that touches you, doesn't it, Jeff? Yeah. No I one is ever nice to you, are they? You never send me a card out. I don't. But this woman has never. just... This woman is crying for you. Take a look at her. I want you to look I at her. See. No, you're not. You, you you're won't look at her. Howard. I hear. There's someone who fell in love with you. And you're still worried about Howard. 
Look at the person who cares about you. She cares about you. What do you want me to say, dude? Say something. Don't you care about her? You're about to leave her. Yeah. Say something nice to her. If you can bring yourself to do it. Look at her and tell her what she means to you. I just, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful to Jeff because if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have the money that I, that I, that I need. That's it's oh. all right. Don't cry. Don't cry. Come on. <laughs> to have gotten very close. To have gotten close. You have made a friend, haven't you? I made a friend, Howard. She doesn't even like it when we pick on you, Jeff. Jeff, no. no one in your entire life has been good to you, have they? You always feel like, why couldn't I have something for myself? Maybe things could have been differently. And look at this woman. She's the parent you never had. Isn't she? My mother's good to me. Too. But look at this woman. Yeah, his mother. He and and but I, do you I, feel I've heard love? I talked to his mom. He's he's a great son. Do you feel love now? Yeah. This is amazing. He's a great son. Yeah. <laughs> wow. He always. Uh, I, I, I asked. Then him I'm a terrific want. son. <laughs> You're incredible. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I am a good son. <laughs> <laughs> You're a good son. You stay home I'm and drink all day and smoke weed and and don't work. Come on. You're still a good boy. You, <laughs> you get into fights. Good you generate Lord. no income or what little you do. All right, drink. all right. It, it has nothing to do with income, you know. If what is this face you're making? Are you going to throw up? Arm, Your no. arms hurting? Yeah. All right, let's unhook them for, for once. I can't take it anymore. I don't even want to see him unhooked. I, I think you two should stay what hooked. Jeff is going to lose here. I think Jeff is upset that he's getting unhooked. I think Jen is. Jen, are you upset you're getting unhooked in a way? No. We all have to, you know. Will you stay in touch with Jeff? You know what, this, my address you know what this reminds me of? The movie Swept Away. <laughs> you brought out the heart in Jeff. And Jeff's brought out the heart in you. What a fabulous Christmas story. I'm shocked at this outcome. <laughs> I don't even know what's happening. I don't either. I mean, this is amazing. There's tremendous tears. Oh, my God. Does it feel good to have the cuffs off? You are finally separate. Uh, <laughs> the burp of freedom. Well, Jen, let me uh, reward you now. This check that Baba Booey now holds up represents $20,000 from this movie Stuck on You that opens today, the new comedy from the Farrelly Brothers starring Matt Damon and Greg Kinnear in theaters. Getting very good reviews, by the way. And you know firsthand what it's like to be right. stuck to somebody. Yeah. Will you go see the movie Stuck on You? Now that of course I will. Yes. 20000 How will you use the money? Well, first of all, like I told in the beginning, I will use the uh, money to get my uh, husband to see a doctor. And I will also buy some furniture. As you might have seen the footage. Uh, yes. I don't have any furniture. And right. Jeff but yet you bro Jeff broke one of my my chairs. One of the few chairs you had. <laughs> Jeff. Nice. I only had two chairs left, and I was down to one. The one that he was sitting in. <laughs> right. And your son got along with Jeff, okay, huh? Oh. Oh. Uncle Jeff. Yes, Uncle Jeff. He that touches bonded. you. Jeff, do you think you want to stay in touch with the family? Sure. You'll come visit. Oh, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Oh, boy. Wow. Well, Jeff. It's amazing. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Jeff was paid for the promotion as well. Well, you know what? I It took a lot for Jeff to be there for all this week. Well, what else did he have to do? I don't know. <laughs> Let's be honest. I think Gary's going to cry now. No, no. I was going to say, Jeff didn't really do anything that he wouldn't usually do. It didn't slow him down a bit being handcuffed to her. No. Not much. Not I much. Just <laughs> I just went along. I saw a pool. <laughs> you did? Well, did let me just congratulate you. Uh, Jen, I uh, hope your husband... And what is wrong with your husband? Do we know? Yeah, the... Um, he has heart problems, and right. uh, he needs a heart transplant, but uh, the waiting list is long. So Take Jeff's. He doesn't need it. <laughs> I don't think it's working. <laughs> you don't think it's yeah, working? Yeah, that, that wouldn't be any help. <laughs> yeah. yeah, he needs a heart transplant. Jeff has a heart. Maybe you can work that out. Um, all right. So you're going to get some furniture? Yes. Hopefully your husband will get better. Yes. And it all works out. Yeah, I would try, try to wrap off my heart. If her husband dies, would you marry Jen? No. No. You don't love her? No, not from. No. Not 
We never had to be a couple like we like never that. had no intimacy involved. In no, mm. what? Not true. <laughs> there was no, no intimacy in- involved. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> only, from the, only from peep. the heart. Only from the heart. I never peep once. Right. That's true. Did you See pleasure you yourself God. while you were uh, connected to her at all? He only no. had the, the good hand, so I would, if he if he would try, I would. You would yank his hand away. I would yank his hand away. I'm surprised <laughs> that Jeff is awfully subdued. Dude, I'm subdued, dude. <laughs> <laughs> He's a subdued. I'm a subdued dude, dude. I'm a subdued dude. I can do it with you. I'm a cockadoodle dude. <laughs> you smoke weed this way? How much weed does this guy smoke? Well, he made it last. I the, the had ones 10 that, doobies. Yeah, he made it last. <laughs> wow. He smokes a lot of doobies. I was and then there's cigarettes in between the doobies. Dude. Oh, yeah. 10 dude in five days. <laughs> full, full. I usually do five in one day. Wow. Hello. I don't <laughs> smoke too much. <laughs> <laughs> I never got a card from you, Howard. I didn't hey, either. don't feel bad, Jeff. Neither have we. I'll never. still be waiting in the mailbox. <laughs> All right, you two kids. I'll Congratulations. Come first. Yeah, uh, Jen, good for you. Twenty thousand. I know you need it badly, and uh, thanks to stuck on you, and thanks to Jeff. The I, drunk Caro. I think okay. Jeff and Jen have to understand that we we do like Jeff. Of course, that's why we have. We him love here. Jeff. But okay. Jeff is a pain. He's 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 a pain in the ass. With. Okay. He's but you have to have a little more patience. I already got kicked <laughs> out. Oh, yeah, we sure. got a show to do. We'll yeah. never get on. Buddy, I got a life. I got my I got my own problems. <laughs> All right, good good luck to you, Jeff, and uh, you, I know we'll be hearing from you. And Jen, uh, keep us posted on what you do with the money. Thank you. All right. Um, Congratulations. Thank you, Rob. Okay. I'm going to come. Okay. I just want to. May I say one thing? We had a whole segment for you to say something. You didn't open your mouth. You You cried like a baby the whole time. I want to say one thing. Go ahead. Robin? Yes. Merry Christmas. Thank you, Jeff. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Jody. Merry Christmas. Fred, Merry Christmas. Christmas to you, man. And Merry Christmas, Benji. Oh. Oh, it's a it's a Jeff Carroll Christmas. It? <laughs> it's a Jeff Carroll Christmas special. It's a Jeff oh. Carroll Christmas. And Tom. And just to make it more Christmassy, yeah. uh, Tom, just let me know. We have a new uh, sponsor on the show called The Door Store Furniture. Yeah. They're going to give Jen $2,000 worth of furniture. Wow. Oh. Thank you. Wow. Oh, whoa. That made me cry. It made you cry. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this. That's touching. <laughs> That's very nice. The door store with another two grand there. Wow, Jen. Have a great Christmas. You too. So, um, I'm just, I'm so thankful for everything that I've gotten. It was, really? It's like the best Christmas present ever. You really kind of had a breakdown. Though. Yes, I did. I mean, being on the show, Harry, Harry is the greatest guy in the whole wide world. Robin, I love you. Thank you, Jeff, for putting up with me. I mean, like, what can I say? I'm ready to go home now. Sit on that side, please. Because, you know, I've never seen her on that side. She might <laughs> have a bigger tip. You my other side now. <laughs> It feels different being on this side. Oh my God. Oh. It really does feel like we're here. Woo. Wow. Guys. Yo. What happened in there? None. Just talked about our time. Just talked, really. You both cried. Yeah. You didn't see one tear coming down this face. You were just, he all. was just speechless, okay? Talk to me about the emotion that went on there. Why are you so emotional? That's why I am. I'm a very emotional type of guy. I can't help it. Jenny? I'm I'm just the same. I mean, I'm I'm, I'm glad I went went on and did the show. Well, congratulations! You won twenty thousand. Yeah, congratulations! You made it through the whole ordeal with Jeff. Thanks. Jeff? Yeah. You were a pain, but congratulations. Thank you. Chip a click just for you, bitch. Mother ever. Since the second year show ended, I have had a little bit more of a cushion with the money that I won. Um, it really helped me emotionally because I let 
it all out. My emotions were a little raw at that moment because I was physically and mentally stressed. But um, my uh, money has made me grow into a better person, I guess. <laughs> what I've been able to do with the money that I haven't been able to do before was I have taken cabs all over the city before you have to ride more of the bus. Um, I don't have to cook as many meals as before. I can order today, Monday, Chinese. Uh, su uh, Sunday, I can do top thigh. Uh, Saturday, just on and on. So you wanna know what I bought with my winnings? Well, at the entrance, I did put this nice new rug, just a little centerpiece there. I did have come over here. When you have money, then you can buy sushi. Something that I didn't have in my refrigerator before. We'll enjoy this later. And now I do have my little wine rack up here. You just have to have wine. And I also have shrimp. Because you have to have the shrimp with the sushi. Oh, I also did get this nice nifty phone for the kitchen. Look how gorgeous that is. It just kind of like matches with the chrome theme in the kitchen. Here at the entrance is my beautiful sideboard that I got courtesy of the door store. And they also gave me this beautiful dining room table along with the chairs. Look how sexy that is. The nice X. And I also got a living room so if you can remember I was sitting right here all the time with Jeff. And I did get those uh, tea light candle holders kind of like shoji screen type thing. Bonsai. I got this nice telephone. Because you know you do have to talk in style with other people. Altogether this living room set was $3,000, including the telephone, the flower decorations. And let's walk over to my son's room. I got him some toys. I got him some new clothes. Um, if you can recall, I did keep the chair that Jeff sat. I'm thinking about spray painting it gold and kind of like keeping it sacred and, I don't know, saving it as a memento. I don't sit in it much. Didn't do much here, but the rug is new. And I did get him, you know, I buy better things for my son now. Bubble bath and this is, I buy better laundry detergent branding now. That's it. Besides all the material things that I've bought, I feel just that I'm a strong person now. It really brought out, I guess, the best in me. I didn't know that I had all that strength in me. Milk, crate, marauder. Yes, Jeff the drunk. Hey now. Good morning. Good morning. I still feel the handcuff around my wrist. Yeah, well, you had it on there for five days. Oh, my God. It's like numb. Yeah, probably have permanent damage. Yeah, Yeah, that's the only thing you feel. Yeah, I love that he feels that. Why else would you be numb? You don't but, feel the, the ache of hitting the sidewalk. How about when your head when you slammed? you passed out. The two times you passed out during the week and your head slammed into the ground. <laughs> you don't feel that? No, my head's fine. <laughs> I don't recall that. I don't recall that really. I don't. Hi, boy, you were, that was a weird ending to that contest, the yeah, $20,000 stuck on you contest. Um, I, I got to tell you, it, it was so peculiar that he started crying. I know. She started crying. He started crying. He wasn't talking. It's weird. Which is odd for Jeff. He's always talking. No tears came down my eyes. Oh, uh, dude, it's don't be funny. embarrassed. You got. You know what it was? I think like you're so used to no one loving you or caring about you that this woman. 
I, I mean, everyone's convinced she's in love with Jeff. No, what it was, it wasn't that. What was it then? It was, she brought me down, dude. She brought you down. <laughs> oh, she brought man. Me down. Your usual How did stuff. she bring you down? I'm usually a cheerful person. Oh, no. Ooh. But she brought me down, man. How did she bring you down? She started crying hysterically. But why did you cry? I was I was emotionally drained <laughs> at that moment of time. <laughs> hey Jenny. Yes. Hi. Hi. Good morning, Howard. I've never you you cried out in our hall even after you were on the air for about a good twenty five minutes. Yes, yes. Um. Uh. I had. I know that I wasn't very verbal, and I just had to collect my thoughts since I'm a right handed. Uh. I uh, couldn't do. Uh, some writing because it was attached to Jeff, but um, I wrote it down and it, I know that if you give me the opportunity to say what I have to say, um, go ahead, say it. Okay, so here it goes. If love, fortune, and fame were personified, and only one is allowed to be invited to your home, who would you invite in? If you can recall the contestants in the panel, some chose fortune. And I asked myself, how long would the $500 last without love? The 19-year-old that snuck in yeah. chose fame, and the spotlight quickly faded. I chose love, because when you choose love first, fortune and fame will follow. Jeff, the crew, and the audience being love came in. So fortune, which was my reward for enduring, I received. And fame is Howard, who I give thanks for letting me have all three. Your audience loves you so much, Howard, and you love us back by giving us all these characters. Wait a second, wait a second, wait you, a second. You now have all three. Wait a second. Mm -hmm. This is BS. No, it's not, Howard. <laughs> what? I enjoy why it were you of love. Why were you crying? And be, be honest. Why were you crying at the end of that contest? Because, I mean, Jeff was touched by love, and, uh, yeah. and he endured all of this because he did it for you, Howard. Yeah. Well, he did it for money, too. Well, I, I did it because I, I needed the money, and I had to choose love first. That will, will be followed by all... But what about uh, the crying? What were you crying about? I'd have been so happy to be unleashed from Jeff. I can't imagine you had the tears of it. The amazing thing was, as Robin says, any normal person would have been so happy to be unleashed from Jeff. You cried out of sadness to be unleashed. Well... In truth, I was giving burial to my father in that sense because he was also like Jeff and... He was an alcoholic. Yes, exactly. Oh, I get it now. Now, that makes sense to me. Uh -huh. See, oh. her, her father was an alcoholic. It was yeah. almost like being chained to her father right. for a week. And maybe she could have saved him. Maybe if she loved him more. Was, she, was he as, as, as in much pain as Jeff? And she, it was his bad off? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I mean... He, that thought only came into action after, like, the very last day. Yeah. All right. Well, whatever. We'll never get to the bottom of it. Yeah, I don't think they can articulate what really went on there for them. But no, they that, can't. That was wild. Did you spend any money yet? No, I haven't. Good. Yeah, you're, you're a sweet well, I, woman. I did because my glasses broke, so uh, I uh, I got, got them repaired. Hey, Jeff. Mm -hmm. yeah. You broke down and cried because... Dude. You were losing to someone who loved you. You, you were going to be alone no, again. No, because I was emotionally drained at that point. No, Jeff. Yeah, you were emotionally drained. Your emotions were coming out, actually. This is the first time you felt anything in a long time. No. Oh, man. You, I'm you, not lying, dude. No, nah, I know you're not, but you don't even know what's going on. The bitch brought me down. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen to this. What's that? That tape I gave you, that was after all was done, we brought Jenny in the hallway. We just said, okay. Yeah, after she cried on the air, yeah. they started talking to her. She started crying again. Listen to this. And check this out. Hi, my name is Jenny Diaz. I just uh, did Stuck on You. Um, my expectations for the show, I was prepared to do Get Naked, uh, Spin the Wheel of Benji, anything. Obviously, I had an allergic reaction. But um, when... I found out that it was like stuck to uh, Jeff. Um, I, d I remembered that I had a dream about my father, who was also an alcoholic. <laughs> and in the dream, I, I told him to help me. <laughs> so I feel it kind of the way he, he, 
he helped me because he, he, he wasn't a good provider. <laughs> and he died at such a young age, at the age of 50, 52, which wasn't a, a, a long time. Um, but uh, since I wasn't with him that long, um, and I didn't attend his funeral, and I'm sorry I didn't say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta do one thing. Yeah. She brought you down. I, I make 52. <laughs> well, I hope you did, Jeff. 52. Uh, how old are you, Jeff? People have been asking me. 36. Wow. Good Lord. 36. <laughs> Doesn't he look older than that? I yeah. was thinking he was close to 52 now. I was, I was, I thought, <laughs> seriously, I thought you were like 55 years old. <laughs> I thought he was like 55. Yeah, I would never guess he was 36. I thought I looked bad for 36. 36. Oh, God. What? 67, brother. That's when he was born, 67. All right, we believe you, but it's hard to, I mean, man. Have you, do you don't think you look 36, do you? Uh, um, no. <laughs> Come on. All right, anyway, uh, thanks, guys, for checking in with us. Okay, well, by the way, I'm going to move to L.A. now. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> I love you, Robin. I love you. We too. love you. Okay, bye. All right. Hey, Howard. Yeah, brother. Could you do me a favor? Where have we done enough? What else do we need to do for you? Well, you just play that Christmas song I did. Uh. <laughs> I want to get on tape, that's all. What? What song did he do? Which oh, you one? mean the one you did in here? Yeah. Oh. No, we don't have that. We don't? I mean, not right here, do you? That was kind of funny. I'll go look for it, Jeff. Okay, I will. All right, bye. Thank you. Thank you. Later. He needs to get that on tape. I remember the list that Isaac said was important to him. Karaoke was one of the most Yes, important. karaoke is the most important. <laughs> Alcohol, cigarettes, and karaoke. Howard Stern. Oh, wait. That's the, the wrong thing. Right. So, Jeff, be the dr drunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's real emotion. And the lady, the mummy, was like, I'm saying goodbye now. Wow. <laughs> this contest brought out a lot in her. I'm telling you. See how I help people, Robin? Ugh. Brought out all the feelings about her dead father. Yeah. How could that girl bring it down? You gave her $20,000. That's how you helped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a genius. I, I'm a regular L. Ron Hubbard. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. And I hope that that all goes well with you from now on. Um, all right. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Backwards, look where we are. Where did you get this? <laughs> You watch the type oh. of shows I watch. This is, <laughs> this is Tristan Ryan. <laughs> yeah, Ryan wishes. Put it in. Stick it underneath. Go. Make sure nothing falls. Get underneath. Lay a towel in there. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was Jack Nicholson and Amanda Peet from their new movie. Oh. Uh, Lou, you're on the air. Lou. Hey, hey now. Hey now. Uh, you know, I woke up this morning. Uh, I, I, I'm going ball. I'm 36. I feel really good about myself when I just found out uh, that he's only 36. Jeff. Jeff, I can't believe it. Yeah, that's a bit of a shock. Yeah, me yeah. too in a weird way because I'm 36 and I always feel I look horrible for it. Yeah, well, Jeff, but Jeff really putting a pounding on that body, man. <laughs> we'll have to do a makeover on him. Yeah. You know, like get him off alcohol. And oh, oh him up. you're talking the impossible. Yeah, the impossible. You little bitch. What are we doing next, Casey? Is this Jeff Caro? Jeff Caro has prepared a song for the 2000th episode, and I have to laugh because I saw that uh, when they were working on the music, it, we, we had a choice of either, I've been working on the railroad, 
<laughs> or God Bless America because they're the only two songs that you can get for free. Because there's no... So we're sparing no expense for the 2000 applicants. I said, oh, how exciting. Cheap asses. <laughs> All the live long. <laughs> You've been on a lot of East shows, Jeff. Have you ever added up how many? I think about eight. Oh, eight. it's got to be more than that. Eight. What about your great... You haven't even aired yet where you're stuck to the girl's side, huh? have you? Right. No, I... And that's going to be great. How well, did he say only eight? He's been here a lot. Because the guy's an alcoholic. and oh, has no yeah, idea what he's saying. I say, I swear to God, I think it's eight. Well, I know you're going to do a song. Someone told me you were with a hooker last night in a cab. Yeah. How'd that happen? Where'd you get the money for that? Well, I just paid her. Well, she said it cost me like $35. For oral or full size? Yeah, for oral. In a cab? You, you're, like, in a, you're in a cab. No, no, this was before we got the cab. All right, so you met her on the street. Yeah. And she said to you... We'll yeah, go. right when I got off the bus, as a matter of fact. You sure it wasn't a guy? No, it was a chick. It was? How do you know? Because she showed me her boobs. That well, doesn't mean nothing. Guys can yes. have boobs. Yeah, so. she... Don't believe me, she was a chick. Ain't yeah. problem. Let's no, hope. dude. So you were there, were you buzzed? Yeah. Okay, so you said, hey, I'm really horny, I need a woman? Yeah, I was like... She's like, you want to go to the pool? Buy me a beer? I said, yeah. So we walked around the corner for the bus station, got our beer. Then she's like, let's get a hotel room. I was like, yeah, right. I'm like, how much is that? She says, 40 bucks. I like, through my wallet. I don't have 40 bucks. She's like, well. <laughs> what a negotiation. Man. Yeah, she's like. I'm like, but I'll still give you 20 just for the hell of it. For oral? She said, no. Not for nothing? No, for nothing. I was like, I oh, is 20. I feel bad for you, you know? You feel you bad feel for her? You feel bad yeah. for her. Wow. You should have been giving him money. And she was like, are you sure you don't want a BJ? On the, I took her to her So house. when you gave her the 20, she said to you, sure you don't want oral? BJ. Wait, wait, wait. Say word oral. What? Because yeah. I, 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 I think it's okay. I don't know. You know. What's going on with the FCC now and the station being all Nobody powerful? F U F C C. All I know is, so Kid Chris sends me tape the other day. He goes, how the hell um, Imus is on the uh, on the morning using the S word? Used it. Just like you just said, hey, he was upset. The, the dude is upset. But, you know, first of all, here's my theory. If you're like Imus and you have no audience... The FCC doesn't care. Right. There's no point in going after you. And I think because he has politicians on, they just look the other way or something. But nobody listens to the show, so maybe nobody heard it. I wouldn't know about it, but he used the S word. He goes, hey, man, this is bull S. Really? Yeah. Right out there on the air. Dropped it out there. Hey, Robin. Then those guys, Don and Mike in Washington, went, hey, how come, uh, how come anus can use the S word? I guess they talk about I don't even know that they know him. Uh -huh. But uh, they evidently act like they do. And they... um so how come he can use the S word? And they just went SS twice. And now the FCC is so crazed, they're going to go back two years ago and, and f try and find the stations when Bono said the F word. So, like, you know, you're going to start targeting people. you got to target everyone. That's right. Crazy, if it's man. wrong, yeah. it's wrong, period. Yeah. I mean, those... It's not wrong for some people. Yeah, I don't get it. I agree. It's real weird, so... I, I mean, I don't know what's going on with all that. And then if I put the letter B next to the letter J, there's some problem. I don't know. It's just it seems to be me and and and, and if some guy goes completely crazy and starts going overboard and having like people banging, right? You know, in a church. Yeah, and then Tom's running around with this 500-page document he wants everyone to read from the government. Everyone, hey, you know, Imus just laid it out there. The S word. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. I got tape of it. I'm going to play it for you. I'll, no, I'll play for you after the show. Okay. But no, what happened was, did he say it? Yeah, but it never went out over the radio station. The radio station edited it. It was the simulcast on MSNBC. Oh, okay. So then, That's where it went out. Oh, I see. Not on fan. And then um, uh, Don, and, Don Mike and Mike said it twice. Where were they? They're on the where, radio. Where, where were they the aired? Yeah, they, they said it twice. Just uh, like that. What's going on? I, I don't. I don't. I think if they said it twice, then the, then something bad is going to go on so with them. So if the company is going to not allow Janet Jackson to be on the Grammys, why why is Donna Mike working for the company? 
Um, I, can't, I can't answer that. Cause. They intentionally went on and said the S word twice. I don't get it. I mean, what are uh, we doing? Are crazy? How come we're sitting here looking at Tom every second, and they're down there saying the S word twice? Nobody's yeah. watching them. Because the guys who don't have any ratings can don't do whatever they watched. want. You don't have to have Tom and, and Dead Air Dave sitting there with them. Uh, there is a, there's an editor down there uh, as well. That editor ain't doing nothing, man. He's asleep at the wheel. And, and when this guy says B and then the other letter... Is that bad? Is that bad? I don't even know. I don't think yeah. that's okay. Yeah, yeah. I thought it's bad. Oh, that's bad. You can't do that. Yeah, yeah. No. I mean, in, in that, in the context. Oh, that's see what I mean? I, I can't say that, but these guys are using the S word. Hey, it's you know, it, it's tough. I mean, it's really, really tough now. Tough for who? For everybody. So I can say the S word now. No, those guys are saying the no, S word. So why don't I say it? <laughs> because I'm going to say it now. Because right now, I'm going to say it. it. He's going to he's going to edit it. I don't care. I want to say no, don't, it. Don't say it. I want to say don't. it. Don't. No. You're, you're too responsible. You're too smart. Show me your penis and I won't say it. No. All right. For the 2000s <laughs> <of your> show. <laughs> All right. We've spent enough time on this. I tell you, someone better get a, a, a big meeting together, everybody, and figure out what the standard is for the entire I company. I, I can tell you, I think it's being dealt with. And I think this Janet Jackson stuff is BS. Did you see the story today about um, NBC? What happened? And oh, with Bono. Yeah. Oh, with ER. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, 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 right. They were supposed to show an old woman's breast. And they're not going to. And they're not going to. Right. Well, you know what? And a lot of shows... After 10 o'clock. It just shows you how, I mean, how much pressure there is and how much of the broadcasters, you know... Uh, the but why is every? Why are we not fighting it? Why isn't anyone, you know... Here's I know what the FCC does. They do what they did to that Russian businessman. They, uh, they say to the stations, okay, you fight us on it, we're going to take away your licenses. Yeah. You know, they, they basically blackmail. You won't be it. able to do business. But, they, but, but, you know, they were pointing out on, like, CSI and stuff like that. I don't know if CSI, but some of these medical shows, they show a dead person's breast. Mm -hmm. But that's okay. But it's not a real dead person. It's, it's a living actress person actress playing, playing a, a dead, dead person. person. I mean, it all it depends mm -hmm. on what time. I mean, yeah. the ER thing was after 10 o'clock. So, I mean, that's supposedly within the safe harbor. But they decided because of the pressure not to do it. I think Colin Powell's kid really wants to make his own mark. And I think this is an I easy way to do it. I think he's making it, yeah. yeah he's making a big noise now. Now he's all upset about the standards. Everybody's all shaking up. How could anybody be upset about a breast? I don't even get it. I, don't I understand no ladies breasts. I don't either. I that understand. Is offensive. I, I understand on the Super Bowl, people are watching right. that. And they don't expect that kind of thing. Okay? So, all right. But you're going to find... A station? $27,000 yeah, each? Yeah, I don't understand how the individual stations are at fault when they're taking a network feed that's been, you know... Because because the rule is... Because? Um, because. because. I was waiting for that to say. The, the rule is that each station is responsible for what they broadcast over their air. And uh, and you have the, you're responsible as the lo as the local licensee. You're responsible for what you brought. Yeah, but the woman whipped out her breast. Nobody knew she was going to do it except uh, supposedly yeah, her. Yeah, those hey, local they, stations they find, weren't in collusion. No. They recent they recently find a radio uh, a TV station that had the two artists on from the Broadway show The Puppetry of the Penis. Right. And one of the guys for less a second or less tried to demonstrate what it was they did. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they find the station. They they cut it immediately. As soon as they knew what was going on, they cut it. And it was on for a second or less, yet they have been fined for that. Well, i, I got to tell you, I'm glad because I, I was the only one suffering. Right, now yeah. everyone is. Yeah. Now everyone can see how everyone retarded this is. Everyone was benefiting from the, uh, yeah. the opening of the, the airwaves, except us. Yeah. Tonight I need the last days of Stuck on You. You will love it. Hey now. Hey now. What are you doing here? What are you doing, drills, dude? <laughs> Casey made a phony phone call to Jeff Currow. This will allow us to bet on how well we know Jeff the Drunk right. in honor of his last day of the Stuck on You contest on E tonight. Very good. All right, listen to this crank phone call and then try to figure out how Jeff will respond. Is that how we play? Yeah, then I got after this, I got eight questions. Here we go. And then Nick DiPaolo is going to join us for the news. Mr. America, they call him Nick DiPaolo. Is that right? Yeah, that's his nickname. DiPaolo, out. <laughs> Seacrest, out. <laughs> uh, it, does it have to be that out? Yeah. Okay. Evidently. Hey, um, okay, here we go. Casey, what, do we need any setup? Um, no. Hello? Jeff, it's Case. What's up, bitch? What are you doing, man? Not a lot. Listen, we got a problem. Or What's actually, that? actually, you got a problem. Why? You know, you put out those t-shirts? Yeah. Dude, what's wrong with you? You can't do that. 
What? Look, I'm looking at the back of them. It says, y you skanky hoe. Yeah, you dumb bitch. Right? It says that. A, all oh, these my God, yeah. Yeah, dude, you can't put a T-shirt out with those on it. That's Howard's intellectual property. Oh, I didn't know. Intellectual property. Oh. Dude, what are you thinking? What's wrong with you? I don't know. You, I thought it was all right. No, you can't. Now, now. Okay. I got this. I got a letter. Oh. From the CBS attorneys, the, the Infinity attorneys. Oh my God. A monetary injunction. <laughs> Basically, what that means is that they're going to sue you. What the hell? They said that you stole Howard's intellectual properties. Oh come on, dude! I'll stop selling. God. <laughs> Big deal. No, but they're saying is that like the damage is done. <laughs> the damage is done. I'd have got two hundred of those made up. Big deal. So, dude, you're telling me. I, you know, I didn't do nothing bad. I, God, I gave just to Howard and Tom Giacervo. They, they just, they're just coming up with that bullshit now. All I'm telling you is that they're suing you. What are they going to get from me? Since you don't have any money, what they'll do is they'll take your mother's house. And they I say, didn't mean to do nothing bad. Yeah, but you I'm know what? I'm just trying to make a f***ing dime, man. Yeah, but now... broke. <laughs> but now they're coming after you. Did your mom have somewhere to go? No. They'll put her out on the street. They don't care about you. My God. Look, I don't think you did it maliciously or anything like that. I, right. I think that you were just trying to make a dollar, but still. Yeah, I know. Right. So I asked him, I said, well, what, what can he do? And the only way that you can get off is... It's not he, anal sex, is it? Jeff, don't f***ing joke around. Okay. I'm trying to f***ing help, all right? What is it? It's called a reconciliatory community service. What has to be done? Okay. What do I have to do? It says, basically what, what happens is if people can't pay what they're suing for, yeah. they offer them to be involved in various government projects that they're working on and they drop the charges. Yeah. They want to study the effects of alcoholism on male sexuality and then you could be a part of that program. Yeah. Would you when, do that? When does that take place? They said they would drop all the charges if you were to remove one of your testicles. Now, will Jeff agree to that? <laughs> no. Let's see. You gotta go to another CD. It's an involved game. Yeah. Would Jeff the drunk remove one of his testicles to get out of court? <laughs> Are you ready? Let's just see. Cause let's let's see what he says. They said they would drop all the charges if you were to remove one of your testicles. No way. Thank you. So we do it. What, what do you want? That. What you want them to take your your mother's house? <laughs> Let them try it then. That's what they. You say. you would rather go to court and risk putting your mother out on the street than for I one. I ain't of losing a nut, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's the next one? Here we go. Okay, so I say the question now, and then it's gonna stop. And then All right. You get back. Okay. Now they said they said that they know that you have one arm. Would you would you give up your one arm? No. What do you mean? Which arm? The bad one or the good one? Get yeah, a bad one. Oh, the bad one. No. Oh. He won't do it. Maybe. Let me think about that. Would he give up the bad arm? He knows you're kidding, doesn't he? No. <laughs> He's got to be completely out of it. I say no. <laughs> not going to give up his arm. No one's going to give it that. It doesn't work. So what? You wouldn't give up your arm to take... Your, if your mother's going to throw it on the street, you wouldn't lose your arm? No. I would throw it out on the street. Yeah, but we're talking about Jeff. <laughs> you would lose your arm for your mother? In a second. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I don't have those kind of feelings for her. I was going to say, yeah, he'll, he'll give right, up the say. bad arm. My bad arm. You would let them take it? My bad arm? Yeah. Yeah. See? Wow. I'm shocked. You don't like your mother, do you? I like her. Fine. I'm just not giving my arm up. She's not worth an arm. Yeah, I mean, I don't see her that much. It's not like she's putting me in her house. <laughs> sex change. What? Sex change. Sex change. Would he have a sex change? Yeah. <laughs> no. No. He's not giving up a testicle. He's not having a sex change. No. That ain't happening. <laughs> Dude, I can predict these pretty much. I don't even believe he'd give up his bad arm. Uh, jail for... Six months. But he'd do that. Yeah. That's easy. Whatever. Hmm. Yes? <laughs> yeah. Of course, he'd prefer jail. 
Did you not drink for a year? No. No. No way. No way. Two. If you drink for a year, then they, they would take everything that you have in your mother's house. If I had to. You would? Yes or no? If I had to not drink, I would, and if I had to. He says he'd stop drinking. Oh, he's lying. He couldn't do it. <laughs> would you be an undercover prostitute? Yes. <laughs> of course he would. No. No. <laughs> I ain't being no kind of prostitute at all. Wow. You can't prostitute, Jeff. Is that it? You got one more. Would you go undercover to uncover drug rings in New York City? Yes. Oh, sure. He'd be good at that, probably. Yeah. It was a dumb game. If he could stay awake. <laughs> that wasn't a good game. No, it wasn't. Well, here's a better game. Do you think KC could spell intellectual property? No way. Absolutely not. Me too. I, I don't think so. <laughs> I can spell it. Go ahead. All right. I got it right here. No, don't no, no, don't write it no, down. No, I, I get to write it down. All right, go no, ahead, write it down. He, uh... Spell intellectual property. Hey. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this way, this is a little tough right here. Uh-oh, I thought this would be easy. Int intellect, I got intellect. Now, if you get it wrong, you have to remove a testicle. <laughs> uh, would you do that? Uh, no, 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 no. Intellect. I see, it didn't look right. That's the problem. Spell it for me. Ah, that's wrong, but I'll, I'll tell you what I got. is I-N-T-E-L-L-E-C-T-U-A-L. -L -E Sounded right. Sounded right to me, too. What did you say? Intellectual. Did you get it right, Fred? Yes, he did. Yeah, he, did. he did. Spell did property. Ah, nice. Property. Spell property. Property. You got to write that down, Come too? Come on. P-R-O-P-E-R-T-Y. That's property. right. Property. Yeah, you can all suck it. <laughs> hey, where's Casey's theme song? That's a good song. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know that was your theme song. Seacrest, out. Whoops. <laughs> Spelled definitely. All right. Damn it. All right, who cares? D E F. Yeah. Def and definite. So if it was definite. D E F I N A. No. D E F I N. What is he trying to spell? I missed the word. Definitely. Definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Secret. Out. What? Definitely. D. Uh, this doesn't. This doesn't look. Good. D. E. F. I. N. A. T. E. L. Y. Wrong. You got a. It's an I. Not an A. What? I was off by one letter. Yeah, that ain't that makes a difference. No big deal. It's called spelling. Yeah. Well, that's why I got spell check. Spell scissors. <laughs> <laughs> it's like scissors. It's like scissors. Yeah. Scissors. 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 <laughs> Don't worry, I won't ask you to spell compensatory. <laughs> I can spell that. That's right, spell scissors. S-C-I-Z-Z-O-R-S. -Z 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 -Z. Oh. <laughs> I just nodded all over my face. <laughs> How do you spell it? How do you do it? <laughs> two C's, not two Z's, you idiot. Two C's? C's? No. no two S's. S's. S-I-S-S-C-I-S-S-O-R-S. S-C-I-S-S-O-R-S. Not Z's. No. Well, I meant. All right, so I'm I got too wrong. Well, you know, I'd, I'd never claim to be like a great speller, so it's not. This you do. No, I don't. Oh, he's bragging. <laughs> well, I brag that I could beat Tom in a trivia. Speaking of Tom, here's Tom. Tom, you're on the air. You little bitch. So, anyway, one of the funnier things that happened was we had this porno star on the show in Vegas named Cindy Crawford. <laughs> yeah. But that's her legal name, Cindy Crawford, and she goes by that name. And she agreed to go on a date with Jeff the Drunk. And well, she lost a bowling competition, Yeah, right? so she agreed to go on a date. All I know is they, they actually ended up having sex, and I guess the date worked out. Yeah. And then th this is the sound of Cindy Crawford after having sex with Jeff the Drunk, okay. literally. This is right from the tape. <laughs> I'm not kidding. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Stop swear. it! Yeah. You're making this up. You know what? Cindy, Are you serious? No, no, I'm not making up at all. Cindy, what happened? Hey, hey, Jeff. Hi, hi, Cindy. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Cindy. How you doing? doing? How are you? Are you still having a crying? Oh, thanks. But I, I, guys, I can't hear I'm what's sorry. going on. I don't want to miss a minute of this reunion. What happened, Cindy? Why, why were you crying? <laughs> Okay, well, um, somewhere between the wine, the pot, and uh, us having sex, uh, <laughs> I, I have no idea what happened. I completely blacked out. Good for you. Oh, she was in an arty stage. Yeah. yeah. Well, I just figured, like, like, did you suddenly realize, oh, my God, I was with Jeff? What do I, what do I... I have no idea. You know, that part of it is it's pretty much a blur. Um, but Jeff was a complete gentleman, and I really appreciate it. <laughs> he always you is. remember yeah. Jeff. All I know is that I was watching the tape, and Jeff is just like, where's my cigarettes? Like, <laughs> she's, she's, listen to the, this is uh, Cindy. Listen to Cindy. <laughs> I've had women do that, but I never had it on tape. <laughs> yeah, that's so mean. What? I was completely blacked out at that point. Wow. You guys must have drank a lot. Um, I can't blame you. I guess if I was having sex with Jeff, I'd... Wouldn't you drink a lot? Yeah. I would drink a lot, too. Was he bad in bed? Uh, he was okay. Oh. As far as I remember. Hey, Jeff, you just got an okay. Hey. That's right. That's a, that's a miracle. Right. <laughs> I'm okay. Cindy, how does he make love with that bad arm of his? Like, can, he, can he get on top, or...? Uh, I do believe he took it out of the swing. Oh, you mean his arm? Yes, he took it out. Wow. But it doesn't it's do anything. Arm. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering if you had sex with his arm. And will you be dating again? Will you guys go out again, or is it a one-shot deal? Um, we'll pay depends. for it. <laughs> what, Cindy? It depends. You would actually go out with him again? He was a really nice guy, despised what you guys, you know. <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. Hey, Jeff, way to go. Oh, despise what you guys right. said. He's despise nice it. Yeah. I despise what we say. <laughs> I despise you. So Jeff did uh, end up being the booby prize for the loser. <laughs> uh -huh. And uh, all I know is I thought the tape was pretty wild when I was watching it. And that is... Cindy was... I spoke with Karina afterwards. Yes. And she said that she was she won. No, con hey, hey, Cindy, no condoms used? Uh, no. Nah, well, uh, who needs a condom? <laughs> Why not? Who can get it on? Because Let's he, make he had, a, he had a test. Oh, he did. Test and everything. IQ test or <laughs> AIDS no, test? No, an AIDS test. I got oh, an AIDS man. test. I scored a 70. <laughs> <laughs> so, Jeff, oh, ask her out again. If it's, so maybe you'll be having a little caro, maybe a baby. Oh, Cindy. please. Is there you any chance? Out again, baby? Are you feeling nauseous? Oh, oh yes. That's why she was crying. <laughs> a curl, baby. Are you on the pill or anything? Me? Yes, of course. Oh, good. Wow, wow. Of course, sir. Of course I want, I'm on the pill. I want my rattle. <laughs> Where's my rattle, mommy, you bitch? <laughs> Can you imagine a little curl, baby? Oh. Yeah. I, I crap my... Actually, it's a lot like him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't crap. It's a blister. <laughs> I'm just a little baby and a blister broke in my diaper. <laughs> Why must you do this to me? Oh, my God. I can't believe you got him up this early. Huh? Yeah. Hey, and, and Jeff, you, uh, when's, I mean, she's a hot chick. Very hot. Cindy Crawford. <laughs> Very nice. I banged Cindy Crawford. <laughs> Let's listen to Cindy after having sex with Jeff. Let's listen. <laughs> <laughs> the inner mind of every porn star. Yeah, I was going to say, you know, when you release all those inhibitions, that's what comes out. It's not funny. It's, it, it's not fun. It's not. Hey, anyway, uh, you were a good sport, Cindy Crawford, and uh, i got to get some of your videos at jillkellyproductions.com. Yeah. And by the way, Cindy's on Spice Clips Live. I know you know this, Jimmy, because you watch. Every Thursday and Sunday night at 7.30 on the Spice Channel. You're a good sport, I'll tell you that. Thank you. And uh, you say Jeff was a gentleman. Yeah, he was a true gentleman. Oh, no F word. Don't lie now. <laughs> okay. She says you couldn't well, get aroused. 
Baloney. Baloney. That's what she bologna. said. Bologna. Cindy, what happened? It's like bologna. Cindy, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Jeff, are you there? Are you hung up? Uh, it was more like spaghetti. Oh, know? really? <laughs> well, he has his limits. He Cindy, has his dignity. <laughs> Cindy, you're saying he didn't get aroused? Um, I well, I think he drank too much, actually, so... Impossible. So what did you... I mean, you guys just sort of... <laughs> like something happened, but you... We just kind of, you know, flopped around. <laughs> is, is that why you were crying? <laughs> no, I, was, I was crying because I was blacked out at that point. I have no idea what happened. Don't lie, bitch. <laughs> but you do remember that he wasn't aroused. How can he say bitch on the air? Who? Who, um... Uh, I already been uh, there. No, you're allowed That's to in your head. He didn't say that. That's one of the few things he can say. I can say it. Oh. Um, Cheer up, Cindy. Can I offer you a cup of sweat? Yeah. <laughs> I never saw a human drunk. being sweat more than Jeff yes, the drunk. I took a shower before the date. So oh, good. That was nice. A cup of sideburn sweat. So you don't... Uh, you had, like, uh, a, a lesbian experience with Jeff the drunk. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Jeff seems to have hung up. He didn't like you making the accusation. Call him back. How dare he? He may have passed out on the phone, in fairness to <laughs> Jeff. Get him back. My head's in the dryer. <laughs> Until we get him back, though, let's listen to the rest of you, your reaction no, to... let's not. Let's not. All right. I, do, I went through it, honey. You're yeah, hearing the rest you know, of the tape. This is, this is, everybody's got to listen to their tape. Yeah. Be nice. Right. Robin. Oh, sorry. Thank you. <laughs> hey, Jerry, you're on the air. Hey, Howard. Hey, what's up? Have you guys even talked about it? Wasn't this chick on that quarantine list for sleeping with that dude, like the second generation? No. Were you ever on the quarantine list? No, I was not. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm HIV positive. <laughs> <laughs> I caught AIDS from Cindy Crawford. Nice. Well, here's Jeff. Jeff, why'd you hang up? I drank too much. You freaking bad stuff. I didn't. She says you never got fully aroused. But how would she know? I guess. Uh, Who else would know, Jeff? <laughs> You're saying she was unconscious when you made love? No, not when we made love. Then what happened? I I'm dumb now. When I was. <laughs> she says you were. You were not, but. Like spaghetti, yeah, my fault. <laughs> yeah, like spaghetti with a nice marinara, bitch. <laughs> well, what's the difference? You had a good time, Jeff, right? I had a great time, but why does everybody do this stuff to me? <laughs> Go bad about me. Then everybody, oh, you're, you're like a, a noodle. <laughs> Is Jeff now crying? Are you crying, Jeff? No. <laughs> it's your first fight. Yes, he was. It's your so <laughs> Cindy, what, Cindy, what was your answer? I couldn't hear it. I said, now I know. Oh, 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 I wish yeah, I hadn't bad. heard that. Yeah. I, nice. Why the I answer? I never talk nothing bad about you, Cindy. Why does everybody do this to me? I'm just a nice guy. Yeah, why, why is that, Jeff, that everybody, after they make love to you, says that you, <laughs> you weren't aroused? <laughs> I don't know what it is. First time with the, maybe I was. Oh, Debbie. <laughs> You've All right. Anyway, Jeff, congratulations to you. And Cindy Crawford, we'll check you out at jillkellyproductions.com, and I thank you for being on the show. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Thanks for the whole show with you, as always. <laughs> Listen tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Gotta make it, you can feel you can feel the drama. You hear the background? Oh, that's Isaac trying to get her out of the room. <laughs> they should leave that on all porn videos. The aftermath, <laughs> the crying, the crying, and the credits. All right, Cindy. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Yeah, thanks for ruining. Well, you had a great date with a beautiful yeah. girl. Yeah, but she talked crap about me. That's nah, so what? Yeah. That ain't cool. Hey, Cindy, by the way, you're a very beautiful woman. Thank you. I surely would be so lucky to make love <laughs> to you, but... Yes, you didn't have a girlfriend. I'm not kidding. I would have yeah. been...
I would, have, I would have liked a nice threesome between me, you, and Jeff. Yeah, you'd like Howard. to have heard those sounds after you had made love to Cindy. Yeah, oh, I've heard those sounds. <laughs> I've had women cry after me. I had I had one woman cry when I was in high school. Oh, I made love to Did her. Did it sound like that? It was pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> I've had women... And she wasn't high. Oh, I've had women cry during. <laughs> it really? Is that true? Honestly. Yeah, I, I've had them cry directly after. At the Jersey Shore uh, once. Crying is better than laughing, though. Girl picked up the phone to her boyfriend <laughs> and was like, what did it? was crying so bad. <laughs> you live a little bit up, bitch. All right, thanks, Cindy. Thanks. Hope to see you again soon. No problem. That's the great Cindy Crawford at JillKellyProductions.com. Yes, and Jeff, your reputation persists. <laughs> My cancer. <laughs> I got a rest. <laughs> wow. <laughs> What did I do? What did I do? It's like the Nero and Raging Bull after he threw that fight. Like, what did I do? What did I do? I saw you. Calm down. We're bringing Beetlejuice in next. What's that, man? Who, me? Do you think Jeff thinks it was the Cindy Crawford? He called him, yeah. You little bitch. Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Yay. What's up? Why do you guys always do that? What did I do? Make everybody talk bad about me. I made her talk bad about you? I got it on tape. She was crying after she had sex with you. You always put me in a bad light. It ain't right, Howard. Well, then don't come on the show anymore. If you don't like the way I treat you, all I know is I got you laid and this is the thanks I get? Take you to Vegas? And take you to Vegas? Shame on you. Now, you apologize to me right now. Oh, yeah. You better apologize or else I'm cutting you off. You begged to go to Vegas and now we did something bad to you? Not to mention the fact that you weren't drunk during the segment I used in. Sorry, say I. No, I agree with no, Jeff. There was no reason. I drink myself sober. Jeff, I agree that Howard and Artie and Robin were very cruel to you. And you know what? I mean, you you met a, a beautiful woman and you tried to make. Love you know, to her. Let, I know you're trying to be funny, but let me t let me say something about yes. this guy who is so ungrateful and whiny. And this is why we should never take him anywhere. There's no one on this planet that gives a damn about this guy. Does a nice or thing does for, him. for him. And now I know why. Because if you do something for him, all he does is whine and cry and bitch instead of saying thank you. I haven't heard a thank you yet. Oh man, I had I had the greatest time of my life. So then, what are you crying about? And then I come home. Oh, here we go. Wah wah wah. Yeah. No, so the chick said you didn't get aroused. Who cares? What do you care? We didn't make anybody do anything. We don't know the story. <laughs> We're sitting here asking questions. All I know is the girl slept with you, and this was the tape of her after she slept with you. <laughs> Maybe that was him. Play the whole tape. I'll play the whole tape. It's worse. What do you mean the whole tape? We can't play the ten hours you spent with her. For ten hours. Tell me what I did wrong exactly. Let me hear. Let me hear your mumbled thoughts. <laughs> mumbled thoughts. Yeah, go ahead. What did I do wrong? No, you got everybody talking bad about me. Who's to how did I get somebody talking if bad about you? Everybody sees me anywhere. They say all that stuff. That's the worst That's people say. Wait a second. Now how did I have that happen? The girl gets on the air and says that and you're mad at me. What? I didn't force her to say that. She got on the air and said it. What did I say that I shouldn't have? How? What did I say? How? I'm so sick of you. Well, you were insensitive. Uh, you don't know how he gets when he's uh, in a, that position. You've never been with him. You can't make up these You have stories. to have sex with him. If I have sex with you, I'll, I'll decide. <laughs> I'm, get up. I'm sick of you so much in the line. What, we should create an image for you? And I love that you're worried about being seen in a bad light. You're drunk 90% <laughs> of the time. You smoke inordinate amounts of weed. You wear a sweaty cowboy hat. Nothing you do puts you in a bad light. You're overweight. You're stumbling in the streets, and you're worried about what I do to you? Yeah. Don't forget impotent. I'm the one? <laughs> really, what are you doing? I work hard. And who else is taking you to Vegas and hanging out with you? 
No one. No one. Exactly. So yeah, think... call your other, your real friends and, and whine to them. <laughs> now apologize to me quickly. I apologize. Thank you. All right. Won't happen again. Thank you. And you know what? All I did was get you laid and take you to Vegas. Thank you so much. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> Jeez. That's like... Boy, is my face now, red. get off this phone. I apologize. Please forgive me. You're, you're forgiven. Yeah, Goodbye. Goodbye. But don't dumb. call your crying. <laughs> it's crying. I'm like, what did I do to you? Why do you guys do this to me? He's a sensitive man. You little bitch. That um, you know that spelling bee they have the big national spelling bee. Did you yeah, see the tape? I saw. I was. I happened to walk in at the uh, late rounds and I started watching it. I was, as they say, spellbound. Did you see the kid pass out? I didn't see that one. Oh. I just read that in the paper today. Oh my God! It's the funniest piece of tape you ever saw. And then he got up and spelled the word correctly. He, 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 I, I could play the audio, but I don't really think it's funny. Because hmm. uh, I don't know here. I'll play it, but it's kind of long. And if you can't see it, the kid, the kid's eyes just get real wide, and he passes out, and then he just <laughs> jumps up and he spells the word. <laughs> I'll, I'll play it for you. I don't know if it'll work. You know the announcers are funny on this. Yeah. Okay. Here. What is the part of speech? A lot of coy is an adjective. Kids got to spell something like called a clap of plaf. I can never even understand what the announcers are saying. The words I can't even understand when they say them. A clapapede. You just say it again. A lopacoid. A lopacoid. You have exhausted regular time and are now subject to finish time. Can I have bonus time? Yes. Kid seems really wasted. They can request bonus time, one time only. A lapacoid means like a fox, a vulpine. A lapacoid. Oh, my God. He just went down like Jeff the Drunk, like right out. Boom, bam. Oh, my God, a lapacoid. Thank you for the lapacoid. Wait, so now he's down. Wait. I've never seen this happen. The poor gentleman, he's sounding. Poor gentleman. The kid's like nine. Oh, my God. He's, got... he's no gentleman. The young man apparently has fainted he's on stage. I think he's okay, but they did stop the clock. Oh, thank God. A L O P E C O I. That is correct. <laughs> he seems to be okay, and he's about the word correctly. That Way to go. Well, that's like when a football player fakes an injury to get some extra time. <laughs> yeah, they stop the clock. <laughs> you use a lot of points or something. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're a big jerk, and you don't know what a lapacoid means. Nice. <laughs> How's that for oh a my, I forgot. What? You're, you're a drunken cowboy hat-wearing guy. And... Lapacoid. A-B-S-D-X-M-O. The man has come out of coma to spell a lapacoid correctly. <laughs> the young gentleman. Oh, you're making me feel second best. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, kid, the kid did kind of look like someone getting a sobriety test on the side yeah. of the road. <laughs> he seemed real out of it, man. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Mr. Carter, could you spell a lot of point? <laughs> oh, no, I can't. Why do you do this to me? <laughs> I can't spell out the boy. I don't know what to say. I think you guys are killing me. I, my, my boil just burst. Who can spell a lap of wine with a bruise boil? Go ahead. <laughs> oh man, a lot of pressure on those kids. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine? Well, the parents too. Have you ever seen that spelling bee movie? The parents are like the Indian dude. He's like, <laughs> "You must very well correct. You well, must." You know that Indian dude had another son in the contest this year. Oh, yeah. Maybe that was him. This kid looked kind of Indian. You really? must spell. It could have been. <laughs> you must spell a lot of points. Get the hell up. Help. 
Get the hell up, you! <laughs> you slave driver! <laughs> what you gonna mean? No! I can't do it! I can't believe that these people are driving me crazy! I just wanna have a beer! <laughs> I wanna have a beer and he's making me smell a lap of wine! What the hell's a lap of wine mean? <laughs> I wonder if those kids even know what that is. I don't know. It's well, just weird. You know, because I watched so much of it. They'll usually ask for several pronunciations. Yeah. They'll ask for derivations. And then they'll ask to have it used in a sentence. Yeah, that wouldn't help me. By time. They go, uh, like, I have no idea what the word is. And they'll go, oh, I need the root meaning, please. What's the derivation of it? You little bitch. Jeff the yeah. Drunk, you're on the air. Hello, Albert. Hey, man, what's up? How you doing? All right. So Pam's coming in tomorrow, huh? <laughs> Pam Anderson tomorrow. I think I would like to meet that. Yeah, yeah well, so would a lot Boy, of guys. I don't think she's up for that. Me neither. <laughs> oh, I think I deserve it. I can't come down? Nah, not tomorrow, man. We got a busy show, and I have my own agenda with that woman. Oh, uh, okay, then. <laughs> you know. Although she did tell me she wants to go out with a drunken hand stamper <laughs> who works at a pool in the summer. She needs a guy who has more time for her. Yeah. I lost that job. <laughs> Why do you people do this to me? Did you lose the hand stamper job? Yeah, a long time ago. Yeah. I didn't know that. They got to get there. They got someone with two working arms. <laughs> Bitches. Why did they fire someone you? someone who had a driver's license. Oh, that's what it was. Yeah, was it his fault he couldn't get to work? <laughs> <laughs> they got a non-alcoholic who wasn't a freak. They weren't willing to help him get to work. It's kind of hard to get a cab to a job stamping. <laughs> I guess it's hard to really put up a fight when, you know, you're in a job that anyone is qualified to do. <laughs> anyone with motor skill. <laughs> <laughs> My mom said I could go. What did that pay, by the way? Yes. Easy. Well, hey, what's with the F word, dude? You know the rules. Oh, it's a pizza crap job. All right, hey. but don't take it out on my show, no, dude. Buddy. All yeah. right? Pal, don't call in if you're going to use the F word. I'm sorry. Well, what do you think it pays? I don't know. What is $10. what does it pay? Dollars an hour. I how mean, how long did you have the job? You might have gotten more. How much do you make a week? Not a lot, Howard. I'm asking you how much. Oh, we're going to know. You never saw your paycheck? Oh, yeah, I saw it. So what did it say? And I'm curious what you walked away from. Oh, like a big old $120 a week. All right, but still, I mean, when you got nothing, 120 a week's nice. Yeah, and it wasn't full-time. He didn't Sweet. work full-time. Yeah, he didn't want to screw up his summer. <laughs> I barely covered my blister medicine. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> <laughs> Did you beg him for the job back? No, nope, didn't even ask. Wow. How did they tell you? Who fired you? No one. It was the end of the season. Oh. I never called back. <laughs> oh, that's what it was. called me, so I figured they didn't want me back. Why don't you call him and say I want to come back? Because I don't have the way to get there. <laughs> Hello, it's Jeff. Guess what's right around the corner? Hey, let me ask you this. Do you have a resume? Uh, no. You, you never what put the heck together? I could have put on my resume. I mean, you must have held some jobs <laughs> since high school. Not only one job. What was that? At the state. What was that? Tax and finance. What? Tax and finance. <laughs> what did you do there? I, um... <laughs> Just basically BS. Why don't you tell us what you did? I okay. Every tax form, I had to check every document to make sure that line seventeen was filled out. <laughs> <laughs> what, did, what did that pay? <laughs> that paid better than minimum. Yeah. And how'd you lose that? Oh, some girl said I was a bastard. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's not it. possible. <laughs> and how old were you when you had that job? Um, well, I was driving. Um, 
I don't know. Probably 27. So you were 27. And now what are you, about 40? I'm 37. All right. So, so 10 years ago since his last job. But the line 17 was all you had to check? Boy, that Debbie McCalling is really doing it for me. I forget her name there. Were you harassing her? Sort of, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Well, you had a crush on her? Yeah. Yeah. I was talking with her. I said, hey, you want to smoke a joint? Oh. She's like, yeah, yeah. Then she never showed up. Then when I saw her... I saw her in the hall, and she was running into the smoking lounge, and then she went running through to the other side and ran right out. And I walked in, and I was like, everybody's looking at me. I was like, where are you? It was a mess. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding. I can't believe something in your life went wrong. You little, yeah, right? little smoke a doobie. <laughs> Imagine. Fuck a doobie, dubby. I always wondered why my, my tax form smelled like alcohol. <laughs> Line 17 in particular smelled like weed. So you have that on your resume and then the hand stamping job. Yeah. Other than that, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. That shows he's capable of work. Definitely. Gotta check Line 17. How many returns would you check a day? Oh, I don't know. Probably, um,. I think the quota was like two thousand. Mm. And you you met your quota? Yeah. I met my yeah. quota. I'm sure there were times that he kinda of spaced out and didn't look. <laughs> I'm sure there were times I sort of fell asleep. Yeah. Right. I'm sure many I used times to listen to you every day though. I'm sure you weren't that thorough when you check line seventeen. Oh sure. You know, I'm sure some people got away with not signing it. <laughs> You know, so important. <laughs> Imagine entrusting him what with that. What do you do for a living? I check line 17. How many years did you last on that job? Uh, I don't know, two or three. Two or three oh, years. two or three years. Yeah. I accidentally stapled my hand to line 17. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows how to work a stapler? <laughs> I was never trying. <laughs> I faxed myself to be honest. Did you wear a suit? No. What'd you wear every day? Whatever you want. No. Casual. So you dressed sort of like you do now. Yeah. Casual side. What, with a big greasy head with a big yeah, cowboy, cowboy hat? <laughs> and that yeah, sling? I did. Yeah, big sling. Big dirty sling. <laughs> I usually began sweating halfway through my shower. <laughs> Big filthy sling and I'm here. I went with the stained shorts today. <laughs> it's my favorite ensemble. And were you like an alcoholic back then even? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Imagine. So you were late, late a lot of times and all that. You had to be the office joke. Oh. Checking line 17 brings a lot of stress. And this was probably the first time he talked to this girl, and she considered that harassment that he would even talk right. to her. Mm. I even forget her name. Yeah, funny thing with love. <laughs> her name was Plaintiff. That's a good one. All right, bro, I got to go. Carol talked me into giving I gave him my Yankee tickets. Did you? Drunkenly, I promised him Yankee tickets in Vegas, and I forgot about it, so he kept calling me to get them. Wow. So he's going to my seats. Oh. <laughs> you be good at that game, man. I got a reputation in that section. I will. All right. He calls you at home, doesn't he? He does all the time, yeah. Dude. <laughs> hey. We talk sometimes. What's up? Hey, Jeff, it's Case. Hey, are you going to uh, complain all day to get a call like 5,000 times because oh, you can't come I'm up tomorrow? Once. Right, what, oh, cause, yeah, you're going to complain because you can't meet Pam Anderson? No. Oh. All right. Because, all right, so I'm going to hold you to that because he yeah, says... Oh, everything's cool. All right, but but you you know we didn't promise you that. Lie, but I don't see any. Oh, there no. was a lie. Oh, what he's because he keeps going around saying that we promised him he could come up when Pam Anderson was here. We said no. That's no, not true. No, 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 it's time. Casey said, I promise you, Jeff, next time Pam's in, in town, we'll have you in Demeter. Never said. Oh, well. Okay, but hey, 
Whatever. You should call Casey then. Yeah, yeah. true. No, I'm not going to call. All right, we'll see. You okay. meant when we have Pam Greer in, you can meet her. <laughs> Whatever, dude. I might have said, yeah, I'll, I'll pitch it at the meeting, Jeff, but I never said, yes, you can come on. Hey, when you did that accounting job, did you wear that big cowboy hat every day? Yeah. <laughs> so it's the same, same, Jeff. <laughs> I'm checking line 17, partner. I'm a cowboy. I'm a cowboy, baby. What's with the cowboy hat? I mean, like... Ask him and Imus. What's the cowboy yeah, what is What is it? A big, giant hat. Like, it's a big old hat. <laughs> yeah, Imus, too, thinks it's cool. I'm a cowboy. Because you know, Jeff's not riding anything. But, like, like, neither, believe me, Imus doesn't need to wear a cowboy hat on TV. To me, cowboy hat equals retard. Right. It's a look he's affecting, and I don't know why. I mean, it's a big, giant hat. It's a lot of hat. <laughs> it's a whole thing. Amish is wearing his hat. I'm a cowboy. Must be a whole big deal when he goes to pick a hat, too. Yeah. I don't think Jeff's changed his hat in ten years. Well, yeah, but I'm... I'm I have a new hat for Pam. Oh, really? A Stetson. Hat. <laughs> Even the word hat is funny. You don't need hat. <laughs> wearing a hat. I'm sure Imus has the store closed when he's going to come in. I'm coming hat. I already <laughs> autographed my T-shirt for her. I'm looking for... Cowboy hat. <laughs> I'm going to need to close the store down so I'm not disturbed. Me and Deirdre are going to have her. Deirdre. 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 Me and Deirdre. Me and Deirdre. Because <laughs> Deirdre needs a cowboy hat for the shoot. I don't think Deirdre wears the cowboy hat all the time. As she, religiously as he does. No, yeah. but she wears the buckskins. <laughs> and the turquoise. <laughs> they probably have to go and get completely outfitted. She wears the turquoise. Turquoise. And she cleans the jewelry in the kitchen. Hey, tomorrow remind me to play that Imus bit again where he yeah. talks about his wife and that, that cookbook. i got to listen to that again. Dear, dear, get me my big hat. I'm taking on Chef Ron. Why are you into? Are you a cowboy? I'm into cowboy music. Mm -hmm. So you have to wear a hat. I like country. Oh, Robin, I have a song for you tomorrow too. Oh well. Oh well. Oh well. Save it. Uh, the house next to me is been bought. I'm a kid. They claim to be wild and in, but they're not. <laughs> I know that they are colored people. <laughs> my cowboy hat. My cowboy had a stain. <laughs> Ronnie made me leave the green room. I don't have any way to stay. You're making me feel second best. All right, man, I gotta go. Yep. Take it easy. Take it easy, bro. <laughs> He's upset, I guess. I know. Oh, yeah. He's yeah. bummed. He's going to start crying. Bummed mm -hmm. big time. Because he wanted to come in for Pam Anderson, but yeah. I think it'll be a bit much. You know? He's going to be wasted, and we're going to get all distracted. Hey, what is he going to do? He's not really going to do anything. He's not going to do anything. You know, what's going to happen? <laughs> it's going to be funny. Just stand there and stare at her. I mean, it would be funny. Or dear, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Deirder. 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 Wow. How's he say for Deirder. <laughs> My wife, Deirder. <laughs> Deirder. <laughs> Don't you dare say nothing about my wife, Deirder. <laughs> Because I'll reveal interesting things about you. Interting. 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 You little bitch. Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Hello? Thank you, doodle doo. Hello? Yes? What's up? Uh, hey, dude, come on. You can, What's you, up? You, gotta be, you can't be serious. Sorry. Is this hey, Jeff? Howard. Yeah. I, I'm moving. Really? Yeah. Where to? What country? <laughs> to a trailer park. Oh. Oh. 
It's got <laughs> mad bad. I can't believe a guy who doesn't work and drinks all day is moving to a trailer park. Yeah. Uh, what's up with that? What's the story <laughs> coming to? How is it that a guy... <laughs> You mean who, who is such a good-natured guy, walks around in a big, smelly cowboy hat all day, has a horrible uh, presence, doesn't clean himself up. Hand stamper at a pool. Right. Then loses, loses that. Loses that job. Repeatedly gets arrested for DUIs. <laughs> who doesn't go to work. If that guy's got to go to a trailer park, what's wrong with this country? <laughs> it's time for a change in the administration. Obviously, this administration is messing up. Right. Well, he slipped through the safety net. Now, what do you mean? Did you buy a trailer park home? Yeah. Oh, then that's good. Yep. So you sold your house, your mom's house. Yeah, my uh, mom sold it. Right. And your mom probably couldn't afford to live where she was anymore. She said, well, you know what we'll do? We'll sell the house, make some money, and put the some of the money in the trailer park house, and then we'll have money left over to live. Right. She yeah. looked at her son and said, we belong in a trailer park. Jeez. And did you ever think to say to your mother, Mom, I'll get a job. I'll get a job. Don't sell the house. This is the house you love, and this is the house you grew up with. Oh, well, see, she, she really can't live here. Why not? Because, because you're there. <laughs> because she can't. Why can't she live there? Because she, she can't walk around. Or it's like uneven. She can't really walk around the house at all. Uh, you could have I got a little too child. Why don't you people care about it? I got a little too child. So really, the trailer park is better. And it's you, you ever see those trailer park homes? <laughs> there ain't a lot of living space in there. Oh, oh, no. You're getting a double wide, though, aren't you? We're getting a um, 70-footer. Yeah, see? Sweet. 70 whole feet, huh? 70-footer. <laughs> you can really spread out in there. I guess your mom will probably lose track of you in there. You'll take the oh, front. Yeah. She'll take the back. You won't know each I other's home. One man, she's at the other end. It's my job to unplug our house every night. She's calling Jeff on the phone. Jeff, are you here? Jeff. We're going to have to put in an intercom. It's my job to empty the crapper. Yeah, what's the deal? Do you have, like, oh. one of those porta sand things attached to it? Like, you have to empty it out? No. Where does it go? That's what they do. There's no cesspool. Oh, I don't know. you got to empty it. i never lived in one before. It's like being know. a dog. Like, after you, after you, bow, after you move your bowels, you got to pick it up with a bag. you got a pooper scooper. <laughs> It's an aluminum mansion. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mansion on wheels. So you say you have a 70-footer. What about your neighbors? What what kind of footage do they have? Oh, I really don't know. Those losers, 40 tops. <laughs> Did you get a nice plot? <laughs> yeah. So what do you do? You hook up. It's a home that's hooked up to It's not a mobile home. It's not one of those things you can drive away in. No. No, that, that's like a luxury RV. You, you've got one of those things where it's kind of standing there and there's a, there's a bunch of tin, like aluminum cans next to each other. Yeah. Yeah. But they still keep the axle and the wheels, don't they? So you could go. If you <laughs> yeah, you could. You could go. Yeah. Today a trailer, someday a little bagel. <laughs> so how many bedrooms in this thing? Three. Oh. And, uh... <laughs> Three bedrooms, two full beds. Wow, look at that. A living room. You haven't taken two large. full baths in 20 years. you got to understand, they crammed that into 70 feet. But, yeah, <laughs> does it have, a, like, the fold-up table? Because, the te you know, the kitchen and the living room sort of, like, are the same. Do you got an attached, attached fold-up table? <laughs> no. Oh, that's too bad. You can save some space there. <laughs> i got three beds for when I have two chicks over. Hey, uh, Jeff, I hope there's room for your books, your book collection somewhere. <laughs> yeah, me too. Books yeah. are like kryptonite. <laughs> books are like kryptonite to curl. But what about if Jeff brings a girl home? How's he going to sneak her past? You know think, what? That ain't going to happen. I don't think that scenario has been considered. <laughs> Baby, the be quiet. Door, My though. mom's over there and... I've got a boil on my ass. You don't want to wake up my mom. Why'd you have to leave your old house? It was uneven. <laughs> I've never heard that before. Well, yeah, I don't even understand what that means. You know what that means. My mother to walk on. She can't walk on it because it's uneven? Because, you know, it's like lumpy and stuff. It's lumpy. If this trailer is rocking, don't come a knocking. So the floor was lumpy and you have to leave? No. <laughs> well, we had to leave, honey. No, Lumpy it floor. Ain't the floor. I'm talking about the ground. So, how much money did you get for your old house? Eighty-five. So you took the 100? eighty-five, and what'd you have to pay for the? No, you dumbass. Thousand. 
Eighty-five thousand. Yeah. Well, you're sitting like a king now. And how much does it cost for the new home, the like trailer? Thirty, thirty-something. Oh, oh right, my so. goodness, you're in the money. So you got fifty grand to live on. So bad. Yeah, what are you going to do with the money? I don't know. It's not mine. I. You'll find a way to get your hands on it. Two words, mustache rides. Are you kicking in some of your SSI to help with the bill? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. She's I'm helping. You know what she drinks? That's his whole SSI check. <laughs> right, he doesn't charge her for the booze. No, it's that, back, poor, that poor mother. It's back to domestic beers. <laughs> All right. I'm only drinking Budweiser. I got, a, I got an issue with Caro. What's that? I gave him my mint four rows behind third Yankee. They were yeah. sweet. And someone told me you sold them and didn't go to the game. Oh, baloney, I went. A friend of mine said he saw you walking away from the stadium at about 10 to 7. Oh, the baloney. I was there, dude. All right. I swear to God. I believe You saw the whole game? I saw, well, not all of it. Oh. I saw, okay, I was going about maybe... That was the night they clinched. Why would you leave early? No, I didn't leave early. I didn't listen. Bitch. I went out. <laughs> I went out and I was starving. Aww. The guy says, hey, Jeff, you want a beer? I said, yeah, sir. I said, I'd rather have a hot dog. <laughs> He's like, well, I'll buy you one of those, too. So we had a beer and a hot dog. He said, oh, can I, can I introduce you to some of my buddies? I said, sure. So I went walking through the crowd. You didn't have enough money for a beer and a hot dog. You sent in Artie's mint seats. <laughs> Wait a minute. Of course Wait, he does. And then went out. You walked through the crowd and couldn't find your way back. No, I found my way back. He's saying the mission of the game. I got to the seat just as Bertie Williams hit the home run. <laughs> just you know what I would love? Missed most of the game. <laughs> I would love to like have a. A separate channel where, like, you could have the Yankee game yeah. on the radio, but you let him be the announcer. <laughs> Wouldn't you listen? Bernie Williams. The Yankees are bringing you Mariano the pitch. <laughs> no, mostly he's going out to get beer and hot dogs. Here's the two two pitch to Chef Street. <laughs> <laughs> Here's Darren Jeter. Nice. All right, man. Good luck with that new home. Oh, well, call yeah. us from the new house. Right. Yeah, yeah give I'll us a call. call. From the new pad. That. Yeah, you know, are you going to move yourself or are you going to have a moving company handle things? Um, I think we're going to... I'm not going to move <laughs> anything, but I think, you know, my brothers and sisters will. I missed Jorge oh. hey, Posada's homer. I was in the crapper. But wait a minute, Jeff. There's a lot of stuff in a house that you can't move into the house. So you guys having a yard sale? I think it's a fresh start. <laughs> um, Let's no. sell our old couch. I, I, who's the lucky couple that got to get that? I think I'm probably going to play fumigated. Yeah, who, who needs that couch? <laughs> no one's selling my bumper pool table. <laughs> yeah, well, what, you're probably not bringing a lot of stuff with you. You're starting fresh, right? Yeah, probably. Fresh. <laughs> I think the, the trailer is... Fully furnished, doesn't it? Does Jeff have anything of value? Like, I mean, is there anything he values personally that he'd have to bring with him to the new yeah, house? Pictures. Pictures. Awesome pictures. 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 All right, dude. Autographs. What pictures? Autographs. Okay. Pictures I'll bring you go. I'll bring you go by pictures. Tom Seaver. <laughs> All right, uh, and Jeff, here's uh, five hundred dollars. Oh, thank you, Howard. An Xbox game system and the Leisure Suit Larry Magna Cum Laude video game help Larry learn. It's not who you impress, but who you undress on Xbox, PS2, and PC today. It's five hundred. Help ease the move. Yeah, it's right. five hundred bucks. Get another house. <laughs> All right, hold on. Okay, thanks. I can buy a tire for the trailer. I yeah, get your own double wide. We'll help him out. Give him five hundred. That's nice. That poor mother. Oh. We got to take a break. We will be back right after these words. You little bitch. Jeff the drunk. Good morning. Good morning. Cheerful. How you doing? How's the trailer? Oh, very good. Very good. Half of them. <laughs> Do you have the front part or the back part? I have the front part. I got the part that's outside. <laughs> I'm not familiar with uh, trailer living. So you say you have the front part. Like, isn't that where you drive the thing? <laughs> it's my well, job you know, to plug in my house every morning. No, I just like the front of the, you know, like my side is facing the driveway. My room is right by the steering wheel. I know, I know. It's, <laughs> I've seen them. I, you know what it is? He's got the view. Right. I got, yeah, I got the window. I can see that hook up right into the electricity, and I got the window right into the driveway. 
Hey, Howard, should you do I'm looking favor? right at the porta john <laughs> <laughs> I can see the Pepsi machine. Hey. Wait, so. You live in a, commu a mobile home community, right? Right. Yeah. So now, how far apart are the mobile homes? Um, I, I guess like 15 feet. 15 feet? But, um, Do you have your own plot of land? <laughs> you know, actually, it's ours. We live... There's enough we room for a Johnny Bench batter up. So when we look out the back porch, we don't see no houses. Wow. wow! Look at that! Yeah, so, you know, it's almost like living on your own. <laughs> pretty private, actually. We don't see no houses. So wait a second. You look at the back part, and you can't see anybody else's trailer. Oh, edge. all I would see is woods. Just woods. You know, no one weird is lurking in those woods. Oh no! no. <laughs> Why would that happen? So you're the country, dude. Your mom looks out the back, and yeah. and you look out the front. Yeah. And your closest neighbor is 15 feet. Yeah, probably. But you have the illusion of being alone when you look out that back window. Right, right. <laughs> now, have you guys done the whole thing? It's a wilderness. <laughs> Where you set up an awning as if, you know, it is a house and you have, like, a lawn and a porch? No, well, we have a picnic table and all that stuff. <laughs> outside? Yeah, outside. Does anyone ever come over and use the picnic table even though they're not, not supposed to? Not yet. Just my imaginary friend from the woods. I like when... Two families are living there with nothing, and they fight over a picnic table. <laughs> hey, that's our picnic table. You're using it. Get out of there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't know it was yours. That's my kiddie pool. That's my Budweiser sitting on that table. <laughs> What's the deal with those trail things? Like, do you, get to, do you have to buy your own plot of land, though, to put it on? Yo, well, yeah, you run it. Each month. We rent a parking space. You rent your plot. <laughs> you rent it. Yeah. So, what are responsibilities do you have in terms of, like, once you hitch up to the electricity and the plumbing, is there things you have to do to maintain that? No, no, you just pay the lot, man. But mm -hmm. do you have to cut grass and things like no. that? No. No. All done for they you. They plow, they cut the grass. It's sweet. Sweet living. Life is good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and, you, and you're in the front, your bedroom's in the front, your yeah. mom is in the back. Right. And in the middle is what, the kitchen and the living room? Yep. Yeah. Now, can you stand up? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the cowboy hat doesn't get mashed into the ceiling? No, no. Ouch. I can't even reach the ceiling. Really? Ah, you got a nice set. It's probably higher than the studio. But it's long, it's long, narrow living. In other words, every room is in a row. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, actually, my room's a lot wider than my old room, so. Right. <laughs> and are you friends with any of the other trailer people? Well, I have a brother that lives in town. Yeah. I thought the brother was moving out. You know, yeah, he is. No, my other brother. I have many brothers, Rob. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, Jeff has like seven brothers. Wow. I didn't know you were... I thought there was. I thought it was just you at home. It will, it will be soon. Yeah. Ah. He demands most of the attention. <laughs> <laughs> I'm anyway, Howard, <laughs> did you um, play that song with me and Wendy? Which one? I... Um, it was a remake of oh, those, were the, those Were the Days. Oh, that. Yeah, all sure, all in the family? All right, yeah. I'll play that into commercial break, and then I'll come out, and I'm going to read the Imus story. I have one other question for Jeff. What's now, that, the plumbing yeah. is plumbing. You don't have to go empty anything. I no. don't think so. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> not yet. You don't have a bathroom in your uh, own room. You have one bathroom in there, right? We have, you know, I have, no, we have two bathrooms. Look at you. Oh, you I have that. one right outside my room. My mother has one inside her room. Wow. Yeah. And the shower, you can, you know, you can actually we take both a have showers, yeah. Right. I keep my bathroom in the Burger King. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here's your song request. Thanks, Howard. Howard's turn is not a punk. I'm a retard, you're a drunk. Without the show, I would be sunk. Power Stern. I just want to have sex with him. Power Stern is all a man. Number one on Ray, he ain't no flesh in the pain. I'm too drunk to masturbate. I love Howard as my mate. No one else would be as great. Yes, Howard Stern.
<laughs> you little bitch. <laughs> Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. <laughs> kind of Good morning, Howard. Happy New Year. Thank you, Doodle Doo. Well, yeah. Hello. Oh. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. What's going on? Nice. Carl, right. come on. What do you got to say? Are you upset with me, Howard? Why would I be upset with you? I don't know. Why do you think I'm upset with you? Um, I really don't know. So why would you ask that question? I don't know. You don't know because anything. You wouldn't pick up the phone. Well, just because I don't pick up the phone every time you call doesn't I mean I'm mad at you. The world doesn't revolve around you. I got to tell you, Howard, this guy is like a broad. If you don't call him back in 10 minutes, you get a message going, Hey, Hardy, what's the deal? Call me, dude. What, do you don't like me? Yeah, I don't like you. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, what do, what's going on? Jeff, we like you. It's just that the whole show doesn't revolve around you, and if I can't get to you, it's, you know. I feel like that. Is it mandatory every time he sees your name to pick up the phone? No. So why am I mad at you? You're like a chick. No, you're high maintenance. I've been, I've been trying to call since you come back. All right, so. What have you got to say? Nothing. Well, it's going to say Happy New Year and everything. Wow. Can't well, imagine I, I waited. That. Yeah, I can't imagine I actually put that call off. <laughs> oh, yeah, my mother fell. Oh, your mother fell? Yeah. Well, of course, her son's a complete pain in the ass. Well, it's not like he pushed her down. I had to push her, dude. Uh, don't you think that woman's worn out? This guy, how old are you again? He thinks, he's, he thinks he's falling from exhaustion. Me? Oh, yeah. I'm 37. 37. He still lives at home. They're, now they're in a trailer because he won't work. You know, they're in one of these trailer park homes. So she's uh, expected to collapse. I mean, and she lives with him. What did she do, Jeff? She got hurt bad? Broke her hip, yeah. Oh, Well, no. it's in the jeans. He falls all the time, too. <laughs> But when you break your hip, that's bad news. Of course it's bad. Jeff can't take care of her. No. Jeff, maybe you ought to clean up, get a job, and then your mom can get some good medical care. Nah. Forget it. Why maybe. would I do that, dude? Why would I do that, dude? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> Who needs medical care? Hey, I just want you to pick up the phone. <laughs> I'm so happy to you. You're going to help your mom out, or are you going to be a big of pain in the ass? Of course going to help her out. Come on. I'm How? already drinking a beer. I sprung right into action. Was she in the hospital? Yeah. Yep. Oh, no wonder you're uh, on the phone. And she has insurance? No. Yeah, of course not. No, we're paying for it. She's probably hoping one of our son would take care of her, but... Jesus, what a mess. She don't have medical insurance? He's not the only son. No. What happens if she dies? Is the trailer paid for clear so you can live there the rest of your life? Yeah, that's good. No. Get your own place. No. You hey. mean he doesn't inherit the trailer? He does. He's what he's saying. Oh, yeah. okay. Well, that's good news. Everyone's taking care of him. Hey, Howard. I got my website up. That's good. Your mom's in the hospital and you got the website up. Well, I'm t like I planned it that way. <laughs> Do I look like a planner? <laughs> no, I don't think you plan anything. Exactly. <laughs> I've been working. All right, what's, you want to plug for your website? Go ahead. Anyway, it's jeffthedrunk.net. Dot .net. Oh, you couldn't get dot .com. No one had, no. Someone had Jeff the Drunk. <laughs> what's that, Hardy? Someone had jeffthedrunk.com? No, well, you know, my ex-manager. <laughs> he had that, huh? He still has it. He's so. got it. He's playing hardball. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I can't believe you broke up with your manager. I can't believe your manager won't give that over. He won't give it to me. <laughs> What's he doing with it? I don't know. Well, he claims that, oh, I don't have nothing to do with that. But, yeah, I can't give it till. I called up the people. They said, I can't give it till July or something like that. All right. I don't know. All right. Well, hey, Happy New Year. And, oh, yeah, one more thing. You know, um, Lee? Crazy cabbie. Yeah. I don't think he's crazy at all. I think he's pulling all our legs. <laughs> all right, thanks. He knows what's up. you got to get up early. to get, get one up pretty early in the morning yeah. to screw around with Lee. All right, Jeff. Okay. Thanks. Jeff the Drunk, everyone. Wishing everyone a happy new year. Informing us of more misfortune. His yeah, mother's yes, his hip mother is broken. Fell. Sitting on a fat $600 mm -hmm. insurance policy. You know, I'm sure there's so much room in that trailer that yeah. it's, it's shocking that she would fall over something. <laughs> she hit her head on the steering wheel.
<laughs> Bob fell and hit her head on our house's steering wheel. <laughs> I guess when she was emptying out the toilets, maybe she slipped and fell. Because Jeff's passed out on the couch. She was emptying the crapper. She was emptying that blue water, the canister that hooks under the toilet. My mother fell in our house and hit her head on the glove compartment. Because, you know, Jeff must really help out around oh, that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, he lifts his legs maybe when she's <laughs> trying to clean. She tripped over me. I was asleep on the dryer. She was cleaning my bed sores and she fell. <laughs> she was. I'm 37 with bed sores. <laughs> she was trying to pull down the fold away bed and she slipped. No, that's the kitchen table she was Oh, well, to slash do. kitchen I table. <laughs> bed slash kitchen table. My mother tripped running an extension cord to plug in our house. <laughs> You little bitch. Want to go to another drunk? <laughs> Jeff the drunk. Oh, yeah. Oh. Hey, Jeff. Good morning. What can, we do, what can we do for you? I just want to say happy Valentine's Day, Robin. No, well, thank you, Jeff. I was, I'm at Lezinski. Oh, no. Lezinski? I was He's not joking. Here. <laughs> that was a joke. What would you, you, you give your mom for Valentine's Day? Nothing yet. You're not giving her anything, are you? I am. No, you're not. I am. This poor, this poor woman lives with him in a trailer. He, he mooches off her. He won't get a job. He, uh, this poor woman won't even get a Valentine's no, chocolate. No, she won't even get a card. I have a I'm out. What? I have a job. What's your job? I'm, I'm selling stuff on the internet. Oh. <laughs> you sell your mom's stuff on the internet? No. What stuff I are sell you my selling? Own stuff. What do you sell? Like t-shirts, yeah. pictures, phone calls. Why don't you just give your mom like... What does he think? He's a pretty girl? Why don't you just vomit into a box and then give it to your mom? <laughs> <laughs> Instead of like just doing it right on the floor. Wait, let me wrap your gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he thinks he's a hot chick. He's selling yeah. t-shirts. <laughs> I'm selling my pen. He's selling his pictures. Why don't, you, why don't you vomit in a box in the shape of a heart? You think I could play that game? No. What? No. No. <laughs> He's shocked. <laughs> Bob, for Valentine's Day, I fell in the dryer. <laughs> How's life in the trailer? All right. Thinking of moving out and getting your mom her own place? No. No. Thinking of changing parking spaces? Dude, get your mom a card, for Christ's sakes. The woman puts up with such crap from you. I am. I mean, honestly, man. I mean, How's he going to get out to get a card? I can't get out. I'm too lazy. <laughs> Where am I going to go? Why do they have cards? <laughs> hey, Je Jeff tells me he cooks for his mother, right? Don't you cook for yeah, him? Yeah, yeah. Wow, what a treat. With that one hand? What do you make? Um, well, what some I cooked, I made pork chops. Do you have any feeling in that bad hand? Nothing, no. Funny if you just stuck that in the frying pan and cooked it. <laughs> I turned it. <laughs> I flipped it. <laughs> Mom, here's some hand and eggs. <laughs> I'm cooking my hand. <laughs> I'm, 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 I call this hand and eggs. More <laughs> bad hand and eggs. <laughs> Green eggs and hand. <laughs> Have an eggs and hand sandwich, please. <laughs> <laughs> Ham and cheese. You got that hat on right already? No. Yeah. No. What are you in bed calling us from bed? Yep. Yeah. Just gonna chill out today. <laughs> Just waking up. <laughs> gonna really wake up. Have a drink yet? Not yet. Not yet. What when you when will be the first drink? Who knows? Probably in an hour or so, huh? Well. Do you start right away? You once you get up you start drinking? No. When do you start? Uh, Maybe you smoke some weed when you get up. Maybe, yeah. yeah. That's what you do in the morning. Okay. How do you have money for weed? I don't know. He always has a little weed. Does he? Yeah. You want me to take it right now? Yeah, do whatever you want, man. Let's hear that. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Let me give up. Uh-oh. Imagine, <laughs> imagine his mother's life. I mean, she, she's well, her son. She has to look at it. I'm day. thinking he sleeps in the front. She's trapped in the back. Hold on. I'm getting there. He's like, let me get up. Oh. 
What is that site like? Oh, I can't even imagine. What does he sleep in? I feel bad for the weed. <laughs> He's a real looker without the hat, too. <laughs> <laughs> the matted down greasy hair. Oh my God. Where do you think he sleeps in? Just like his underwear or something? You know what he looks like without the hat? You know, like in that movie Escape from Alcatraz, the fake heads they left in the bed? <laughs> Is your mom still in the hospital? No, she's home. Oh, yeah. she was in the hospital? I didn't realize. Yeah, she broke her hip. Yeah, trying oh, to run away from no. him. Oh, she really is trapped. Yeah, she's trapped in that trailer with him. <laughs> and look who's taking care of her. Nobody. Yeah. No one. I take care of my a vegetable. mommy. <laughs> a vegetable's taking care of mom. <laughs> I take care of my mama. Stop. Do you ever, like, wake up in the morning and say, today I'm going to change my life and I'm going to get a job and I'm going to... Maybe take care of my mom. Okay, I'm ready to hit this. All right. It's back. I'm ready to go. Go ahead. Okay. Like a child. Like, where does he get the money for weed? Of course, this isn't funny because he doesn't have a bong and you can't hear it. Yeah, what's he sucking on? A, a joint? joint? yeah. He wants us a to bowl. hear it. A Hold on. Pipe. I didn't get a good enough hair. Hold on. I got I can still remember I'm alive. Imagine he just woke up and he's hitting it already. <laughs> that he has it is ridiculous because he has no money. <laughs> hey, Mom, what are you doing? Whoa. <laughs> I think you need another hit. This oh. is life. Oh, I got it right here, dude. Hold on. Oh, no. Two. Oh, God. Compare <laughs> his life to, like, like Nikki Hilton. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> Why would I do that? If this is what happened to you when you Whoa. smoked. Makes me feel good. Jeff, did that wake your mother up or what? No, she's, just, she's, she's on the other side of the cell, dude. <laughs> oh, got... yeah, nobody can hear anything that far away. <laughs> she's in the trunk. You know how those trailers are insulated. <laughs> you know what? There's a big imaginary line down the middle of the trailer. She stays on her it's side. It's like she's at the other wing of the trailer. No, my mom's at work. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, she hobbled there with a broken hip. <laughs> she dragged herself. <laughs> My mom's built in the deck. She's hopping around pretty good. Yeah, that's great. She's hopping yep. around pretty good. Yeah. Yep. All right, bro. I gotta. Uh, I gotta go. Good to hear from you. Happy Valentine's Day. Yeah, happy Valentine's Day. Uh, right. Have a nice breakfast, Jeff. Hey, wait a second. Be quiet for a second. I hear your mom crying on the other side of the trailer. <laughs> no, it's not. Come on. Hey, mom. <laughs> <laughs> she's not. Crying. <laughs> Hey, can I, can I throw in the plug, Howard? <laughs> I sold stuff on the internet, Mom. Good news. <laughs> <laughs> what have you sold so far? Have you sold a t-shirt? So yeah, I got you bought one. Who? Benny Favalli. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Hey, you want me to take another hit for you guys? Sure, yeah, go ahead. God, I can't okay. Wait. Yeah, do this all morning. <laughs> sure, I can. Are you hey, feeling is the guy coming in today? Who? So that's too so long. Yeah, he'll be in later. <laughs> Gary, the eighth? maybe tomorrow. Right? Oh, wait, Gary says uh, he thought it was this year. It turns out it's 2020. <laughs> Jeff's calendar says March 8th. Most of us is the Lord's coming oh. in today. It's the 14th. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Is that really what happens every time you take a hit? Not every time. Uh, <laughs> not every time. Uh, uh, yeah, just sometimes. 
God, I'm so jealous. Sounds like such a party going on there. Nice. Yeah. I guess the girls will be coming over soon. Um, sometime. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll be back right after. Okay, I will have a good one. Thank you, Jeff. Bye-bye. All right, bye-bye. Now that we all feel better about our lives... <laughs> That's just... Don't you think like the kids at the trailer park throw stuff at oh, Jeff? Oh, yeah, yeah, they gotta. I hope not. But... Stop it, Timmy! <laughs> you little bitch! Yes, Jeff the Drunk, you're on the air. Good morning, Howard. <laughs> I gotta admit, that was pretty funny yesterday when you were smoking weed in your trailer. Oh, yeah? Yeah. A lot of people wrote in, they like it. Want to do, to do another pop I don't know, man. I guess so. <laughs> Are you up already? I just woke up. I'm going shopping. We were talking to this dude yesterday. You missed it. And Jeff the Drunk was smoking weed early in the morning. Well, he got up to do it. He was in bed when he called it. It's really disturbing when he smokes because he's so... The cough is just disturbing. Yeah, those lungs just rattle. I'm going shopping. I'm hitting Barney's. Here we go. Have a... Wish me luck. It... I don't know, you know, it's like when he smokes, it's violent. Yeah, it's not funny. It must be the worst, harshest weed ever. Well, I've, how much could he afford? I find it hilarious. <laughs> Hello? Oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. Oh, I, I didn't get a good popper. Oh, how was that enjoyable to you? That wasn't good. Jeff, how was that enjoyable to you? Oh, no, I get high, dude. I know, but isn't that cough just disturb you? Oh, no. No, that doesn't bother him. He's got to have, like, the beginnings of lung cancer, right? Because he's... It sounds like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Beginnings. <laughs> Final stage. I mean, yeah. It's, I mean, he looks like he's about, he's about a week. <laughs> <laughs> That's his mother's alarm clock. She hears him smoking in the morning. And... No, no, no. She don't wake up, dude. Does your mom, like, get upset that you smoke weed, or is she, like, giving up? Oh, she, you know, I don't, I don't smoke all the time. But the trailer now must reek of... No. It's got to be such a depressing life for that mother. Like, he still lives at home. How old are you now, 35? Yeah. And he looks like he's 55. Hey, Howard, I got an idea. And he smokes and drinks all the time, doesn't leave the trailer. I have an idea. I've got to go now, Madge. My 38-year-old son is coughing from weed. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, 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 does your mom smoke weed? No. And, like, the, does she ever try even bothering to try to straighten out your life, or she just accepts you? She accepts me. Because like, Kathy giving Lee... up all her friends because she really can't talk. Every... As soon as they say, how's Jeff, the conversation's over. I, I don't think... Uh, you know what? <laughs> hey, Kathy Lee says we have to love our children unconditionally. Uh-huh. Even if they're, you know, messed up, you have to love them. But do you think Kathy Lee could love Cody if she if he turned into Jeff the drunk? Absolutely not. All right. Oh, come on now. Do you think your mother loves you? I know she does. Does she ever say to you, my poor boy, what happened? Like, does she ever, like, cradle you in her arms and say, my poor boy, or she doesn't even touch you? No, she, she can't even touch me. Dude. She can't touch you. Oh, no, she does. Because you're gross, right? <laughs> like, even your own mother does it. Does your mother ever, like, hold you and, like, hug you and kiss you? Yeah. But it's got to be gross for her. I mean, you smell and you're sweaty. You don't work. Uh, you're, in the, you're, you're drunk all the time. I just want to say Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Howard, I got a good idea. You still smoking that weed, or is it... Yeah. Jeff, where do you get weed? I mean, do you, do you have a dealer? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey. I have a buddy. What do you pay for weed? Um, about 35 a neck. A nickel bag, 35? Yeah. Is that bad or good? I would that's, know. No, that's a pretty good price, actually. A nickel bag. How does a nickel bag last you? How long does that last you? Oh, about a little bit of weed. Two days. Yeah. Two days. <laughs> and then how do you go and find him to get more? Um, I the bat signal. <laughs> yeah. You call him up, he delivers? Yeah. Oh. That joint's still burning? 
What's that? That joint is still burning? Uh, it was a bowl. I packed the bowl. Uh. Yeah, he's got a pipe. He can't roll a joint. Yes, I can. Oh, you can? Hell yeah. Yeah, Robin. <laughs> where do you, uh, so where do you get the 35 bucks for a nickel bag of weed? Um, you know. Like, at what I, point did you just stop caring? Like, like you, you like even with you around your mom, you're drunk, and, like, like you st like most kids won't smoke weed in front of their parents, but, like, you just, you don't I care. I don't smoke in front of my mother. Well, and you're in a trailer right now with her. She can't be that far away. She's on the other side of the house. Yeah, house. It's a trailer. She, she's two feet from you. She can't, she's got to be smelling that weed. Where's she, in the trunk? Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, how big could the trailer be? She's got to hear you. Does she get the master bedroom, or do you? She does. Thank God. But, yeah, she can hear you coughing when you smoke and all that. What's your room look like? Do you have, like, posters hanging up? Like Jimi Hendrix posters? Did you decorate? Or, um, yeah, well. <laughs> like, do you decorate? Well, and Jennings. Waylon Jennings. Yeah. He's hanging on your walls, like, posters of him? Yeah, well, I got one post. Well, it's a picture I took. It's blown up. Mm. And he signed it. That's it? That's the only decoration on your wall? No, I have a lot of autographs. Daniel Tucker, Artie Lang. <laughs> Do you have to hide your pot or can you just leave it out? Hide it. So you're still living like a 12 year old. Yeah. Hide it. <laughs> Mom, I don't smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, could you send us pictures of your room for the website? Yeah. Yeah. Uh oh. Yeah, I got. <laughs> Hello? Hello? Are you deaf? <laughs> yeah, I can. Jeez. Imagine smoking, oh, imagine smoking weed with this guy. Would you want to take a hit off no, that joint? No, hey, he can have the rest of it. <laughs> you can bogart that joint, my friend. Yeah, why, do you, why do you hang on to that, Jeff? <laughs> Don't pass that over to me. I used to always say that. Like, in New York City, before cell phones, I used to steve pay phones. I would never want to talk on them. Right. But I'd go to an Allman Brothers concert at the Beacon, and someone who looks like Jeff gives me a joint. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah, sure, man. I'm in. <laughs> we were talking to Jeff yesterday just about his life and stuff. But, but you know what's weird? Like, firefighters who went through 9-11, they don't even cough as bad as that. Oh, my God. Not no. even close. Dead people don't cough as bad as that. Do you, do, do you always... Uh, sometimes it almost sounds like you're laughing through the cough. Yeah, no, it does, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. Well, are you, is it not. possible for you to take a hit off your pipe and then speak afterwards? Sure. You want me to try it? Go ahead. Okay, buddy. Take a good, healthy buddy, one, though. Buddy. Hold on, though. Buddy. <laughs> I gotta get a Waylon Jennings poster. <laughs> it's a picture I took, damn it. Hold on. I'm looking forward to this. Yeah, I gotta see that room. I gotta hear this hit. <laughs> well, I think it's a bunch of one. Hold on. Right. Yeah, you got to repack that bowl, I think. Yeah, you got to give up that nickel bag. <laughs> just doesn't sound like fun when he smokes. No, it sounds like something nobody okay, should do. Okay, what do you want me to say? What do you want me to say? See, you can control it. What's that? Sounds like you can control your cough. I, I no, well, I think it's a big hit, you know. Yeah, if he doesn't take a real oh. big hit, he oh. doesn't cough. I want to hear you take a big hit. And then talk. Well, hold on. Hold on, let me pack it again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Damn it. Yeah, Scott. Scott, you there? No, Scott's oh. not there. Can I give you a little what? fact I learned about Jeff yesterday? Go ahead. Um, he spends a lot of his days playing Xbox. But, but he can only play games that you can use one hand for. So mostly he plays bowling and golf. Because yeah. he can't use two hands. Yeah, they, they design a lot of games for people with <laughs> one hand. Frank, you're on Yeah, there. that's why I broke my um, MP3 player playing Xbox. Frank. Hey, what's up, Howard? You're a ghost joke. What? Uh, you told you a joke. Just got ripped off for those time bags, uh, nickel bags, Howard. Oh, yeah? So you can get an eighth of an ounce for 50 bucks. Yeah, uh, yeah, all right. 
I'm sure Jeff knows what to pay for pot. That's one thing he's an expert in. Now, the guy's delivering. He's not going out to get it. Then why can't he go out to get it? That's the other question. <laughs> he's I busy. Have. Are you too busy? To I go live by? in the country, dude. All right, so why can't you go pick up your own pod? Maybe save a couple of bucks. I don't think he's got a car. Oh. Exactly. How am I going to get to work? And the guy delivers to you? Yeah. No. So what do you <laughs> do all day? Mm -hmm. What do you do all day up in the country? Nothing? You take a walk and go, go by your pot. Drive your home to him. <laughs> oh, yeah, I would have an idea. Hey, Debbie Gibson's coming in. Who posts? Is she here yet? She's here. Oh, she is. Yep. Right. No one told me. Yeah, Jeff, did I, as well what is with our system? How long? No, we were going to put the note up. She just got here. We were just going to put the note up in a couple of minutes. I know. You know, if I didn't ask, I know. No, no, you don't have it. it. We didn't. We wanted to take a break first. Why? Because there's things we need to talk to you about during the break. Uh, you guys uh, pre-interviewed her. Yeah, and this, yeah, exactly. Found out some crap about her. Just some interesting stuff that you should know before you talk to her. Like what? I don't want to talk about it. Hey Gary, I'll see Let's you up here on Friday. Let's get her in here and just talk to her. You know, it's funny how I'm doing a gig in Albany on Friday. Yeah. It's really funny. It's like a, a, a going to a bunch of bars doing the Guinness toast. And the people that work at the Albany station, they are like, oh, Jeff's going to show up. And I'm um, like, well, I said, let Jeff show up. That'll be fun. They go, it's eh, not it's fun. It's never fun. <laughs> Why is it not fun? I don't know. They were. They started to tell me. and I said, Doesn't he start asking for things and then getting demanded? I said, listen, the no. audience loves Jeff. Let Jeff come. I think I'm going to like five bars. And they go, He'll show up to all of them. We're only letting him come on to the last bar. And I go, why? And they just, I, they didn't fully. It's hard to deal with. It's just too much. Well, yeah. I've done gigs in Albany where Jeff shows up, Howard. Yeah. And he does walk in and take over. Like, what does he do? Well, he just goes, he walks in and like, you know, I played this theater, the Egg Theater, beautiful theater up there with a big backstage. He walks in and he immediately goes to the people at the radio station like, where's my beer, dude? Oh, he starts ordering people <laughs> yeah, around. Yeah, like, like he becomes like a, a difficult performer. I'm so if you go anywhere, like, I need a beer. If you go to any appearance, right? Yeah. Where you go to I'm a local here. Where's my where? Right. Who's taking right. care of Hello, I need a beer. But Howard, if you go to any appearance at a local market where one of the whack packers show up, they're thrilled because it sort of adds to it. Right. They're just not thrilled about Jeff. Right. Yeah, he actually puffed daddy. <laughs> right. You'd think that they hired him to come there, and he's doing mm. them the favor by showing up. And then he tries to control what you do after the gig. He's like, where are you going after the show? I'm like, I don't really know about you. He goes, that place is lame. Come with me. No. Oh. <laughs> he knows. But he knows where the hot spots are. And then after one gig in Albany, I shot pool with him. I run the table, hit the eight in the wrong pocket, and I had to pay him five hundred dollars. <laughs> Did you really pay him? Of course I paid him. I pay my bets. He, well, if he can't get out to buy pot. How does he get to these gigs? Yeah, I, that's a good question. He has a limo. That's the other thing. He snakes like a limo out of people. He came in a limousine the last time I was up there. Jeff, how are you getting to my gig on Friday night? Um, I got a ride. You got a limo? You got the limo? No. Right. I didn't I, get it yet. Uh, uh, maybe. Uh, all right. Who cares? I got to go. Hey, Jeff, thanks for calling. Hey, Howard. Yeah. I have an idea. All right. I got to get to Debbie Gibson. Jeff the drunk on the red carpet. All right. Thank you. Does that sound come good or what? That, I wonder. Uh, I hey, I, you want me to take one more? I hate when he goes. I hate I that. Know. One more? I know you do. Sorry, Howard. I only did a watch for you. All right. A parting uh, hit. A parting pop. A boating pup. Hold on. I wonder when the last time his mother, like, kissed him and held him. She's in the room crying, don't you? Yeah, I know. I'd, I'd love to talk to that mother. Can we ever get her on the phone? <laughs> no. How Why? About... She loves you, but she don't want to talk to you. Not even for some money? No. She's in the kitchen conducting an experiment. She's trying to see if a woman can fit in a microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now. <laughs> Be nice. All right, I gotta go. Uh, okay, then. that All was right. a good hit. That was a bad Sorry. hit. Even your hits were bad. Be nice. I'll take one more. I'll, take, I'll do one more pop. All right. And it will be good, okay? I'll uh, cough. No, I, no, it's it, not about that. We just want to take a good, strong. I don't care. Okay. I gotta go. Uh, All right. There you go. I'll cough. <laughs> We're waiting for a guy to take a bong hit or whatever it is, a it's pipe. <laughs> and it was well worth it. <laughs> we, we were sitting in the office yesterday. Oh, whoa. <laughs> whoa. He sort of sounds like Luke Costello when he sees Right. Does, does blood come up? Oh, oh, my God. Oh, boy. Is okay. That, is that blood? 
No. Oh, man. Anyway, you have to have a great day. My ride is here to pick me up. My ride. All right, we got to take a break. We'll come back with Debbie Gibson, who's... <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back right after these words. Maybe I didn't love you <laughs> quite as often as I could have. <laughs> I like it. Maybe I didn't treat you quite as good as I could have. The Playboy wow. Girls, I'm back up singing. If I made you feel low, sick of best. Girl, I'm sorry I was born. You have to smoke a lot of weed to listen to this. <laughs> but you were always on my mind. Sing it, baby. You were always on my mind. You little bitch. I'm going to give you guys a choice now as to what you want to hear next. Um, okay. Do you want to hear High Pitch Eric call a hypnotist about the fact that he's a fat woman? Who's High Pitch? That's right. funny. And it's good. It's real good. This is Kelly. You want me to pick up the phone and hear how Jeff the Drunk claims he got a new job? <laughs> that's, or, that's even funnier. Or, I, I don't know about that. <laughs> what could he be doing? Or... Do you want me to give away some money with the Gary the Retard memory game? Because I still have a couple of those left. Yikes. You know, pick up the, the phone on Jeff. All right. Jeff the Drunk. Good morning. How are you? Good. How's everyone doing? All right. So you say you have a new job. What is it? Yeah, I'm going to be co-hosting with the King of All Black dot com next Friday. Co-hosting what? Well, this Friday is Internet Show. Oh, my. So you guys are going to screw it up. You ought to wait until I go to... And I told you, a lot of people are going to be getting their own shows. Oh. Because I have endless channels to fill. Well, I they're going to be on the internet. I ain't going to screw it up, dude. So, Is it? Well, because you're going to do it. You're gonna do do it. it. You guys are going to be unfunny. You're going to yeah, do a bad job. Yeah, they're going to do a bad job, and then nobody will want to hear you on it. Uh -uh. But I, well, hey, then I won't go. Do what you have to do. No, you already I already committed won't go. yourself, no. Jeff. If you committed, no, you got to go do it. What? If you committed, you have to do it. Oh, boy. It'd That's be... part oh. of having a job. I'm saying no. <laughs> See, I have this whole idea that, like, a guy like Jeff, like, we take a channel and we give him a show for even, like, a half hour. Because yeah. you can't take a whole two hours of him. A half hour. And, like, it's called, like, like for me, it would be Jeff the Drunk Hand Stamping Show. That's what it would be called. The Hand Stamper. The Hand Stamper of the month is. Yeah, and then, and then, like, Jeff is an expert on hand stamping. You know that. He uh, had a job. Of course. He did that for a living. He used to stand at the pool and stamp people's hands. And then, from that, we'll springboard the rest of the show. You can call up and ask him stuff. He'll do his bits. He'll, he'll... His bits? Yeah, his bits. Whatever that is. Like, smoke... Like, like he could come on and smoke some weed and cough into right, the microphone. Right. I can listen to that for ten minutes. <laughs> we do it all the time. When he lights up, I'm riveted. Well, yeah, well, that's but the thing. But he still needs some direction. You just can't have the guy going out no, there willy-nilly. No, he's out there on his own. Yeah. And then you have his stock picks. You know what I'm doing up there. See, he's lighting up. Watch. Tell me what uh, I'm I was getting it ready, dude. Oh. A I was getting it back. Pack of a bowl. Give people a sample of what your show is going to sound like. Okay, hold on. All right. Uh. Call his mom and make her cry. I'll stop. You know what I mean? In truth, I'd just like to see Jeff get himself up every morning and get himself to Well, that'd be also, it'll be like, will Jeff get here for the show? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just going to be like, great. I'm on the bus. Yeah, right. Like, you give him a phone and you go, <laughs> I'm late, God damn it. <laughs> I gotta get to work. And then he's just sitting there drinking and ordering people to get him drinks. Right, you know what a baby he is. I mean, how he turns everyone into a mother substitute and they have to get him stuff. You okay. Give, you give him his own show, he's going to be like... Oh, a nightmare. Yeah. Right. No, I'm going to be okay. All I'll right. be fine. You show never even know when you're a nightmare. Uh, are, you t are you smoking some weed now? Here we go. Right, yeah, I'm ready. So all of a sudden he lights up and then you listen. Listen. <clears throat> Ha, ha, ha. 
How is that? Oh. Is that radio or what? Nice. Nice. <laughs> How can that happen every time? You'd think that some of his lines would be clear. Girl. Oh, girl. Not now. <laughs> Just calm <come> down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my point is... From in, the trailer. on the In the right structure, your show could be a big hit. But you and King of All Blacks go off on the internet half cocked. I know they can't wait. Right. Go ahead. Do what you have to do. No, uh, no, I'm, I'm not committed yet, dude. You just announced it. I know. I announced it. <laughs> Doesn't mean he's going to actually follow through. <laughs> well, that's not good, Jeff. Here's the problem. Did you did you just hear Sylvester Stallone talking about the Rambo incident where he wrote Rambo and then wanted to destroy the film because it was three hours and it was too long and it wasn't yeah. good. And then someone came in and edited it down and took out all of his you know parts that he didn't like and it was turned into a masterpiece. Right. The difference between you going on an internet thing with no guidance and you going on eh, 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 with guidance in a half hour structured format is the difference between success and failure. That's right. But I ain't doing it that way. No, nah, do what you have to do. I, you, I, that's you, what I have to do. I have to not do it. You agree to do it, Jeff. We want to hear it. Bring us a tape. Okay. All right. Bye. Bye. He's <laughs> so funny. I'm not doing it. Hello, how can I have you? Hello. Yes. Is this the Japanese restaurant? Mm-hmm. How you going? Yeah. I just ordered some sushi from you people last night. What's this green stuff? Hello? What's this green stuff? Wasabi, Tim Bob. Hold on, I'm asking the lady. Is this wasabi? It's wasabi. 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 Where? Wasabi. Now, what, what is that stuff? Wasabi, not wasabi. Whatever it is. Can I eat this stuff? Yeah, yeah. Hold on, let me try some of this. Hold on, let me taste this. Okay. <laughs> Hello? Water or something? Hello, how can I help you? Hello? Hello there. Yes, what can I do for you? Yeah, that, that was a My husband just tried something. My God, he's coughing up a storm. You never tried that before? Well, what is he going to do? I mean, his stuff... Can you drink some tea? His tongue's all falling out and stuff. It's hot. Can you drink some hot water? Oh, 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 I like that they keep calling back the woman at the Japanese restaurant. Like right. they they won't call a hospital. <laughs> He's dying. Yeah, like she must know what to I do. Now. <laughs> we need your help. I like the second call. He calls back. He's just he called back the call. I know. I know that the coughing. That's all there is. She hangs a phone up. call of coughing. She hangs up. She seems genuinely concerned in the beginning. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. Anybody want to hear from um, Jeff the drunk? He wants to do a bowl for us. That seems to be his thing now. <laughs> You want to hear it, Artie? I know it makes you laugh. Uh, well, look, I always like to hear it, but it's up to you. Jeff? Good morning. I hope we're not encouraging marijuana use for Jeff by listening to him do his bowl hits. Yeah, but I just feel he does it anyway. Think of I, all... I think the coughing has to be a deterrent, don't you? No, but think of all the people we're discouraging. Right. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's true. I didn't look at it that way. Yeah, I, mean, yeah, Jeff... I think it's a turnoff. Jeff's gone already. I mean, you know. Save yourself. Yeah. Yeah, save yourself. It's too late for This is my message. It's too late for me. <laughs> okay, you ready? Okay. <laughs> I think that's the match or the lighter. And the inhale. <laughs> and the down. <dial. laughs> and the lung tissue. It 
almost sounds like you're laughing during it. I don't. Are you? <laughs> now, Howard. <laughs> you said you wanted me to try to talk. <laughs> when I took a big hit. <laughs> what do you want me to try to say? Uh... I'm a big loser, and this is my brain on drugs. <laughs> I'm a big loser, this is my brain on drugs. Okay. Okay. All right, here we go. Oh. Uh, um. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a big loser. <laughs> Drug statement. Yep. What are you doing today? Um, not a lot. <laughs> really? Why am I surprised? I'm chilling. Just yep. chilling. You got anything to do today? Um, no. So, like, like, how do you approach the day? I mean, you got like hours ahead of you of doing nothing. Um, you know, <laughs> but the Xbox. I see a bunch of Xbox in my future. Yeah. Do you have friends that come over and play Xbox, or is it pretty much a side? No, just me. Yeah. And then, like, after, like, two hours of Xbox. Hey, tell Scott to pay together. Minus 27. And, like, after, like, a couple hours of Xbox and you eat lunch, like, what do you do the rest of the day? The rest of the day? Um, I take a nap. <laughs> Don't you just hate the Xbox anymore? <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, 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 it doesn't get old? <laughs> yeah, do you ever read um, a, do you ever read actually, Sean's sending me, you know, Bill Juice and Sean. Yeah. He's sending me some extra Xbox games that ever, our son don't use anymore. Do you ever read a book or um, no. better yourself in some way? No. What about the newspaper? Um, well, I read the Star of the Acquirer, if that counts. Yeah. No, it counts. It's reading. I mainly look at the pictures, though. <laughs> do you ever cry throughout the day? Never. Never. You never no, said. No, sometimes, but not a lot. I mean, after the nap, what do you do? Um, think about dinner. Smoke a bowl. <laughs> All right. I gotta Wake go. and bake. You know what I mean, brother? All right, I got to go. Okay, you have a good one. Later, Jeff. Later, bitch. At about three, I try to fit into the blender. <laughs> bye, Artie. <laughs> bye, Robin. Bye, bye. Bye, Jeff. Bye, Jeff. <laughs> what a day. Another great day. I'm jealous. I, like, I, I have to go to the dentist today. And, like, I'm, I'm thinking about, gee, if I go to the dentist, how am I going to fit in the 57 billion phone calls I have to make, my time with my kids, and everything else? He's going to sit there, play some Xbox, smoke some weed. And nobody's going to interrupt him. My house needs a break, John. <laughs> like, even while you're at the dentist, your phone will be ringing. Right. Nobody's going to interrupt Jeff. He's going to have uh, interruption-free time with his <laughs> Xbox. Gets to really know himself. <laughs> All right, anything else in the news, Robin? You little bitch. I'm glad he's found a new muse. He used to sing for me. <laughs> it's really creepy when he sings to you because he looks at you like he wants to rape you. Oh, no. Yeah. Robin's yeah. relieved. Yes, absolutely. Thank goodness. Yeah. Well, at least you have the glass there. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Do you a, want some glass? <laughs> yeah, we can put a glass <laughs> I need a around shield. you. I'm a fan of your calendar, to be honest with you. Thank you. I love that calendar. Thank you so much. That is really good. Thank where is Where's Jeff the drunk? Is he coming in? Well, you know he's a little bit slow. Actually, we should put Jeff in the glass, like the Pope Mobile or something. I'll be here in a second. He's stumbling from the other side of the state, uh, the building. Uh oh. Uh -oh. I'll be there. Uh -oh. He's being annoying, so they banished him back down there. So uh -oh. he's, he'll be here in a second. <laughs> Oh, big hey. deal. I just came on the couch. He's all drunk, and they have to walk him up. They, they would, they would have kept him close by, but he was being so annoying. They, they walk him to the back of the building, uh -huh. and then when we call for him, they try to drag him up out of the couch, and he's all wasted. Why don't we get a wheelchair so for his quick transport, we can get him here? Ronnie hates me, and yeah. he's really drunk for real. Oh, oh yeah, oh, he's a no big ass. mess. Like from the night last night or from this? No, morning? he's drinking this morning. 
Really? He's just, he's 37 years old. He looks like he's 60. Ooh. Oh, come on. Wait, oh, wait till you Tell him how old guy. he looks. Oh, he's your no. biggest fan. <laughs> Oh, you can't throw up on the fax machine with Ronnie the Nazi around. <laughs> hey, Jeff. Oh. Stand over there. I don't want you near her. I know. <laughs> He's 37. <laughs> and we're not lying. Hello, Dina. Hey, how are you? I want to see those feet. Come on. I have shoes on them right Whip now. Whip them out. Take them off. <laughs> you're a fan, I thought. I am a fan. Sing one of her songs if you're a fan. Like strawberry wine. You got it. Nice. Awesome. Good job. How do you know her feet? Because she, she, she accepted an award at the Country Music Association in her bare feet. <laughs> nice. <laughs> You'd like to do her, huh? I wanted to do those feet. Oh. <laughs> I was watching it at home, bare ass. <laughs> Are you naked when you watch it? <laughs> big toe would have had something in it. Oh, You're gonna goodness. put something in her big toe? Oh, how yeah. would you do that? You would, how would you create an opening in her big toe? Caro, <laughs> oh, you come on. <laughs> hey, it's wide enough for me, dude. Well, you would ah. like you would like Dina because she smokes weed. Ah, oh, Dina, I got some puff. <laughs> I said I had. I didn't say I did. The magic. Come on, baby. You want to do your song Bump or no? The magic. I'll oh, give yeah. you two because I want to get back to Dina. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, I don't please, blame you. you did a I good job. I'm you. proud of you. Thank you very much. That was Thank great. You. Yeah. Thank you. Wait a minute. He hasn't yeah. finished. Just, uh, well, what are you giving uh, her guitar for? I have a great uh, song. Uh, I'm confused. Uh, he was, I, I'm confused too. They just handed me her guitar. Oh, they out there. I, I don't know what's going on. You guys really got to learn to You communicate. guys, no. <laughs> Go ahead, Fred. Go Take that guitar out of the He's wearing a sling, so I'll hold it. How about that? <laughs> now you missed it, Jeff. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> He's got to bend. these headphones up. I take direction from one person under protest. Ready? Okay. To sing your yeah. song. Yeah. One, two, three. I met her in Cleveland, she was stoned on booze. I remembered the vomit on the floor. <laughs> she was waking, walking through the Walmart in an automotive section. I thought I would have a chance to score. I hate she this asked song. me if I'd help her out, but I can barely walk. I was drunk and blacked out in the aisle. I, I, I Did hate you write this, this yourself? I, no, when I, I came it. to, my watch was missing. All right, get out of here. I hate it. I'm turning him off. I, I, it's enough. Did you write, is that a parody or something? No. What is that? I woke up with a transmission. Play that song. What is that? It's a Yogi Bubba Stokey. Right. Play it. Waylon Jennings. Play it. Merle Haggard. Bitch. Merle Haggard. Oh. Why I would swear I, to God, I'll sing? play it all. I'll sing it all. All right, give me that. Every uh -huh. note. Side A, bitch. I knew I shouldn't have brought him in. <laughs> You'll love it, Howard. I want to talk to Dina. Right, if I play this, you got to leave. Okay, but you got to play it all. No, we're not playing it all. I love that song, damn it. Oh, 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 please. Forget it. We're here for oh, Dina please. and her Come music on. today. Right, get out. You had Come your on. time. No, you had your time. <laughs> Just oh. What are you doing? He's taking over the whole show. Thank you for singing Strawberry One. That yeah. was sweet. He hijacked the show. Well, let me play it. No, I don't know. It's a cassette. We don't play cassette, dude. Hit Come the bricks, Carl. You always do. Okay, thank you. Goodbye. It's baloney. Go pass out in the green room. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> My girlfriends are in there. Go. They can take care of you. Are your girlfriends hot? They are. Really? Yes. Who are your girlfriends? Every girl's hot in her own way. You little bitch. Let's go to Artie. Artie's, uh, I don't even understand this, Artie. You yeah. went and did a stand-up show and let Jeff the Drunk walk up on stage, and now he says you owe him money? There's a gig I do in Albany, like, once a year. Right. The Egg Theater. Great gig. The show is very, does very well up there. I usually sell it out. It's like 1,200 seats. Right. The last two times, Jeff the Drunk, who lives up next to Albany, 
has showed up. And he just shows up with an entourage, hangs backstage. It's a theater because it was a big backstage. And he just gets there and orders everyone around. Right. Tells people at the radio station, I need a beer. <laughs> Where's my beer? Yeah, I mean, he's a nuisance. And, and for this, you need to pay? <laughs> and he brings friends. He brings his sister. Oh, yeah. It's his big night. He wants food. He wants, Then he lights up a joint. And right. the guy from radio says, look, you can't light up a joint. Why not? Yeah. Uh, it's for medical reasons. <laughs> it's part of his act. <laughs> he just he starts crying almost. And then I go, well, why don't you come out and say hello to the crowd at the end of my, my set? Right. So, uh... So he came out, last two times, he came out, and I happen to have cash on me, and he's always, like, whining, and he's broke and stuff. So the last two times, I said, he'd take $100 for going out and saying uh, hi to the crowd. Right. So the last time I did it, he comes, he says hi to the crowd. I don't have any cash on me at this point. Right. I said, oh, it's two, uh, 2 in the morning. I don't feel like going to an ATM. I said, next time I see you, I'll just give you, you know, maybe I'll give you $100 when you come down to the show again. I see you all the time. Right. So he agrees to that. And now he agrees to it. Right. Yeah. Now he's calling <laughs> Levy because uh, he doesn't have my number anymore. He calls Levy every day. Saying, Here it Where's is. The buddy? Here's the uh. Jeff the Drunk on Bob Levy, comedian Bob Levy's phone service, because he used to call Artie directly, but Artie right. changed his number. Right. <laughs> yeah, Bob, Jeff the Drunk, because you call Artie and I need that money that he said he was going to send me. I'm broke as a joke. Please call. Have him call me. Thank you. Bye. Message one. <laughs> yeah, Bob, would you please have already called me today? Message two. Would you please have already called me? It's very important. Message three. This is up to four. Yeah, Bob, this is Jeffrey. Come on, dude. Have already called me. Four Come messages. on. What the f***, man? I'm f broke. You find f comedy in that? It's all... Message four. Bob, <laughs> have already called me. He said he would call me this week. I need that money, man. I don't oh, goddamn it, call me. End Message. of messages. Message five. Five messages. Wow. By the way, we're talking about $100. Yeah, we're also talking about the fact that you really don't owe him any money. Right. I know I don't. <laughs> I know. Yeah, but well, why wouldn't Bob have him call him? Well, no, I, I I called him, by the way, once, because one time he called up Levy, just like abroad, and said, you know, it's my birthday. He could at least call me on my birthday. Now, Jeff. Yeah. Are you getting more pathetic than ever? What's up with that? I mean, what's up with you, dude? Artie doesn't owe you money. Stop it. I mean, Artie's a nice guy. There's a whole thing by Artie. You don't even understand. No, what, understand. are you helping Artie write his act now? Is that the whole thing behind it? No. You know what you're like? You're like um, a junkyard dog. It's like you feed a junkyard dog once, they never go home. Yeah. I mean, he, you know, the guy threw you a couple of hundred because he likes you. And, and he, Shows you a really good time. Now you're calling people saying Artie owes you money. <laughs> you, you know what I think when I hear him on the air? So, Jeff, I want to ask you a question. How's the job search going? Have you looked for a job this week? Last week? The month before. I mean, I know your arm is messed up, but you had a job and you can work again. Have you just stopped looking for a job? I don't have a vehicle. It's so hard. You guys don't realize that. I don't live in a in city where I can get, like, butt transportation everywhere. But you lost your, jo your vehicle because you kept driving drunk. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your point? Yeah, hey, what's your point, Robin? <laughs> so you so made what was your your, point, you put yourself in this position. I would like to, you probably spend as much on your cell phone calls to Artie as you're going to get from him. <laughs> and you probably should try to find some work. I mean, you can work. Your mind is still there. It is? <laughs> yeah, but how am I going to get that? You guys don't understand that. I see those ads. And I tell you that. Uh, why do we need to I know, understand I live this? in the country. But why is it, it goes our, right over your heads. Why is it our responsibility move. to understand? Yeah, g move. Yeah, move to where the work is. What am I going to do? Leave my mother here all by herself? Oh, yes, right. I'm yeah, sure she'd love that. You're some help. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you, you, gee, imagine if you were out of the house and your mother could live alone. The place wouldn't smell like smoke and she'd have more money. Jeff, when, when you come to see me do stand-up, you somehow get there. Right. It's a, it's a ride from your house. How do you do that? 
Um, my web guy picked me up. Your who? Web my guy? webmaster guy. My webmaster. He's got a website going Can't on. Can't webmaster a... give him a ride to his job? <laughs> Not every day. Don't you have uh, friends and family? Well, wait a second. How There's does... no public transportation where you are. No. No How taxis? Did... Uh, What's that? Taxi. taxi. It's T A no. I. No taxis knows. up here. That's a lie. I swear to you, God. So how did you get to find the a taxi and burn and let me know, okay? How did, how did you get to the <laughs> pool? How did you get to the hand stamping job at the pool? How did you that? When you stamped hands, how did you get there? I used to drive. Yeah, he used to. He drive. swam. I don't know. It's just. It's just. Don't don't rely on Artie for money. And but but listen to the messages yeah, you're but leaving. The thing on. I was um. Why I was in debt? I explained to all to Artie. It was the fact that. All right, I'm James. Done. Goodbye. Can no. you all please? Bye. Yeah, sure. Hang up. Hang Wait, he's up. Got a, he's Why got are a... you screaming at Bob Levy like a maniac? No, I tried to explain myself, and that's it. That's the end of my conversation. Dad, what are you? What are you explaining? Why? Are you... King of all black man, James tells me, Jeff, tell Howard tomorrow that you're doing a radio show with King of all black in two weeks. So I did that. And King of All Black calls and denies it. I call him off. He says, oh, it's a big misunderstanding. <laughs> it's over $100. Fine. Oh, my God. <laughs> so I'll send you $1,000. And he leads me on. Hey, I didn't, buy uh, a new phone. Didn't Jeff ask you for $1,000? Okay, now, Jeff, be <laughs> honest here, man. Yeah, I, I am honest. Right. So how the fact that you got scammed somehow by somebody, how, is, how do I owe you that money? <laughs> well, well, he told me he was going to send me a thousand. Well, well, what's Artie so got to do with it? I go off on a whim and I buy these new headphones from boys. <laughs> they're like three hundred dollars. I buy a new new telephone for the kitchen, and you, uh, I'm just in debt up to my ass. And well, if you if you really want a job, you could direct Jimmy Kimmel Live. Yeah. <laughs> So Jeff, so Jeff, Boys. so Jeff, it's not only the hundred that you think I owe you for stand up. Didn't you ask me to borrow a thousand dollars? Yeah, yeah. Who would lend you a thousand dollars? Jeff, and I actually said I think about it, but the truth is, Jeff, where, how, when am I ever going to get that money back? Yeah, he's going to have to borrow it to pay pay you back. Yeah. You give it back to? No, you wouldn't. Who's going to give it to me? The king of all blacks, friend? <laughs> yeah, James. All right, I got to go. Thank you, Jeff. Stop bothering oh, Artie. I like that he spent it on boys' headphones. Yeah. You know, he's funny, though. Oh, yeah, he... they said hi, by the way, Howard. Who? All right. The he, boys. He finally got. He finally gets a thousand dollars. He goes out and buys a headphone. headphones. Yeah. Headphones. But no, but not even that. He gets headphones. a. He gets a promise of a thousand dollars. Right. And he goes out based on the promise. He's like those people who get the letters in the mail. You have won, and they go out and spend a lot of money. Yeah. I'm rich. <laughs> All right, thank you, Jeff. Hey, Artie, I'll be looking for that money. Uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff, I tell you what. Because I'm a good guy, I'm, I'll give you the hundred. I promise you for stand up. But I'm not going to lend you a thousand dollars because someone else ripped you off. Okay, buddy. All right, thank you. Thank you. I don't know why you're busy handing out money to him. You know what? If, but thank goodness you took this call on the air because if Jeff still had Artie's home phone number, right. he'd also have a thousand dollars. No, he would not. That, that I would never. That would just be ridiculous. Be like <laughs> you it. do it. You little bitch. I didn't hear this one. Jeff the drunk. You're fat. <laughs> Jeff the drunk is getting a car today. Yeah, oh, what God. are you talking about? He doesn't even have a license. How can he get a car? No, he got his license. You got your license. Morning, back. America. <laughs> What's up, America? What's up? Hey, yeah, I've got a car today. Tell us how this came about. <laughs> um, something else I can't use. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody else I'm bad at. Jeff calls I'm it. No, no, no. Most, people, most people call it a car. Jeff calls it an addition to his house. <laughs> you know what's weird? About that? One Lumina. The car has been his, almost his his Achilles heel. Yeah. He lost the use of his arm. It's his kryptonite. Because he crashed his car. Yeah. No. Then he. He's living in a car. Yeah. I was I wasn't even driving. Now he's living in a car. <laughs> oh, stop it! Not only that, he's been picked up drunk driving a bunch of times, which is really in a cornfield. In a cornfield, yeah. Is his life has been relatively uneventful since he hasn't had a car. If it wasn't for the invention of the car, the guy probably would have a nice life. Yeah. Now he's got a '91 Lumina. How'd you get the Lumina? Um, I got it all hooked up. Hooked up.
Yeah. Uh, he can't even explain. So go ahead, explain. Gary. Um, he, some guy who listened to the show in Albany, who's a big fan, Jeff's about to get to the big plug that got him the car. Right, Jeff? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's so doing a really bad job. He's doing job. an exchange for a plug. Yeah. The guy gave him a car. If he calls the show and says where he got it, then the guy will give him the car. Oh, he's just, but, but does Jeff have a license? Apparently, Jeff got his license reinstated. I don't, it's What's three year, wrong with the motor vehicle? Three-year probation or whatever suspension is up. Is that correct, Jeff? Yeah. As long as I mention that, it's a DMV in Albany. They don't look at him and say, let's test him again, see yeah. if he can really... First of all, forget about his arm. I'm not even sure he can see. Yeah. <laughs> he needs to be tested. <laughs> I can <laughs> see boobs. <laughs> so, Jeff, now that you got this car, what are you going to do with it? So I'm just going to help me and my mother out a lot. Well, now you can get a job. You said the right. reason you didn't have a job was because you had no transportation. Yeah. Right. So, are you going to look for a job today? Well, maybe not today. <laughs> maybe, maybe when, Jeff. I heard that you're never looking for a job. Maybe Monday. I got pipe pack of the do, bitch. You got to work a little bit to put gas in it, right? Insure it. That's yeah, I figured um, all I do was have 50 bunch of mumps for gas. So, what, what kind of job are you going to go look for? <laughs> I don't know. Your goal is just to cover gas money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You might want to get your, your master plan in life is to make enough money so that you can get fifty dollars worth of gas. <laughs> How many people just have one coverage? You know, gas but, money. I like so I'm with, with my outside money. I like that he's setting simple goals. Something yeah. he could actually yeah. achieve. I don't know, Rob. Right? <laughs> Jeff, do you ever dream that Why you, do you think that's simple for Jeff? Every month a lot of scratch. Jeff, do you ever dream that now you got this car, you get some sort of a job where you do well and they promote you and you do so well that you and your mom get out of the trailer and move to a better place? What? I don't see why everybody's obsessed. With where the hell I'm living? Like, <laughs> what the hell? Come on. Because you complain. Give me a freaking break. Because you complain that it's so small and it's cramped quarters. Yeah. You're the one that doesn't. Uh, I, no, I said it's a lot bigger than my old room. Boom. Well, and then the other, the other thing is. It's a lot bigger than my old room. It's a lot bigger than my old Shut up. Yeah, no, you really should aspire to more Sorry. Room. Hey, Jeff, forget about even that. How old, how old are you again? Vroom. 38. Okay. You know, most 38-year-old guys don't live with their mom. So here's also an opportunity for you to get a job and... Oh, thank you, Gary. You know, but be your own guy. Live on your own. Hey, I'm going to get Gary, wait a second. You just revealed something. <laughs> most 38-year-old 30, people don't live with their parents? Yeah. Apparently not. I, oh. I, love when, I love when Jeff gets that gas. Oh, thanks, Gary. <laughs> I mean, how many 38-year-olds refer to their room? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> hey, Jeff, can I live with my parents? My room. <laughs> it's like, hey, you, I got my own room. Who makes you bad? What's your locker number? <laughs> the last time I referred to my room was when I had a locker. <laughs> I got a locker and a room. <laughs> What's your homework? Hey, Artie, if you want to keep your books in my locker, yeah, exactly. that'll be okay. You don't have to go all the way downstairs. Did you stash your weed in your room? <laughs> oh, my God. So, so some guy gave you a frigging car. Yep. And yep. you got your license. Like, you didn't have to go back and take another driving test? Nope. You mean, nope. they, you mean all of a sudden, after three years, they just give you the license back after it was suspended? Did you, wow. did you show up to pick up the I know. What the hell did they say? <laughs> they mailed it to me. Oh, oh, good move. Why, yeah. Good move. Did you mail him a picture? <laughs> no. Did he take an eye test? Yeah, what about an eye test? No. You're supposed to get one. No, he's saying that they just get automatically. They just sent him back his license. Oh, we wonder why stuff goes wrong in this country. By the way, do you think they really sent him back his license or they sent him some notice and he's yeah. calling it a license? I have my license. And what does it say on the notice? Read it to me. It says I can fish. It says you may already be a winner. So really, what does it say what they sent you? It's dead. They sent me my car license. They sent you a license. A driver's license. And it's back. stamped on it like, you yeah, know, New York State driver. Dude, you got to go. Yeah. Oh. And it's got a and everything? And yeah, what, you got to go in. And what does it say on the letter? What does it say? What did they write to you? Nothing. No, they just sent me my license back to me. And it's not expired? With no money? No. You didn't send any money in? 
No. No, because, yes. because he's saying he still has time on his license. He did his suspension, and they mail it back to him. Oh, but I tell you, he suspended a bunch of times. That's not how it works. It's all good. Wait, you I had, already you, called for them. You've had your license suspended a bunch of times? <laughs> no, just seven times. Times. Like seven times? Yeah, you do have to go in. Yeah, yeah right. in my life seven times. So tell us what happened when you, when they send you, did they send you back the license in the mail? What they send yes, you back they is, did. No, let already talk. What they send you back is a notice saying you can now go in and re-register. Right. You can now go in and get your license. This is in Jersey, though. Maybe it's different. Anyway. But I lost my license in New York. Yeah, you have to go back in. Yeah. Yes, you do. Jeff, That's why I get it. You have your license. I have it. I ain't lying. <laughs> have you gone for a drive yet? No. When are you going out for a drive so people can be in your area can be warned? <laughs> yeah. Warn out no. every time. Hey, does he get handicap plates? No. Why not? The arm should get you handicap plates. Yeah. And you're nuts. <laughs> yeah. No, I ain't worried about it. Driver on board is nuts. <laughs> so when you get in the car, they have to take a look at your license, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, no, he's got a license. Right. I don't and know, you got man. insurance? Yep. Do you have plates on there? Yep. Do you well, hopefully today. All right. But my car insurance was 270 down, 143 a month. Oh, my God. How are you going to pay that? Boom. <laughs> We're only for four months, though. Oh, yeah, SSI is going to cover that? Well, I don't know. It's going to be... That, that's stretching it, but... Well, so we, yeah, you need income. Well. We have trying. to go to work. He ain't going to no, work. No, you know what he's going to do. He's going to be calling in here begging for money every yeah, month. And, 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 wait, Mike the cop is saying the license is expired. Hold on a yeah, second. Yeah, it's got to It's got to be. Hey, Mike. Howard, listen, he's a meatball. When they, what happens is when they suspend your license, they send it back to you in the mail when the suspension is up. But that doesn't mean that your license is actually good. He has a physical copy of his license. Right. His license right. is probably expired by now. Three years, his license is no good. No, what's that? you got to go in, Jeff. What if it isn't expired, Mike the Cop? Does he still have to go in and renew it? It, well, if it's not expired, then whatever the date is, then he'll have to renew it at that date. And once they get a look at him when he physically goes in to renew it, they're going to take it away from him. Yeah, but for now, he's going to be driving. I, Robin, I seriously doubt that that license, what happens is they have to send you back. Well, the cop takes it from you when you get suspended, and then when it's when they return it to you, when it's you know, when your suspension's over, they mail it back to you. They have right. to give you back the physical copy. Right, so he's saying he still has time on his license before it has to go get renewed. I, I doubt that. Okay, Mike, shut up, you moron. Oh, I want to oh. kick your ass, you drunk bastard. Don't yell at a cop. Don't yell at a cop, you, you, you insane man. I'm putting the word out on you, you drunk bastard. <laughs> what is it, Ronnie? Hey, can I ask Mike the cop a question? I just hung up. Oh, all right. Well, well, what was the question? Technically, he shouldn't be allowed to drive at all because of his arm. He only can. He only, his arm isn't functional. Yeah, where's the fail safe in place that if a guy he's he's, he's got one arm and well, you're not supposed to. He passed his driver's test with oh, one arm. No, 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 he did. No, he, he, no, he, he did. Driver's test. Yeah, he did. Yes, he did. He's on. He said he's yeah. in high school. He yeah, but his arm. What the hell? He's not supposed problem. to be driving. Why people who, who are handicapped can drive? Yeah, yeah but not it? not like that. Not if your arm is broken. Oh, well, 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 your leg is broken. You're not supposed to be driving a car. Uh, and what he probably does is he probably tapes his bad arm to the steering wheel. It looks like he's driving. <laughs> I got a 91 that, that, guy, that guy should not be behind the wheel of any car. Sorry. Jeff, you're not going to drink and drive, right? No. No, no. Not, not much. Not much. Jeff. How many DWIs does this guy have? Drive. Click, click. Uh, one. What do you do at a red light? I drink. <laughs> <laughs> now, you're not going to drink and drive, right? No. All right. All right. What do you do to the yellow light? Roll a tight one. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at me, girls. I'm driving with one arm. I got a 91 lumen. I got a 91 lumen on one arm. The world is my life. Do you plan on driving home from the bar? No. All right. All right. You're not even going to take the car to the bar, are you? No, oh, baby. Are <laughs> <laughs> you going to push it home? Come on. All right. Well, go ahead, Jeff. Give your plug to the guy who gave you the car. Um... His name, I can't say. Oh, that's a great plug. <laughs> hey, you know what? Can I do an unplug? A what? what? A non-plug. All right. I gotta People go. do not go to Jeff the Drug Dog. Why? What's he got going on? Because 
I don't see a dime out of her. The guy screwing me, write bad stuff to him. I don't see any of it. Do not buy anything. Did it ever occur to you that the it, did it ever occur to you that the website doesn't make any money? <laughs> exactly. It's costing him money. Because it probably ends up costing the guy money, and he's nice enough to keep it up for you. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's got to give you money. Jeff oh. drunk got mad. Well, how are you going to get a car now that you couldn't even deliver the plug? Uh -oh. <laughs> I already delivered it. How? His name is Ernie Lefner from the Ball of Chevrolet. All right. Well, very nice. All right. Thank I'll you. I'll never be able to find the place. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Thank they you. Left for All right, Jeff the Drunk calling in to say that he now has a car and his license has been, uh, Jeff the Drunk here on the air. What's up? Good morning. How you doing? All right. I just want to say goodbye to everybody, Eddie. I oh, miss. look at you thinking of others. I like that. I will miss and love each and every one of them. Yeah. The E group? The E group yeah. ends on Friday. That's it for the E I show. Yeah, and give him some love, huh? Yeah. Those, yeah. Pastors are, those pastors will be sleeping in. I know. I keep, I'm sort of envious. Don't be, because in a couple of months they're going to be seeing Jeff on the uh, unemployment line. <laughs> Jeff will be driving him to yeah. the uh, unemployment line. Hey, Jeff, would you be willing to come down here and give a seminar on how to live without working? <laughs> yes. This is a guy who doesn't work. Prepare you for your life now. How do you get on that SSI? Like all these guys, all these like sort of damaged people we have on the show are all on SSI. He's got a car. Oh, get the car accident. Um, break your neck. Yeah, like but you know what? You're fine. You, you, I, a guy in a car accident who breaks his neck is one thing. You, you, you're fine. You're just a mess because you drink so much. You got no, a car accident. that's how I get on that so sorry. Yeah. What about the emotional impact? Yeah, you know, with Jeff, you got to say, thank goodness he had that car accident. My life was ripped from underneath me. He could have been this messed up with no SSI. Right. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's a great country. Dude, he's got a car. He sleeps in. He's got weed. He's yeah. living a life. Yeah, but if he didn't get in that car accident, he would have been an underwear model. <laughs> <laughs> I could have been Michael Schenkerberg. Let's just call in this country. You F yourself up, and then we pay for it the rest of our, our lives. Right. Yeah, yeah, the people who sort of keep to the straight and narrow and don't mess themselves up. I mean, he could, first of all, he probably could have avoided that accident if he didn't drink so much. Right. Secondly. I wasn't driving. Oh, all right, that's true. Well, who was and what happened? It was a um, guy named Chip Chris. What, what was he up to? We were going to a park. But was he okay or what? I guess. He just had an accident. And believe me, uh, Jeff's you know, fine. He acts as if he doesn't know what happened. Look, the accident, oh, I know what happened. The accident's an unfortunate, tragic thing. We get that. It's just you got to sort of lift yourself up afterwards. Weren't you standing in back of a pickup truck, though? No. No? I want to get my accident. No. But my point is that he can work. Oh, absolutely. There are people in much worse shape than him no. who do lots of things. Hey, you could work, Jeff. Give me a job. Yeah, that's it. Give and me a job. Everything's gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> Clean yourself up. Walk well, I'll a, work. Walk into a store. Work in a store, something like that. Every, I've tried to work at, like, Walmart or something like that. Oh, they <laughs> tell me I can't lift things. No. So you don't have to lift? You can't lift things because you're drunk. <laughs> You'll fall over. I mean, he falls down. I was in a Walmart. They had a retard in the front of the store greeting everybody. You mean to tell me you can't do that? <laughs> I, I, I did. I was applied for it. They wouldn't let me. You can do it. Clean it up. Shop you and don't drink. Jeff's one of those guys. Though, like, like I don't Walmart. go up to the interview all juiced, you know. Walmart, like, would, like... Feels bad for people in the community and would give them like a like a retarded job greeting people. Just one of those people that you meet him and you're just disgusted by him. You don't want to really help him. So he should pass himself off as retarded. They won't let him be a greeter. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. You wouldn't shop at a store where he is greeting. No, like if I saw like a retarded man, you know, greeting everyone and say, you know, Walmart's good folks. Yeah. We're giving this guy a job. You see Jeff there, you're like, what huh. the hell's wrong with Walmart? Women's yeah, clothing, aisle 65. Leave us highway. Oh, hello. How you doing? Welcome to Walmart. 
Get me an F and beer. <laughs> Give me. <laughs> Get your own F and carriage. Uh, what do I look like? <laughs> all right, it's time for the thank you, and and thank you for thinking of the folks and saying goodbye yeah. to them, Jeff. Oh, oh, very yes. comforting. Star of E, one of the great stars of E, Jeff the Drunk. Yes, Jeff I'm the sure drunk. they were instrumental in his life. They are. They are. Jeff the Drunk is a big star on E. Yeah. Now my quote will go down. <laughs> <laughs> Have a good day. It's curated. Thank you.